Yo, what's up, guys? Happy Thursday. Yo! Hello. Sorry, this music is really good. There's actually a replicant version of that song. Because uh, I never played a Tomino. Hello! Giggles, hello. Aries, mortal, good to see you. Wallen, Colliner. Aries, thanks for the eight months, man. Almost there to that Twitch baby. Shaded! Thanks for popping in saying hello whenever you gotta go. It's all good. Get that sleep. Chicken soup. Good morning. Kiyamba. Hello. Gara. Jason. It is war o'clock. It's time for war o'clock. I have my plan for today. I didn't look up anything. As I said, I wouldn't. Uh, and I'm gonna execute said plan. So we'll see how it goes today. Pretty excited. I, I really, like, thought about it a lot. And I had to use a lot of math, which hurt my brain. But it's okay, because it was, um, uh, it was needed. What's up, Cody? Hello. Um, alright, let's go. Oh! I unlocked my map. Oopsie. Good start, intuition, love it. Die Dairy, hello. Good to see you guys. Hope you guys have a good Thursday. Uh, my day was a little bit busy. I was a little busy today. Just had to do some, you know, errands and IRL stuff, but, uh, it's all good. Thanks! Might need some luck later. I don't- I haven't actually decided if I wanna go double- if I wanna go double, uh... If I wanna go double... What do you call it? Um... Double dip on Behemoth, or I just go like YOLO one, 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 one go? But we'll see what happens. We shall see what happens. Nice Paralyze. Love Paralyze. Back in, back in the palace, we just got Lone Hero this week! Connor, congratulations! Wait, did you get it? Like, wait. Did you say you got it last time? I don't remember. I have a bad memory. But if I didn't, congratulations on Lone Hero. Uh, just prepping for tea prog. Oh, tea? Cool! How is tea? I heard tea is, like, interesting now, huh? I guess people have figured out all the nuances that it has to go on with the staff squish. Like, it's sounding muffled. Uh, it's already fighting for you, but didn't want to miss the stream. Hey, it's fair. Yeah, we all get the, uh, we all- Dude, we have so many time zones in here, you know what I mean? So it's all good. It's not par oh my god, really? The Paralyzed did not- Good lord, the Paralyzed didn't have DR. Oh my god. Hey, Logan. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Good start. Um... Uh, oh, I feel better now? Was I feeling bad? I don't remember. Oh, I didn't pick up the shine. Whoops. I don't think I was feeling bad. Uh... I also wanted to share that because of the community you have built, I almost got- You almost got your first Heaven on High clear! Convince one of your friends to try it too? Yo, one of us, dude. One of us. Glad to hear it. Oh, I hope you all having fun. That's what's more important. Alright, let's go. Paralyze me all you want, kids. I know how Sasquish affects ultimate. I don't know, I've heard some things with, with T, but I'm just a spectator, right? I don't really know much about it, so... I just go with what people say. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. Uh, when you do the Dungeons Feather when suddenly all your friends are doing it? Well, that's a good thing. I haven't gotten all my friends to do it, though. They seem reluctant. Don't know why. Do, 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 do. Kaisuke, hello. Give me a moment while I deal with this. Hmm. Uh, I want to thank you for the guys. It's able to clear 1 to 100. POTD. Oh, that's pretty good. Wow, that's challenging. Considering it's harder now for like the later floors. Congratulations. Are you gonna keep climbing? Or are you gonna kind of do up a second file to maybe get the arm and armor up? Which I might recommend, depending on how serious you want to go for it. But either way. Congratulations. You're halfway there. Yo, one more GCD, let's go. This is where Warrior is really just gonna start to be like, yeah, Warrior, blah. Um, and 
It's gonna get slow on this job. We're gonna be here for a long time. Today's gonna be a long day, guys. It's gonna be a long day today. If we go all the way, that is. I'll farm. I was getting destroyed by rail mobs at 80%. Uh, yeah, 90, 90, 91 is tough. Like, so, like, low arm and armor is really gonna be dangerous. Uh, but good thing, I mean, that was probably a really solid challenge. I mean, you're you're essentially battling with weights on, you know? So, like, imagine now when you go back in with, like, full arm and armor, things will get, will feel easier. Like, whether they're going to be easier or not is definitely, you know, up to, up to kind of how you feel about it. But certainly, uh, at the very least, uh, it'll be easy to you. So that's kind of cool. Can't stun both of these, I think. Well, I can't stun both of them, period, but I don't know if I can stop both of them. Well, I could. Because I can hit up. Alright, say it hat. Thanks for passing by, have a good one. Are they gonna cast this way? Huh, don't know. Doo -doo. Oh, well, you're looking right at me, guess I'll pull you. But I hope you guys are having a good week. Good day. I actually haven't quite figured out what I'm doing tomorrow. But we'll worry about today first. Um, but outside of that, things are going pretty well on my end. Uh, actually, let me check the chest first. Yo, Berserk's up. I need to follow the rules of the warrior. Berserk up, we pull. That's the rules of warrior. But it's a little bit harder because I have to actually hold my gauge a lot, so I need to be careful with that. I should. That's actually one thing I need to change, because I need to really be... Conscious about my gauge um, when Berserk is going, because I gotta make sure I have I have gauge for this stuff. Hi, right, Fubar. I appreciate you, Lurk, playing Resident Evil Resistance with a friend tonight. Oh, that sounds like fun. Damn, dude, I gotta do more co-op games. I don't do enough of those co-op games. Boop. Ooh, I have my sight back again. Cool. Let's go check the other things. Full on pause. We could use like another strength or something. Anyway, I can navigate because my strength is down. Ah, uh, my, my Berserk is down, rather. Uh, Fortune... Let's use our overpowered Tomahawk. While we navigate. Want to make sure we use Tomahawk as much as possible, because it's broken. Finally made a pass Behemoth on Reaper the other day. Guy looks... Really helped a lot, but then... Oh yeah. They're, they're brutal, for sure. Jeez, he's staying out of range because he keeps casting with haste on. Kind of annoying. Um, hmm. I think I'll aggro the other, uh, the other Spriggan. Yep. Okay, let's see with you. My strength up. It has such a low following compared to the to Dead by Daylight. Oh, so it's like, um, so it's, so it's kind of like Dead by Daylight? So I've never heard of it. I mean, I just got, I just, I just attached to the fact that you're doing a co-op game, which is, which is fun. I don't, like I said, like, co-op games in general, like, any game, any game period, I don't do enough of. I had so much fun doing some co-op games. God damn it. A waste of fun. Hey, Stai, how are you doing? Um, let's hold gauge. I gotta, I gotta make sure I don't, I don't do this like I'm separately, I'm a 70 warrior. Damn it. Alright, let's go. Turtle should not give me a problem. Oh, well it's gonna give me a problem now. Don't turn. Oh my god. Oh, god damn it. It's okay, I got full... I got my, uh, my pseudo inner release right now.
Also, a tanks compared to machinists, very compared to machinists. It's like you're you're like a snail compared to machinists. I mean, there are things you can do, you know, which we're gonna try to do. But uh, Jesus, dude, this is really annoying. You can you can do things to speed up, um, which you kind of have to do. But machinists is just pretty much raw damage, um, and that's where you get the benefit off of it. Said the tortoise never catches up. Well, except there was a Spriggan, but I guess the same deal. Wait, actually- oh, fuck me, oh my god. I did that all wrong, holy crap. I was gonna, like, burn an, an Infuriate, so I can get back on cooldown, but I didn't use my gauge and I hit Failcleave and it didn't- it didn't go right. Do! Do. Do. Hey, thanks for the six months. I appreciate that. Angelus Pop. Any on the streak. Yo, yo, yo. Boop, 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 boop. Um, let's put this away. Okay, now that we're doing, uh. Oh crap, I don't have the. I don't have the thing. I didn't have my, uh, my, didn't have my thing up. What's up, man? Thanks for the resub. I really appreciate that. Oh, my strength is down. Oh, crap. The turtle's gonna aggro. Alright, whatever. Whatever. This is definitely the bit that I hate about Warrior right now. It just feels so slow at... at in Palace, like Heaven on High, it's such a different case. But when it comes to Palace, you really feel slow. Like when, like if anything, the 60 second Berserk is certainly much nicer. Uh, that really will help because I will be able to use, utilize a lot more often. But man, it's just like is a pain. Wow, really? I didn't realize it's that much of a of a damaging of a defense. Holy crap! I guess because it's Gloom too. Look at damage, dude. 74? What the hell? I think I was doing like... 2,000 fail waves. Good lord. I did like a hundred. Okay. Hey, what's up, missive? Always feel comfortable to be in here? Oh, I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad you are comfy in here. That's kind of the vibe that I, uh... That I like to... Just a comfy... Comfy feel, you know? I'm gonna burn a fail cleave. Do we? Immaculate? I don't know if you wanna go that far. Anything behind me? Nah, dude. Nothing one that's nothing wants to come behind me. Uh okay, I'm gonna do that. So I was playing in the background, you know, we might get the song, so maybe it will start playing- Whoa, that came late. Okay, that was- uh, I think that's a respawn. That giant must be a respawn. And it's approaching fast, I gotta move. Some of the best- best songs in the game, I- I never get tired of it. It's a good song. I never did the duty though. Ooh, raising. Um, my Berserk is coming in. Let's take care of the Giant. And then there's a Wyver. Goodness. We'll hold for Berserk. No, no, no. I never did uh, Extreme. Which I, I'm sure, like, you know... Uh, with Extreme, you heard the song a lot. I never did Extreme. You listen to it while you draw. Nice. Let's go. I exit here. I'm not gonna go back to the other one. Oh, warrior. It's 
why this is why I don't I don't really like doing tanks that much in Palace specifically. It's just the pacing is so slow. I'd rather just like murder murder through things. But then to be fair, these floors are obviously harder than you know they were before, so this is just even harder um, nowadays than it used to be. But it is just gonna take a while. Like I just gotta get up. I just basically have to get up to like you know uh, one 141, and then things will start to kind of even out a little bit. Hey, government, how you doing, man? Thanks, I appreciate it. SE tactics remake. Uh, you're gonna get you're gonna get triangle strategy first, and then we'll see about tactics. Triangle strategy first. I hit the wrong button. Hey, Dark Jedi, I appreciate it. Might need some today. Oh, I have full gauge. Uh, Momo Danny, hello. Give me a moment. Found the stream via YouTube. Welcome from YouTube. Really nice to meet you. Uh, thank you for all the great content. I'm on patch 2.5 and I'm going through the main story first. Looking forward to push Steve Dungeon eventually. Hell yeah, dude! I hope you have fun when you do. Uh, this is one content that really is just gonna kind of just stay as it is for a long time. So whether you do it in next month, whether you do it next week, you're not gonna miss anything. Up until, like, the next one comes out. I have, I have some feeling that the next Deep Dungeon might have... might include some changes into the old ones. Whether it's good or bad, I don't know, but I'm kind of hoping for maybe quality of life changes, you know what I mean? Um, so we'll see, but... I kind of feel like it will be time for them to do something with the mode, you know, just quality of life stuff. Get the chest. No. Big chillin' as usual. Love the chillin', dude. Started playing FF last week. Been watching my videos on YouTube. Damn, you know, you know, Dark Jedi. You are d certainly not the only one, and you won't be the last, but it has been really interesting that, like, there have been a number of, like, literal brand new players that have just been like, yeah, I started the game and I went right into Deep Dungeon. It's like, oh shit. I mean... That's great, but, like, man. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of weird. Not weird in the sense it's bad, more like... It's kind of interesting that people land on the videos, you know? Like, I don't know, like, I'm not catering it to new players at all. I'm catering it, like, I, w I would almost envision this content always to be, like, the thing you do after you do everything else. That's how I kind of looked at it. You know, like, you're kind of finding for things to do, and it's like, what else do I do in this game? Oh, there's this thing called Deep Dungeon that apparently you can solo. But now I'm, like, seeing, like, there's lots of players who are, like, literally starting the game and are just popping in here and just trying to do this challenge and it's like damn dude maybe maybe the fact that you can do it on a free trial is enticing you know that you're told that there's this like ridiculous solo challenge and you can do it for free maybe that's part of it but wow refugee oh wherever you come from it's just it's just interesting that this this has started to become something that like newer players are engaging into like they're they're walking into this game looking for this content. So it's it's just such an interesting perspective. I'm out. Oh shit. Hey, what is this? It's a silver chest. I had to wait to see what that chest was. Only 99 taking the longest. Yeah, the grind is, you know... But at least it's kind of a one and done unless you want the, gl the glamour weapons. So it's not, not that bad, but... I'm gonna build gauge first. Actually, I really should just burn the berserk. Uh, after Bard, what jobs do you still have left to complete in Palace? Uh, Warrior, Dark Knight, um, Scholar, Astro, Black Mage, Dancer. I think that's it. I don't know how many I just, I just spouted out, but all those. The longest time I avoided Deep Dungeon since when I read it. Independent leveling system. I thought I would delete my save. Oh. Gotcha. That's fair. That's a fair. That's a fair thought. I love roguelike games too. Yeah, I mean that's what that's what basically this is. It's like a roguelike. So, well, that's why my ass is gonna kick. I don't have healing. Who? Oh. I love the challenge of Deep Dungeon and feels amazing to have this type of game. 
That's what I'm saying. Wait, is this Shazer? No, it's not. That's what I'm saying. But it's been really nice to see, like, you know, people take to it and really kind of look at it as, like, this legitimate challenge. So it's been really cool to see that over the time. Let me tell you, I, I mean, I started this. I started doing this content when, like, it was weird to do it, you know? Like, no one was engaging in it. It had a leaderboard and all that stuff, but, like, there really weren't people, like, trying to do this content at all. Um, so it's been really cool to see what it is now that people almost seek it out. And you have other people that are literally dedicated to it now. Um, it's really been incredible to see that over time. Nakuji, hello. How are you doing? Also your challenge more because it's just right at the start of the game. Yeah! And you have a version 2.0 too. Koemi, thank you for that 4 month resub. I appreciate it. Angelus Pop, hi Angelus Pop. Hello Koemi, thank you for the continued resub. Greatly appreciate that. And every sub that has come in, it really means a lot, guys. <laughs> Serenity? Well, yes, because I have low HP. Um, come here. Slate, that's gonna be good. See if I see a landmine before I pull more. Uh, these are all loading traps. I'm gonna take the wyverns with me. I don't want the minotaur because the minotaur uh, just has AOE. It's kind of annoying. Uh, what's up, Nish? How you doing? Also, I have no fence to raid with, so team solo. Well, there is PF, the the uh, the ever the ever exciting PF. Um, but that's fair. I mean, I I am super. I wouldn't say against it, but I've always been kind of avoiding of statics and and mostly the idea of statics is really what it is. Like PF is PF. You know, I it's there. I can decide to do it if I want to, but like statics and stuff have always been something I've kinda of stayed away from. Oh shit, this is too Okay, that Minotaur better not come over here, otherwise- Oh, fuck, you did. <laughs> I'm back up. Alright. Dark Jedi, hey, thanks! Dark Jedi, thanks for the, uh, Prime Gaming, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Stun. Stun! Oh my god, I'm in range to hit him, but I can't stun him. Feels bad. Yo. R-O-R-O-R. -R -O -R. Roar, 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 roar. Thanks for follow, welcome in. Okay, I didn't- Open the exit, which is fine because I gotta delete. I gotta delete these mimics. Did I update? No, I didn't update the mimics. Okay. You pee up like a hoop. Well. <laughs> well. Uh, let's finish up the gauge. Let's go. Damn, these are all loading traps. Nice. You saw it with that trap. I totally heard something walk behind me. It probably went the other way. Oh, I should have. Oh, I gotta get- I gotta break that habit, guys. I can't just be firing off fail clays whenever I want, because I gotta line them up with Berserk. I gotta- I gotta remember that. <laughs> I gotta remember that. That's important. I gotta remember that. Gotta play Warrior differently than I do right now. Especially for- well, 180! I got 180. At least in my brain I have 180 set up. Um, uh, we have a really kind of... I have a pretty set strategy for that one, but... Yeah, I gotta just kind of break this habit of, uh... Oops, I gotta break this habit of, uh... Disinferring it. Oh, I'm dumb also? PC crashed. 
Take this sign and get some snoozers. Shame, can. Hey, it's okay. Yeah, I think B, this will definitely get up on YouTube guaranteed. Whether it's a clear is the question, but certainly will show up on YouTube. So have a, have a good sleep, uh, Mr. Connor. Appreciate it. Chonk is some low. Get the chest again. Yeah, 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 I will. I know I didn't. I did I opened. I used this. Oh, I didn't use the seal. No, I used the seal. But I didn't check the chest after because, um. I wasn't gonna do it mid mid battle. Uh, okay, witching. Let me just see how it looks with the exit. Like the the centaur might aggro. Yeah, it did. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I could do a witching back. Let me just see if I can get the witching again. There's a wyver here in this room, so it might get a little difficult to get it. It looks free. I could, I can probably get it free. Yeah, I can probably get the chest free. Okay. So good. I really like Warrior, but without IR, it's hard to play. It's 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 annoying to play. I think is the way I would put it. It's just annoying. Um, but it is part of the challenge, you know. How I always look at it is like everyone has this kit. Anyone who tries to do Warrior will have the same exact kit. So you know, I can complain as much as I want, but if someone else does it, well, they they went through it. So it is what it is. To kill almost everything. I gotta go back and get the witching. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Thanks, game. I really appreciate that. Is Unga Bunga related to the warrior quest line? Or did someone just make it up? Oh, Unga Bunga? No, it's just the fact that you you go ham on uh you go ham on this job. That's all. That's why people say it's Unga Bunga. Alteration. I'll use it. Owls. Lots of owls. Well, if I have three of them sleeping me, they can't possibly all sleep me at the same time. Uh, let's do... Okay, Centaur, Owl. Owl. Let me check this room first. There's a chest here. Sight is good. Yeah, okay, I'll drag these with me. I'll check the other chests too. I see a landmine, so I'll drag it with me. Alright, Al, you're coming with me too. Let's go. By the way, I'm not as worried about this because I have raising on, so if something goes terribly wrong, at least I have raising. So that's why I'm not totally concerned with this. Uh, oh, I'm going towards the exit? Oh, I, I thought I was going the other way. Oh, well, whatever. I'm just gonna go to the exit at this point. Uh, that's a landmine, that's what I'm looking for. And Centaur, for you. Let's check this chest over here. I'll get this one too, I guess. Take this chest. Serenity? Don't need it. I don't want to hit the Effort Just another day on Warrior, guys. I don't have home Gang for this. Didn't really do it the best, but it still works for me. I'm fully resistant to sleep, birds. Yeah, sure. Uh, what the heck was this? Oh, this was a intuition. I never checked that chest. Today, I learned we don't go into boss fights with pox. Yep. It's one, of my, it's one of my big rules of this game, don't go in with Pox. Um, especially on a boss, because it's just... It just complicates things. That's pretty much what it is, it complicates things, so... 
This place looks like Arm Vale. Yeah, it's got the piss colored crystals, absolutely. Yo, suspension. Thanks for eight months, man. I let's go eight months. Thanks for being my Pai D slash Ho Sensei. Keep up the good work, man. I will, because we got a lot of work to do. But thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you for the continued support. Uh, I have mimics to deal with. I'm gonna pull three minimum. That Ho Sensei though. Well, you know. Oh, I'm gonna probably pull the. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that one. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go to the mimics first, and then we'll, we'll get on out of here. By the way, pretty much with the warrior, I have to pull minimum three. If I don't pull three, then AOE is kind of pointless. That's why I'm trying to pull at at least three at all times. Um, okay, I gotta deal with at least. I gotta deal with both mimics. I'm gonna focus target you. Alright, Mimic, 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 Mimic. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Is there a number- is there a set number of enemies you need to kill to activate the orb? Per floor, there is a set number. Um, but which- what number that is, is RNG. So if I walk into the next floor, I don't know if it's 4, I don't know if it's 6, I don't know if it's 8. The key kind of gives you an indication, but it's not reliable to literally tell you. It's just kind of just like, visual, um... So yeah, it's- it's between usually 4 to 10. Or 4 to 9, the average is like 6 to 7, usually, around those parts. Um, so let me just spawn in the room, and uh, that sucks because I have to pull it. Let's deal with the Mimic first. Actually, I don't have to pull it. I don't necessarily have to pull it. Yeah, look at these potsherds, let's go. Berserk's up, I don't really have gauge, but whatever. Yeah, there is, there is like an upper, there is, there is an upper lower limit to how many kills you need. Like, you're not gonna need like 20 kills. So there is like a, the lowest limit you could have is 4. Unless you flighted the floor, then it's 2. And then the maximum limit on average is like 9, 10. On the highest, highest floors, you can get upwards of 11, 12, 13. Which is brutal, especially how long it's taking you to kill things, but, you know. Oh, I'm not out of here yet. Okay, well. Warrior is some of the most fun I've had in POTD lately. Yeah, I mean, really, raw intuition is making this possible with the big pulls and stuff. Like, like no lie, because I've raw intuition, it's why I'm trying to do big pulls. I mean, especially without steel and all that stuff, like, it's just awesome. It, it's, it's making this run entertaining when mostly it's usually very, uh... I mean, Warrior in Palace is kind of tough, because your damage just sucks ass. Um, but it is what it is. It's just the kit that the game gives you and you gotta work with it. What do you think you're going to do smaller pulls? 191. <laughs> probably 181 too. 181 likely. I mean, if I'm rolling steel though, I probably don't do smaller pulls. Like, steel probably helps. Oh, whoops, I just... Set that up. Well, that's great. I need them around 70. Okay, you're not all 70. No. I didn't get it. Damn, that would've been great. That thing exploded. Oh, 
just doing just warrior doing warrior things. Yeah, precisely. This is whatever. on out of here. Did I just bait a landmine? Yeah, I tried to explode the chest. It didn't explode though. That's why home gang. So I did home gang uh, to try to make sure if I were to accidentally die, then I wouldn't die because, um, you know, I protect myself. In bulm. I don't need the serenity. Yeah. I'll walk here. Hey, soft pudding. How are you doing? Died on one. I saw the. Oh no! You. S oh goodness! Oh my goodness! Side of your night vision. Yeah, I saw your screenshot on uh 190. Uh 180. Sorry. It happens. It's alright. It's a learning lesson. God damn it, dude. Oh, oh I'm so stupid. I have berserk. Hey. Here. 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 Oh my god! Hit the button. I'm like not close enough, dude. I need that six Yal Madari. I'm like just out of range. I can't hit this thing. Good to hear. Grab Metsa. I was very punishing for Ninja. Should be reworked. No, it's fine as it is. Just don't miss hit the button. Although, although to be fair, I am hearing people having a bit of problem with Mudra clipping um, in in the patch. So, but the system shouldn't be fixed. It's more the server text should be fixed. But the system in itself is perfectly as it should be. You just gotta hit it correctly. <laughs> hit the buttons correctly. God damn it, dude. I hate this. I want that chest, but I'm gonna have to deal with the centaur. And I should have done Surging Tempest. Uh, I'll pull the centaur. I should have full gauge. Actually, uh, let's do one more here. Yeah, I've been hearing I've been hearing some people having that issue where like you would go through your normal stuff and it would clip when like normally it shouldn't clip, so that's a thing too. I don't know how you deal with that though. Like they need to fix that problem. Hey Amon, how's the run feeling? Slow as hell. That's how it's feeling, really slow. But this is uh this is warrior for you. It's gonna be slow. Uh, uh, I'm the in-game music here. Okay. Oh crap! Come on. Whatever. You know what? I'll big. I'll big. I'll build my gauge on you. It's gonna be a long night, guys. I'm hoping for a long night, but this might be a long night. So, hope we got some food if you're gonna hang around for the stream. Certainly guys waking up in the morning are gonna benefit because they're probably gonna get some uh, some good content when you guys wake up later. I lust. Will I lust? That's actually a good question. Maybe I don't lust. I think lust is actually better on the floors than it is here. Because I'm so tanky. We'll do the melee chat here. This is thanks to Yabi and uh, Zeta, who kind of showcased it. We're just gonna make a circle around this guy. We want the soft ninja to prog this tier, but with the clipping, I've just gone summoner. Yeah. I wonder what happened. Like I certainly didn't have problems with ninja before, but I've been hearing it all over the place with a lot of other ninjas. Um. So. Oh, I'm in that. Well. Oh, I didn't have to go in the middle. God damn it. So Knight, oh wait, Knight, you said you're going back to Red Mage, huh? Knight, had you done... you did Summoner. But you didn't like Summoner? I guess you didn't like Summoner. Oh, I overcatched. Okay, 
Okay, we'll stay right on the radio here. Should be good. Just outside. It was like a light switch with the patch. Yeah, I wonder. And I've never, I haven't tried Ninja in Endwalker, so I'm curious to see how it ends up in my, in my, uh, my thing. But I'm sure I'm gonna have problems here. Do my own runs as well. All right, we might be here for seven hours, so. <laughs> but hey, if you want to hang all night, man, I don't mind. I'll be here, obviously. Did I overcap? Uh, my my Zerk is coming in. Oh my god, this fight's gonna take so long. I looked at the HP bar, it's like, you know, 1% per fail cleave. 2 GCDs per percent. Oh my god, we're gonna be here a while, guys. My steel's going out. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Guess I'll just GCD. Here, my complaining, we do like, you know, 10 minute. We do 10 minute heaven on high bosses, but whatever. Here, Wild says, Oh no, I'm sorry to hear. Are you doing okay? So many people I know got 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 the virus. Although, although like you know, crossing the fingers that um, a lot of those people that I know that got the virus didn't get too many symptoms. Like you know, they got they got you know your traditional like almost flu-like symptoms, but nothing too bad, thankfully. So I hope that's the case on your end. My seal is now down. Super mild so far feels like a cold rather than anything else. Yeah, it's the vaccines that work. Hey, we're halfway there, guys. Oh, whoops. Yeah, it's the vaccines doing its work, so... Damn, dude, I feel like I'm next, guys. You're scaring me. I'm, I'm gonna be next. I'm gonna hate it. Time to build the gauge. Get me off this floor! Bring it on. So feeling good. Oh, the booster was like pretty brutal on me. But it's alright. But I, what I was told was, uh, when you have the booster, and if you get your ass kicked, that means you're 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 healthy as hell. Whereas, like you know, I have you know, one of my parents got the booster, and they're like they were like fine, like oh yeah, I didn't feel anything. And they're like yeah, that might not be great. <laughs> but they are much older, so makes sense. But if you get your ass kicked by the booster, you're gonna be a, uh, you know. That means that means you're healthy. That means that means first of all doing the job. Second of all, uh, you're gonna be pretty healthy. Good morning, Shayla. How you doing? How you doing, friend? Oh, well, I didn't really create the best circle, but oh crap! I shouldn't have used that one. Actually, I think I could have used that one. Actually, it's okay that I used that one. All right, that's okay. Oh, I'm gonna still clip the Zerk. Ew. Yeah, for me, it was... I got a massive headache. Um, I got the body aches. Although, you know what is funny? Is I did stream the, the day I got the booster. And when I got the second shot, what kicked my ass was I got the body aches in my shoulders and my arms. And I didn't take anything. And I, like, regret that I didn't, but I, I'm usually someone who tries not to take anything if I can help it. So I tried not to, but I was ready with the booster. And as I was streaming, you know, I was feeling all right. But man, I was starting to feel my arms starting to give give up. So I took a Tylenol, and it was great. Like it, it just repelled it completely. Um, 
But then the night after, uh, or the day after, I had like body aches everywhere else. It was really, it was really interesting. My, my body was aching literally everywhere else. Is there something to prevent failing your run when you disconnect? We did put that in the feedback for the deep dungeon stuff, but it's some it's hard because as much as you'd like it to be there, you have to produce something that people don't cheat the run and disconnect on purpose. And unless you can figure that out, then yeah, that's the problem. It sounds great, but people are going to take advantage of it. So you have to make a system where it doesn't take advantage of it as best as you can. Then feel like the first day, then it hit me in the middle of the night like a bowling ball, woke up sh <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Precisely. I want to make it tough and you still find the boss. Yep. Could have had dinner. I was still fighting the boss. <laughs> tell, tell, tell how long that boss is. How long was that? Like 8 minutes? Jeez, dude. I didn't do strength, so that's, that's also a reason why that kind of took a lot longer than it should have been, but... Doo -doo. Okay, pull you. I'll pull you. I could do the ogre, but I think I'll avoid the ogre only because of the massive AoE. You. Good. Oh crap. Yeah, I didn't want the arrow mode. What's in here? There's more. I'll do four. I need to steal. Actually, let's do five. Five should be good. I'll be good. I gotta focus the arrow mode. He's looking this way. I gotta keep a very eagle eye on the Aramon because of that Petrify. With five enemies on me, if I get hit with that, I'm probably gonna die. I think it's 20 seconds, I think, or 30. No, I think it's like 20. Basically, too long. Okay, he's facing that way. I'm out of here, but that's okay. I'm comfy on summoner, but I prefer red mage safe. Okay. Hey, I'll always, I'll always be a, uh, I'll always be pro red mage, so I'm not gonna convince you out of it. Okay, we'll make sure that I have a clear path to the rage and also to the exit. So I rage here. I only need one more kill. Uh, let's do the ogre. Just because it's sight, I can get around the other ones. And then what is that other chest? Flight, which I didn't pick up. Okay. We'll just make sure the exit's clear. Oh yeah, ninja's fantastic. Well, ninja has always been fantastic. I mean, it certainly got, you know, a little bit of help now, but... It's always been a great job in here. In deep dungeon period. Kind of excited to potentially get back into it. Um some point. Soon. Okay, I didn't pick up the steel, so I do need to pick it up. Next floor is lighted, so we can just probably do singular single pulls. Instead of do big pulls. Get the chest, so on and so forth. Uh, there's the steels over there.
Uh, we do want to pull something almost right away so I can get the uh, I can get the um, my berserk in motion. Something coming. No, there was an Aramon that flew away from me. Let me go to the next two I'll pull. That one. I get uh we'll get surging tempest up and then we'll uh, burn it. Exploity chest, this is gonna be like Paladin all over again. I'm gonna hit a whole bunch of silver chests and nothing's gonna explode. And I'm gonna be angry. Alright, that's good. There's another one. But there's two chests here. Where's the other one? Wait, where's the other chest? Oh, it's right in front of me. Oh my god. Okay, Mimic. There's a chest here, that's the exit. No explodey chest again! So only silver chests can explode? Someone asked that question last time. Only silver chests can explode. All the other ones can't. So I'm trying to leverage them if I can, especially because I have heals and I have defense, so it's not going to be too big of a deal. I just have to be basically above, ideally, 80% or max, if I can help it. Half once. I want to check the chest first, so we'll bypass the soul who is sound. And we'll check the chest and then pull something, because if it's another Mimic, then it contributes to the exit. So I don't waste my time. It is safety... Another Zix coming up. If I get my gauge full and then it will burn it, it's gonna be worth it. See, damage is great when Berserk's up. That's good. Okay, third floor. Play it again. That's gonna help with time tremendously. Let's let the steel up. Exploding! Uh... Heading to bed. Hey JK! 
Thanks for being here. Thank you, I appreciate it. Have a good night. Okay, this was an altar. Uh, yeah, Alright, it's fine. Oh, that's not good. Just don't get... Dude, I hate when I walk through a room. I walk through a room and then like... Uh... I like walk backwards and then I step on the trap. Like it'd be great if I walked and hit the trap going forward, it's not backwards. Because I'm already kind of guessing that I didn't hit the trap going forwards. That's why a lot of times I go backwards, but that was annoying. I'm gonna get one more gauge here before I berserk. Good enough. I know there's no chop here. Come with me, we're gonna tomahawk you to death. Right, five kills. Not bad. Uh, these are all sound, so I can check these chests no problem. Strength is great. Check the other one. Oh crap, that might aggro, depending on... Depending on... Okay, it won't aggro now. They walked forward, so that's really good. Off we go. Uh, I still... I have a Shank Steel already, I'm not gonna check that one. And a Flight app. yeah. There's like no benefit of that one. I already have a Flight going, we have a Shank Steel going, so it's perfectly fine. Silver. I do want to take advantage of that silver. This is flighted though, so we don't need multiple enemies. I've seen one. You, Mr. Ogre, come here. Mr. Ogre, come here. I call your name. Damn it! That <laughs> still won't explode. Wanted to explode. I do have to find the altered room. There is an altered room, so I need to watch out for that. So if it's a mimics block the exit, I gotta deal with them, you know? Or if it's Corrigan's free kills. Purity. Corrigan, three kills. Uh, do we get one or two? That's one. Ooh, another flight. Love it. Plus, okay. Uh, flights. We'll use the lust on the hex eyes because we'll get some bonus damage on it. I might even kill it off in it. A teammate! Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, god damn it. Yo, thanks for the resub, man. It is wonderful to see you. Hopefully you're doing well. 19 months of support and being an amazing moderator. Thank you, dude. What is that chest? Purity. Let me get my attack bonus up here. Oops, I'm typing. Off we go. Yeah, it has been, man. Maybe even longer than that, you know? Maybe like slightly longer than that, that I've known you. Long ass time, holy shit, dude. Pretty incredible I've been doing this for that long. And I feel like I'm still just getting started. Rich. Oh, it's flighted. Not a big deal. Patrol coming yonder. 
drag with me. Oh, that's just like nothing here. Oh, okay. Oh, I should have popped checked the chest though. There's something else walking over here. I hear something walking. There it is. Oh, I gotta get to the hawk. The hawk's gonna give me a disease. So we want him dead first, because otherwise I'm gonna I'm just gonna have 30, 30 seconds of like reduced movement speed, and that's really annoying. Let's kill both of these so I can get access to this chest. Okay, we'll check the other rooms. That's the exit. I do want to clear this up. And then we'll dump Rage, because I don't think I'm going to get to the west room with Rage on. Uh, raising insurance, I like it. I, I think I've actually been getting Raising like every every floor set so far, so I'm not going to complain. That's really useful. Kind of keep, keep me, like, you know, a little more calm doing some of these big pulls that we're trying to execute. And that was a fortune, which means that's a fortune, so I don't need to do that one. We'll check the Rage, and we'll go west. Uh, to see if I can act, get gain access to that chest. If not, we're just gonna go. I'm not gonna kill anything for for stuff. Nice classic JRPG in the in the in the playlist right now. It's my first JRPG that I ever played. Little demon. Actually, what I remember from this song, act, um, what I remember from this song, is it does play against uh, this being again this being my first JRPG. You encountered a boss that you could not defeat. It was script. It was a scripted fight that you were supposed to lose, and it was it was really jarring to play a boss like that, especially when you're like a kid and you're like, wait a minute, I can't win. I'm supposed to die. like I wait, I lost. And then you get you get sent to another area. That's pretty interesting. It hits avoiding getting hit when using rage. I tried to aggro one at a time and went backwards while hitting, but still get hit sometimes. If you do the aggro, you're almost bound to always get hit. You kind of have to get them. Uh, you have to kind of get them uh, either as they're aggroing or right before the aggro. So, and also, another tip that you can do is that you want to get behind them. Because if you get behind them, they have to turn around to smack you. Does that make sense? They have to turn around to hit you. Um, so if you kind of aggro behind them, they stop, they go through that motion, you probably kill them before uh, before uh, they get to turn around. But if you're forcing an aggro, there's a good chance that... Um, there's a good chance that... Uh, You'll probably get hit, hit at least once, so you have to kind of take that into, into consideration. No problem, Dark Jedi. Sometimes you do just get lucky that even though they're coming at you, they just don't get the attack off. That can happen. Um, so it's sometimes not like a sure shot way of making making it avoidance, but you know you, you can you don't get hit every time. Basically, is what I'm trying to get at. Oh man, these silver chests are not cooperating. I got berserk coming in, so I'll wait for it. And I got infuriate coming in, so that's great too. Okay, we're gonna get out of this room. Did I not check that chest? No, I did not, because it was blocked by the Dahak. Purity. Two purities. Almost certain this one is also a purity. Doo -doo. Uh... Oh. Okay, so... Oh! Uh, so these are undead, so I can actually wipe these out right now. Resolution actually came in handy. Instant kills. 
the superior way. Yep. Anything to go faster, man. Like, this is... I think tanks and healers are certainly one job that... Uh, really will test your knowledge. Because if, if you go about the tank and healer runs... Just like a DPS runs, I, I think you're really gonna be in a... You're gonna be in trouble with time, etc. So you have to treat this... You know, Angelus, with knowledge in hand, so knowing that things explode, knowing those things are undead, that's kind of a huge deal. Yo, Eddie Village, hey man, thanks for the two months, I really appreciate that, thank you for supporting the stream. How you doing? Good to see you. Watch my back. I know there's like an Aramon flying flying around here. There it is. Stop seizing me. Okay, oh. Don't aggro? Okay, good. Doing some S rank hunting! Are all the S ranks showing up now? That sounds cool. Oh, well. Staying within the, the game genre. Actually, this is Fancy Star 4, not 2. Again, I'm gonna focus the Aramon here to make sure. Dice on the explodey chest again. Uh, because of maintenance on Tuesday. Oh, I see, I see, I see. That's true. The things get reset. Uh, okay. Gotcha. God damn it, are you kidding me? Uh, okay. Quickly kill you. Okay, I have focus on you. Oh my god, there's another. We're not gonna repeat history here. Just made it through another... through one twenty of Solar War. Hey! Hey, you're welcome. Athena. Are you gonna climb further? Oh, or maybe you'll wait for this one, huh? We'll see how we do here. How do you feel with Warrior, man? Warrior is just like, it's a slog in Palace. I mean, the tanks are a slog in Palace, but... I'm kind of making the most of it with the big pull. I mean, we're actually doing really good on time, to be fair. We're at 37 on this floor, so that's not bad at all. When I die, I get the A, or, or you just get up, you know... You just get to the bench and you get both of them at the same time. But that's the dream, yeah. Just get it all at the same time. Deal. Good. Ooh, well that saves me time. Rich. One shot you to the easy, yeah dude. I'm so yo. I don't know if you guys are looking, but I'm keeping an I'm keeping a close eye on the Oceanic Data Center right now, huh? We the highest floor I saw, and maybe I just wasn't looking hard enough, but the hard the highest floor I saw as of last night 
was 172 on Red Mage. So I'm gonna get 172 on Red Mage. And a couple machinists were like 100 and 112. Uh, I think I saw the f I think I saw a 41 potentially. No, I think I saw two 30s in Heaven on High and Gunbreaker. So um, yeah, I'm I might blast out uh, if I can catch the person who gets uh, data center first. I might blast that out on Twitter. I don't care who it is, but I might blast that out. I think that'd be kind of cool. It's it's very rare because I don't think. Uh, if I can re- oh shit, god damn it, that was a miss hit. If I remember correctly, um, this is- this was potentially the first opportunity for someone to get a data center first, since a new server got added in. Because when Crystal got added in, everything just got split up, so like, essentially people who had cleared, like Meiji had cleared, so, you know, she already had the clear, so her score was just up there. And I think that was the same with Chaos and Light. Chaos and Light would have had whatever, uh, whoever had the- uh, although I don't think they had a clear, but that's details. Um, yeah, pretty much this is the first time you get this opportunity of like a fresh server and, you know, really getting a, a real race to see who's gonna take it as a priority and all that stuff. I'm really interested who does it, who pulls it off. I'll be looking tomorrow on the boards just to go through and see if anyone gets it done. Guard. We'll do one at a time. All three. I will use that. My Berserk's coming up, so I'm gonna do the next pull here. Don't have gauge though. Well, actually, I have enough gauge. It's good enough. Yo, Dot JPEG, hello. Check out Materia. I feel bad I wasted that steel though. I don't really need it, but it kind of sucks that I just batfinger to steel. Um, I think the monk is gonna give me a problem. Let me see if I can just check the chest first. Oh, perfect. I'll do that now. I do want to check the chest now because if there's another steel, I'd rather pick it up now than later. I don't think those are going to give me a problem. Uh, the monk should give me a problem, so I'll just pull you. Okay, let me... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to walk to the chest before I wanted to, uh... Before I wanted to dump the rage in case I stepped on a trap, and I did. But it's not a bad trap, so it's not a bad thing. Now, you might aggro! Okay, good. Oh, there's another rage. Well... It's okay, I don't need it. Just making sure this one's a rage? Okay. Next floor is altered, and then we off to the boss. And actually, this was a pretty fast floor, but we did get like a lot of uh, we did get a lot of flights, so that helped. <laughs> Strength is great. I'll have that for the boss. I gotta go backwards because of the. Uh... room that is not the exit. Uh, two mimics. I'll ignore. Oh, guess I'm not ignoring it. Uh, 
uh, one way to city. Strength. Hey, I got the steel back. Sweet. Okay, let's go check the other chests and then off we go. Nope, guess I'm gonna fight you instead. Never mind, I'll just fight you. Strength is here. I picked up the steel. Let's go check the other room. How's the exit looking? Is the exit clear? Yeah, yeah the exit is clear. Let me just build gate here. That's good enough. Something else. Silver chest. Come here. Come here, dude. Oh my god, come here. Oh my god, Aramon, please. Like, literally right on top of me. And still no explodey chest. I want them to explode. That's what I'm hoping for. They're not giving it to me. I don't know roughly how many points you miss out. I'm starting from um like half of whatever you usually get, so like maybe uh if you get like 1.5 best best in BIS, then it's like maybe like 700, 600, 700k that you miss out on potentially. Yeah, I'd say about 600k you probably miss out on. It's a lot. I mean, it's 50 floors, you know. The third Lotus Prince, hello, I will be dead in a second. I am out, and I don't really need anything, so we're just gonna go. Oh, get the steel back, dude! Hello! Ready to stream an hour ago. Oh, no problem. Let's say hi. Thank you for that. You're welcome. You're trying to get- oh, oh sweet, dude. Currently on floor 50! Yo, little by little. Sounds like fun, and I hope you do have fun. I love- by the way, thank you so much for spending the time to hop in here and telling me that. I actually love hearing that, um... That people are actually- are you kidding me? That people are taking the effort to visit the stream when we're live. And... shit. And, uh... Even chatting, like, I, I, I always say this, like, I'm actually pretty bad on Twitch sometimes. At least, you know, personally speaking, I, I'm- We'll always say this, I'll always say this, that I enjoy the lurkers, you know, you never have to say anything on stream. Um, I just enjoy the fact that people sit and watch and that's great for me. But at the same time, it means a lot when someone does say something, and I don't do the same in other people's channels. <laughs> I just, I stay silent and watch. I like on Twitch like literally all day, but I just don't say anything. Kinda feel bad about it. No you don't, Immortal! Um, okay, so I heard like Berserk potentially works, so I kinda wanna test it out. Uh, let's do... we're gonna do the uptime strat, so let's go... Bah, bah, bah. And then... oh, that's not it. Okay, let's try this. Oh, I didn't potion! Oh, that's fine, I don't need potion. I'm a tank, who cares? No, it didn't work. One... Two... Gonna move. One... Two... Three... One... Two here... One... Uh... Aw, oh, bro moves, I appreciate that too. Thank you for... Thank you for saying that. Three... I think this has to be two GCDs. One... Yeah, point three. We're good. Alright, dead. 26, you know that's... I actually almost got a speed run here. That's pretty incredible. Almost got a speedrun. 
Excuse me. We have food. Um, yeah, I'm gonna throw myself at the title, and then I really want the Heaven on High mount. The Dodo mount. The Dodo mount or the Judy mount? I'm sure it's probably the Dodo mount. Bard score is now 25th spot, but current file I'm working on, so I did 51 so far, we'll be missing some points. Yep. You'll miss about six. You want the Judy mount. The Judy mount's pretty cool. Um, I keep failing this quick kill because I always manage to drop through these champions before I start dealing boots, so I've got, I got that going. Yeah, you know, a lot of people have said that, Catman. And I have put out a video a couple times, uh, the Paladin one, when we did Paladin. Um, I did a uh, slower strat, if you will. And basically what you do is just that you just do like 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. And then when the ads show up, you just blow up the ads and then just finish off the boss. And that's like safer, if you will. Like the, the uptime has actually been proving difficult for lots of people. For whatever reason, and I can't question it. I can't be like, well, just play better, okay? Get good. No, if it's if you're having problems, then something is going on. So I, I definitely did want to at least try it where we went a little bit slower, and that would be the go-to kind of backup plan or the the ideal plan. It's just you just do two, 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 kill the ads when they show up because they die for one shot, and then finish off the rest of them. Especially if like you decide to do it without strength, which is possible, but you're certainly gonna make this a little bit harder. But yeah, that's the way to do it. Hey, no problem, Jayla. Don't worry about going AFK, why do you apologize for that? The fuck? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Let's continue. Did I update the title? Yes, you did. Alright, so now the floors are going to get a little bit better. Because they're not going to be as slog. They're still going to be a slog, but they're not going to be that big of a slog. My signature move apologizing? Yeah, I always confuse you for being Canadian or something. Yo, Nova Wova, thanks for follow. Yo, bossing, let's go. Hey, Elf. <laughs> She's not. But we can call her Canadian. I thought this was a chest room. Where's that silver chest? Where's that manticore? There's a silver... Let's look at all the goddamn gargoyles. Let's not die doing this. Still no... There's the manticore. Oh, that was bad. I shouldn't have done that. Because my Berserk was up. That a 105 to one shot from two dung- Oh goodness, they hit really hard. Yeah. They hit pretty hard. Manticore. Manticore is sight? It is sight, yep. It is sight. They also are known to wear socks on their feet, so sometimes you don't hear them. Which is really annoying. I'm gonna relax my arm. I feel like I'm tense. I'm gonna relax my arm. There's a chest here. <laughs> I should share this off. What's up, Aurora? Maybe. Maybe one day they will. Thanks, Alz. I really appreciate that. We'll see what we can do. I do have a plan for Behemoth. Uh, I've constructed a plan in my brain. Now it's just about translating it to my hands. We'll see what happens. Pick up the strength. Apparently you do feasts. Apparently. I did it a long time ago. I actually have not done feasts. Like, the entirety of Shadowbringers. I did like the first season, and like, I think it was a season 16 or something. I haven't touched Feast since then. I do have intentions of doing Crystal Conflict though, um... And I'm kind of excited about doing that. Well, I'm somewhat excited. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably be kind of casual with it. 
Um, depending on how it goes. Depending if I have fun. Honestly, it's, it's all down to if I'm having fun. Uh, if I'm having fun, you'll probably I'll probably be doing it quite a bit. Maybe even stream some of it. But it comes down to the fun factor. Yeah, I did a lot of feasts. I did a uh, I did like I did like 16 seasons of feasts, and there was like 20 of them. I gotta focus. Fireballs out. But yeah, the Qs are atrocious. That's one reason why I kind of didn't care so much about the Feast anymore. Is because the Qs are bad. Uh, that's one thing that I'm hoping Crystal Conflict will solve. With people just getting in there and doing it constantly, and the fact that it's 5v5, so you have more people that can get in a match. Um, so I'm just hoping overall. It really. Feast. The PvP only suffers because people don't do it. So. What food buff would I recommend for me? I always do Z uh, Zephyr. But it's also because it's also I bought a lot of it. Whatever food you actually use for raiding, if you raid a lot... I don't think you said you do. But if you have like 580 food... Well, Palace, you can go a little lower. You can probably use like, you know, the food I have, which is like 510 Shadowbringer food. But if you're going to heaven on high, uh, 580 would be kind of superior. Like, your typical raid food would be fine. Like, I do Zephyr because I want the spell speed, and even though it's very minor how much spell speed you're actually getting, I, I feel like it does help me, personally, with the casts. Even that little hundredth of a, you know, hundredth of a second goes faster, it kind of feels like it's helping. And I prefer to cast faster than slower. I've always been a fast caster. How do you even figure out the substats? Um, I think people figure them out with, potentially, uh, maybe ACT that they initially found out that information. I can't remember. I think it's probably ACT. Uh, and I think maybe there's some, like, backwards backwards testing with, like, stat potions and whatnot to kind of see... Like, I think maybe... maybe just as a simple way of thinking about it. Perhaps, like, someone went in, used, like, a, you know, vitality potion, and then did the math of how much it adds in, and then boom, there you go. So that could also be a thing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, people have figured it out. Like, they've figured out what subsets you have and all that thing. I mean, AC I can definitely tell you ACT was a way to know that you didn't have direct hit. And also, follow up to that, it's, it's also how you know that when you use direct hit food, you get direct hit. In Palace specifically. Because, like, someone used ACT and then when you put on direct hit food, they all of a sudden had, like, 2% direct hit. Based on hitting, like, a handful of enemies. So, yeah, it, it's been helpful in that department. I mean, I leave that to the to the smarter people. Like, I don't have that, so I don't do that. But that's why it's been great with the community that you have people just looking into that stuff and, and having that knowledge and then sharing it with everyone. So it's been, it's been pretty awesome in that front. Um, but I personally don't bet, invest too much on that one. Um, I don't put too, too much... Uh, into that type of information, so... But, it, but it's fine when you do. It really helps in terms of, like, you know, min-maxing. Gargoyle still suck no matter what. I have one more GCD of this, so let's just pull another Gargoyle. Uh, I go. Gotta get those. Well, yeah, I mean, some of the jobs really, really had that going for it. But how I look at it sometimes is like only if it really gets down to that, that, that amount of detail do I start looking into crazy things like that. But if I can just do it with, just, you know, hitting buttons, and I'm good to go. I know, I know, my bard run got benefit for a lot of direct hits and crits, but you know, is what it is. But then we had we had Setsu who followed it up and was able to uh, get it as well. Uh, I'm gonna pull you. I should have probably checked the chest first, but it's alright. I do not have any gauge. Why don't I have any gauge? Because I'm playing like a 70 warrior, that's why. 
is the only way to survive Behemoth by just spamming potions when Meteor comes out. Fight always seems so close and shook. Um, I mean, depending on the job you take in, it's up to the kit. So like, for instance, on Warrior, uh, we're going to be doing a mix of Raw Intuition, Thrill the Battle, Equilibrium, Hall, uh, Home Gang, so on and so forth to kind of just spread out all those buffs so that it can survive Meteor after Meteor. Um, and then for like Melee, you have to utilize Bloodbath to help you out. You know, Bloodbath is the way to go because that will pull back all the HP when you're hitting the enemy. So it depends on the job and depends on the kit. Then you take like a healer, Red Mage healers, they just, they just cast Cure, or they just cast heals and you're good to go. Um, but some jobs have a lot harder. I mean, Bard was tough, you know? Bard, you only have second wind, uh, you're sustaining, uh, and, and super potions to utilize. You gotta make the most of what the job gives you and just make it happen. As best as you can. Resolution key. Wait, why is my- oh, right, right, because I use resolution for the boss. Okay. Gonna be like, why is my resolution missing? What happened to my resolution? Assuming a uh, similar skill level, would War be better than Gunbreaker for easier time through Heaven on High? I feel like I feel like it is. I feel like Warrior does surpass Gunbreaker in your in your scenario. Um, but I am biased because I'll tell you first and foremost, uh, Nova, that certainly with Endwalker, I have really just not liked Gunbreaker as much. And more the reason why, it's just that it just it's just the same, you know? Like Gunbreaker was pretty good and Shadowbringers, you know, it was it was, you know, the new job, so on and so forth. But because it just hasn't really changed that much now, it just it's just a little bit boring to me. So Warrior is a little bit more of a new adventure. I like the way the job plays, it's more my style. So I am a little bit biased with what I said. But I think a lot of other people will probably say that Warrior is really great. Um, and won't disagree with that. So a lot of times I kind of I kind of judge things by just how much fun they are. And sometimes that dictates to me whether I like it or not. Um, so something to think of where uh, oh as uh, yeah, you But I mean Gunbreaker is still Gunbreaker. There's a reason it has the most clears and it probably will stay like that. So it's up to which one you like better. I got alone here with the Warren EW, can confirm good job. You kill Behemoth in all caps. What job you do count? Congratulations, man. Reaver! Yo, let's go, dude. Oh, that means you got 190. Fuck, 190. Oop, good luck on 190. Alright, kid, come with me. Do you see this chest, Ked? God damn it. You know what sucks? I use all of my GCDs on... On basically not... Generally, uh, Berserk. Maybe Necro bus? Yeah, I like the dedication. You got this. Maybe Necro seems fun. It's great. I mean, Reaper... Reaper is just really well built for this place. It's very strong. It's probably the strongest job of all the jobs available. Maybe you can argue Summoner, but it is just just raw power with uh, with Reaper. And a really simplistic rotation, especially at the lower levels. Um, it's not complicated at all, so it probably helps a lot of a lot of players with that. Um, I definitely would put Reaper top tier melee, just without a doubt. Like Ninja was almost without a doubt top tier melee in Shadowbringers, but in my opinion, Reaper is top tier melee, just without a doubt. Easy to play, because again, your rotation is very simple. One, two, three, with a gauge, you know, it's not complex with Mudras, it's not complicated with, with Masterful Blitz. Um, or you're, or you're, you know, juggling your Sen, or having to deal with Jump, it's just literally one, two, three, and occasionally you just hit a gauge button, you know, it's, it's very simple. 
And a lot of times, you know, you can argue player style, you can argue um, preference, you know, like, like, you know, if I say Black Mage is easy, you know, half the chat's gonna be like, no, it's not, it's hard as hell. But I think Reaper, Reaper just has less buttons at 60. Like, it's a job that's designed for 80, 90. So, you know, I, I think it will be very simplistic. Now, the gameplay of it, you know, having to survive on a melee, that's hard. Like, that part is hard. It's like hitting buttons on, on the job, I don't think it's that bad. That's a whole other story trying to manage melee in here. Steel. I think this is flighted. No, next one's flighted. Yeah, melee still melee. You think Summoner might be better in Palace and Red Mage? Yes. Uh, I think we're gonna have to see what the community thinks, Oki. But, think of it this way, Oki. Why do people... why are people gravitated towards Machinists over Red Mage? Well, okay, the kiting, for sure. Interrupt? Alright. But I'd say a lot of the reason why Machinist is kind of the popular one is because of the kiting, and the fact that you can really take very limited damage and maintaining full uptime. Whereas something like a red mage, it's a little bit more difficult. Because, you know, you have to do for curers and all that stuff, and some people don't like that playstyle. Summoner plays like machinists. Now, you don't have interrupt, and you don't have leg graves, but you have sleep. Uh, and your damage, your mobile damage is extremely strong on summoner. So, and, and I was saying this the whole time when I was playing Pals Dead specifically, that summoner just felt had the vibe of uh, machinist i mean we took on an ape with no steel when you're a red mage doing an ape with no steel is a big challenge like that's something that i recommend you don't do summoner forget it yeah no problem <laughs> just had dreadworm stance you know that's it all you need so that's kind of a big it's kind of a big deal at least no one can take red mage being the og yo I'm gonna try my hardest, dude. I know there's gonna be a big race when it comes to the next deep dungeon. I'm gonna try my hardest to make Red Mage the first clear, and it'll be glorious. Oh hi, I'll take I'll take uh, I'll take you with me. Oh, we have resolution. Never mind. Sup and then, how you doing? You'll be on warrior. I think everyone will be on warrior. <laughs> I almost would think it'd be silly to not be on warrior at this point. You know what I mean? I think Warrior will be top dog in, uh... Warrior will be top dog in, uh... The next deep dungeon, hands down. 90 Warrior, top dog. Without a doubt. Like, I, I would try make arguments for other jobs, I don't think it's gonna work. Any tips to 51 to 100? Just got to... Niche, we're palace dead, right, Niche? Kinda of weird question, but is there any lore to find a floor? It's just a cool place like choke. Um... Yeah, I'm not aware of any lore for either of them. Um, lower specific since the story kind of stops at like, you know, 100 for, for Palace and, and 30 for, uh, for, uh, Heaven on High, but... Palace Paladin 90? I have no idea. Haven't touched that job. I mean, they got a massive boost, so I guess it's great. Um... Shibi, thanks for the follow. Neo Heart, by the way, earlier, thanks for that follow. Did I do that intuition? I'll do it now if I didn't do it earlier. Apologize. Um, kind of got scared and dipped out at 57. You dipped out? Like, you dipped out or you died? Um, I mean, honestly, like, 51 to, like, 51 to, like, 80 is, uh, is, could be argued to be easier than, like, 1 to 50. Because you have your full kit, the enemies are a lot less, you know, or, you know, they hit you hard, but they kind of drop very quickly. But, I mean, just single pulls and, um... Just kind of just don't take any big risks and just kind of get through slowly but surely. Just kill things and move on. That's how you kind of deal with those floors. I left don't want to die. Well, well, one thing I'm going to tell you right now with uh, Niche, when it comes to Deep Dungeon, death is death is the way you win. You have to die, you have to fail in here, and you will win. Uh, you cannot be afraid to die in here because you're going to die so many times. It is the way of progging. Even if you, if you go all the way to 199 and you die, is what it is. That's just that's just, that's just what teaches you to get better. So certainly, like, just get used to dying. <laughs> just get used to dying, because you're gonna find. Let me tell you, you're gonna find hundreds of ways to die in here. Literally hundreds of ways to die. Kind of what you're you're watching me do is that I found hundreds of ways to die, and we ran out of ways to die. 
so it's very hard for me to die because I've just experienced a lot of it. Um, so yeah, that's exactly. It's kind of the nature of the roguelike is that you die to get better. Like a roguelike, that's the definition of a roguelike. You know, death is satisfying. That's how they. That's that was my favorite description of a roguelike. Death is satisfying. Whoa, Ellie. Yo, thanks for the three months. I really appreciate that. When you die, you learn, you absorb information, you try not to die like that again. You find another way to die, it's okay. Losing is fun. Yeah, that one too, yeah. Losing is fun. Dying is satisfying, yep. That's the definition. Uh... What does that chest deal? The brave don't fear the grave. Mm -hmm. The habit of hugging walls and moving a lot, I kind of do that in normal dungeons. You're ready, you're built for this place, man. To live is to suffer, a teammate. Haven't you learned anything from this game by now? Gosh, didn't you, didn't you, didn't you watch the story? Yo, look at that quadruple fail phase, dude. Is there a reason I pull with Provoke? Provoke um, still has a higher range. So like Tomahawk is now 20, right? So Provoke is still going to be 25. So it's a further distance. Um, like, I think also like before, because be before Tomahawk used to be 15. Um, so it was always preferred to pull with Provoke just because it was just so much longer. And you would avoid like the, the issue of stepping into the room traps. So, because the, the, the difference is much smaller, you could definitely make the argument that it's just better to pull a Tomahawk. Um, so this is more or less like really habit that I've formed. But yeah, that's mostly what it is. It's just, it is still a, a further pull than... Um, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I made that mistake, but I, I don't remember... Safety Serenity with... Yeah. I just need to see what I was gonna miss, because I, I saw two chests and I don't remember. Probably treasure rooms. You have to vote for it. It helps. I mean, if you gotta pull something across across the field, it'll help. You know, every little bit helps. It's also like a reason, immortal. Like take take this one for account. If you if you go ninja, uh, Fuma Fuma Shuriken is a far range attack. So I would pull with Fuma a lot. You know, instead of like run up and do right on. And yeah, you're losing damage, but you're getting an enemy from like literally like a mile away. So you can just kind of have little risk of like getting getting either something you don't want or trying to aggro something else, trying to walk up to it. Um, so yeah. Uh, hmm. I'll probably aggro the persona. Oh, I should burn this. Oh no shit by Ninja though? That's fair, that's fair, that's fair. How long does it usually take you to go from 1 to 200? So I do it in two streams, third place. Uh, third, 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 third prince. Um, so day one on a Tuesday we took I think 6 hours and 11 minutes. Today I'm going to predict it's going to take about 7, 7 and a half. So about 13-ish, 14-ish. Uh, so usually I range it between 12 and 15 hours, depending on the job. So it's a two-day adventure on my end. Ooh, do we have a mod that knows how to do a pull? Cats or dogs? That's gonna tear apart the, the chat. Who wants to do a pull? Who wants to do the mod wants to do a pull? What's up, Nick? How you doing? Oh, I'm just hitting buttons now. Well, There you go. Thank you, boss. Sorry for so many questions. No, dude, don't don't worry about it. 
But do you know how much how many how much enemies get buffed? Um, I think we used to say it's similar to like a frailty. A frailty is like 20%, so it might be around that. Alright, check that chest. It might be around that number, maybe 20, 15, something like that. Question about progging. If I'm in 70 plus, is it worth me using a raising now, or should I try and save and be behemoth? If you have a fear of dying, you should raise it. I think that's as simple as I can put it out. Even if you think it's like as early as 71. What would suck is if you go through and die on that floor, you know? And then you have to go all the way back to like 1 or something like that. Um, so in my opinion, whenever you feel a little shaky about the floor, uh, then that's when you're raising. I mean, once you get used to it, Alves, and you're getting, you're climbing up to, you know, 150, 160, 170, some of the lower floors are going to start to become a breeze. You know what's going to happen, you've encountered those enemies X amount of times, you're not going to get fearful of them, you know? Unless you do, like, crazy pulls, you just, you know, pop a chest when you shouldn't, you step on traps, etc. Only time when that'll become a bit of a problem. Um, but... You know, like, like I go through run after run, and those floors don't threaten me. And not to say that you'll get to that point, but you know, they're not they're not as hard as, as later floors. And part of that will probably also happen with conditioning. Like, you'll start fighting in 150s, 160s, and then you'll realize 71, 80 is like, not even close to what 150 is. And, you know, just by that, the difficulty and the confidence will just rise up, and you'll start pushing, uh, higher, just start pushing higher floors without having the need of that raising, so... Yeah, and as you feel more comfortable, that's just how it will end up being. You'll you'll get to those floors, and then you won't need it, so on and so forth. I consumer raising. If I consumer raising at the boss, does the boss reset? Yes, it does. The boss will reset. If you're familiar with Boja, if you've ever done the Boja duels, unlike Boja, when you re raise in Boja, the boss the fight continues in Boja. Like it just the the boss just kind of stands there or it continues his mechanics. Not the same here. The boss will just reset. So it's like opposite of it. She does have adorable emotes. I think I believe Chela made them herself too, because she is a graphics designer. She got skills. Oh you commissioned them! Oh you commissioned them! Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, my bad. My bad, yo. Another steel. And I'm about to have full gauge. And penguin facts, true. I clear up the floor and then we'll uh, pick up that chest because I still have steel on. Uh, you might aggro. Oh, there's the exit. Okay. You did oh, I didn't actually. I didn't see this one. Oops. Is HOAG in the palace or are they not comparable? Um, in in the grand scheme of things, they're not really comparable. Because uh, you have a, quite a bit of differences between them. However, I do I do kind of say that Heaven on High is a little bit easier than Palace. And the only things that, that push Palace a little bit in front of Heaven on High for difficulty, it's not enemies. Well, technically it's not enemies or something like that. It's more, it's, at, it's 200 floors, it's the marathon. You know, doubling the floors really makes it quite the experience. And then, um, Behemoth. Depending on the job you take in, Behemoth is a big wall for lots of people. Lots of people will get to Behemoth, but not a lot of people will, will really have, you know, it'll take a while for people to get past Behemoth. So, um, you know, Heaven on High, a lot of times people can do it in one go. One day, boom, you just get an attempt in, then maybe you try another day. Uh, whereas Palace almost always takes at least two days. Kind of intimidating. The ghost was going to the exit, that's why I kind of bailed for a second, because I'd have to fight it. Although I have a bad feeling that I might step on a trap here, and I feel like I'm going to aggro the ghost anyway. Yeah, I'm going to aggro the ghost anyway. Now 
And less tool to work with. Oh, fuck. Nice chat, good job. It's like the second pull that's happened, you guys evened out the pull. Well done. What's up, Mia? How are you doing? Well, some would argue, Mia, that Rage is superior to Petrify and Magitype. I've heard that being said a couple of times, and that's true. It is. It kind of is superior, depending on how you utilize it. Good morning! Oh. Okay, good. I'm terrified of Behemoth. Hey man, it's all- again, it's all about the dying to him and getting used to him thing. You very much disagree. Okay, fair. I've seen the argument that- so like, for me personally, Mia, I've never really liked Rage. Like, Rage is whatever. I can see the argument that Rage is more useful, because you can get two floors out of it. Of course, it's high risk, but like, a Petrify doesn't get you two floors, or a Match doesn't get you two floors. And I can see that argument. Um, I personally just... I don't like the transformations. Um, like, they're just clunkier. I prefer not to do them. It is always risky. Behemoth was scary as fuck. Of course it is. Okay. Oh, right. Stop that. I mean, I've definitely modified a lot of my strategy to make sure that we don't run into big problems with Rage. Which is a problem I had in my last Machinist run, where we had big problems with Rage and I couldn't get rid of those problems, which sucks. But... Um, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with the Rage. Petrify... I mean, a Petrify you can kind of screw up too. Um, although Magislide you can't screw that up. Well, I guess there's one specific instance when you can screw it up, but... You found Godfather more troubling. Again, that depends on the job. It depends on the job. Um, like something like Machinist is... I mean, although some people will probably think Godfather and Machinist is harder. Which is true. Like Tank, it's not. Like Tank, Tank, uh... For Tank, uh... Definitely Behemoth is way harder than, say, 190. 190 just, you know, just makes you get there with, with enough time. Uh, a lot of the other jobs is terrifying. I mean, Melee 190 is terrifying. Versus like Behemoth, like melee Behemoth. If you know if you know how to manage your cooldowns, honestly, melee Behemoth is not that bad. You know, like on paper, it's not that bad. Of course, getting through the nerves and everything is certainly a different story altogether. But hi Niche, hi man. Hey, thanks for thanks for coming in here. Um, hope you have a wonderful and and don't be afraid to die in here, dude. Embrace the death in here. That's how you will succeed. Yeah, she's, they gotta stop laughing, dude. They laugh too much. Kind of irritated them laughing. I'm gonna step on the trap. I feel it in my bones. Strength again. Serenity. Okay, we'll do the strength. I think I had a strength, y'all. Yeah? And I didn't check this chest. Oh! Hold on. I shouldn't have popped that strength because I never checked this chest. Mimic! Mimic! Oh, steel! Sweet! Okay. Gotta move a little faster, I need some time on the boss. Time is great actually, but we do want to move a little speedy. We don't want to- the boss can take a while. So I don't want to waste too much time. This is the strength. Oh, next floor is flighted. Okay, so it is going to be faster no matter what. Perfect. I'm gonna try to sleep more a bit, see in a few hours. Okay, Mia, thanks for popping in. It is always a pleasure to see you, so hope you get that sleep. Can't even type? I mean, look good to me. Oh, hours, hours, oh, okay. Yeah, better than what I do. <laughs> At least I read the sentence. I mean, you didn't, you know, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, like, you know... You didn't look like, like, like this. I mean, that would be, that would be bad. But sorry. Oh, hello. How you doing? Do 
I didn't even see Death Trap. I gotta go back to get the strength. Ooh, Gravekeeper, huh? Don't wanna fight you. Purity. Excuse me? You tried- you tried really hard not to do that! <laughs> well... See? It's not that bad. I have learned to treat Mimics as a godsend in lower levels. I have steamrolled- Yep! Yep! Can't fear the Mimics! You know, a lot of people- this was like old misconception. Was that you stop opening chests in the higher floors because Mimics destroyed you. But it's so bad, because if you're not opening chests, you're not getting power-ups, you're not gonna prog. You're not gonna get anywhere. You have to open the chests, you gotta deal with the Mimics. So... Especially in Palace of Dead, it's like, Mimics are actually easier than some of the other enemies, so you want to deal with Mimics. This is very helpful for time. Uh, I have a Strength again, so I don't have to go back to that other room. Uh, Purity, Strength... Okay, so I just have to go here to get the Strength and the... and the... Rage. I don't have to actually go back to the west, so that's good. But I'm gonna clear the path all the way north. Make sure anything is there, because we could run into a treasure room. As a machinist, you have no answer when it starts becoming gold. Oh no, where did you hear that from? Uh-oh, we need to find that person and imprison them. Forever. No, interrupt works forever. Actually, even up till now, you can see, like, I have, I have, um, I have interject. Same exact thing as head graze. And they're working up to here, so they work all the way up until 199. No, they always work. It's stun. Stun is the one that, uh, that does stop working. So eventually, like, so stunning, uh, they only work on bronze and, and silver chests. So at one point, they will stop working. But not head graze, not interrupt. Only interject works on, le on higher levels. No, they work on all mimics. Interject will work on every single Mimic in existence. It's Stun that has the slight issue. Um, early floor Mimics are from Bronze Chest, those can be Stun. And then sometimes you'll see Silver Chest Mimics, those can be Stun, but not the, not the, gold, not the gold ones. Silence doesn't work in 100. 100. Where would you use it on 100? Strength. Steel. Oh, I didn't use them, right? Okay, because I'm going to use them. Okay, what is this? This is the strength. Yeah, I bypassed because I wanted to run back and get the rage first and then we sort of open chest. Hey, Lin Lena, I am doing warrior. Yep. There could be a mimic, never know. If you get me a video clip of you getting a mimic up there, then we can immediately disprove it. Theoretically speaking, because we haven't seen a mimic there, I can't prove that you can interject it. So I can't- so you can't prove either way in that argument. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> yeah, you know, that's one thing that I had to eventually break out of. Uh, Lotus Prince, I had to break out of that. And- but you break out of it because it's more strategy, and also, like, probability, in terms of certain commanders that you pick up and everything. You chose Warrior? Yo, I hope uh, this run will be helpful to you then. This is my first uh, serious Warrior run, so we're gonna see how this all goes. Bring me no Mimic bonus, I do get the Mimic bonus. Don't die to this. No uh... Gravekeeper. There's nothing here. I'm gonna pull a sucky this here. Also, is there a best way to farm pot troops?
I don't know my own commands. Wait. There you go. I did make videos on them talking about it, but like, for Pal's dead, uh, you kind of naturally get them. Once you get to 101 plus and you get to bronze chests, you'll get a lot. Uh, you probably... I, I get a lot of bron I get a lot of pot chests and just bronze chests up here, so getting to those high floors will help you farm them. And it is honestly better solo. A duo is not bad too, but a solo is kind of nice um, for the most part because uh, all the pot shards go to you. You're not battling someone else for them. Oh no, you don't apologize. That's why I have the commands because, uh, like, you're not. I mean, I hope that I can, like, you can ask it. Like, I hope it gets to a point where you ask the question on, like, YouTube and the video comes up, you know? Like, I don't know if we're quite there yet, but that's why I'm here too, because. Maybe you just don't know. There you go. Hey, thanks for the Prime, by the way. I really appreciate that. You didn't have to. I really appreciate that support. It means a ton. That's the first time, so it really means a ton. Thank you. You just cleared Dark Knight? <gasps> hey, Chayla. Someone just cleared Dark Knight Palace of Dead. How do you feel? Uh, B190 with 10 seconds left! Behemoth was terrifying. How does Warrior compare to Palace? I don't know, actually no. I'm gonna find out. I think Warrior is much better, so it might be a better- it might be a better, um, a better run than it- it, it, it is going to be a better run than it is in Shadowbringers, that's for sure. Uh, whether it's better than Dark Knight, I will see. I am going in with a strategy that I have concocted in my brain. I didn't look up any videos on purpose, because I wanted to see if I could figure one out. Um, and we're gonna see how it plays out. Nah, we'll tell her eventually. I'm gonna fix my gauge here because we're almost to the boss. 19, 18 minutes on the boss would be really, really good. So I'm gonna like that amount of time. For sure. I'm not out of here, but I'm gonna go to the, go to the exit for that. Yeah, congrats, dude. Dark Knight is... Man, Dark Knight is so tough. It's one of the- it, it, it probably is by far the hardest tank to take in here now, especially with the way Warrior is currently. So, good stuff. Did you get the title, Quantum? Did you get the title with Dark Knight, or was that like a secondary clear? Like, you got to clear somewhere else and then you kind of came back and stuff. I didn't check that chest. Oh, it's a rage, but it's okay. BGM, moving in the in game music. Alright, it's time for this boss. I do have a. Oh, I don't have a raising. Oh. We should be fine with the healing of Warrior. I should not have a problem here. I will re up the strength. Play with okay, third job still, that's really freaking good. Good stuff, man. Oh, not, I'm liking that one. That's not happening. Canberra, hello, how you doing? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay in Lust and we're gonna try to get to the Succubus as well.
AW confirmed. Not quite. But they said it they said it should be th that they've already they're planning for it. They basically confirmed this when they have a patch date. That's all we're waiting for is a patch date. We don't have a patch date yet. How pre about warrior? It's alright. I mean the healing is really impressive, that's for sure. Uh, but, I mean, deep, like, Palace of the Dead tank has always been so kind of annoying, if you will. I should have used my gauge, it's great. I'll use Decimation on the thing. So here's how I want to do this one. What I want to do is I want to get them to the middle, and then I want to go to one corner. It's right about here. Steel is dropping. Where's the death note's effect? Uh, it is a bind. So when they get to me, I am bound until they die. Does War need steel? Nah. Nah, dude, I got I got raw intuition. I don't need steel. I clip though. I will get that after I kill the boss, um, Prince. That, that takes more thought for me. <laughs> I gotta think about that one. I just took off my food. Fuck me, dude. Hit the wrong button. Okay. I have my I have my well fed on just in case. Um, I need it, so that's why it's there. So I have a I have a macro that takes off food. Um, I might need it for Behemoth. I don't know, but I, I, it is there. cycle. <laughs> Aw, <laughs> thanks camera. Shout out to the SOS. Gauge here. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Come on. Okay. I kind of messed up my position there. So I, I got, I got, like, the, the, the thing was in front of me, so I wasn't gonna get the, the cleave very well. Okay. 
Easy, no problem. One potion used. All good! Alright. Why do you think so little people have necromancer title? I thought more people would consider that there's um, all those who x2 99 times that amount. Because people in this game, Prince, are more used to the party content. This is still unexplored territory for lots of people. And not to mention very intimidating for lots of people. Um, I mean really, you really only started to see the boom of Deep Dungeon like two years ago. When, pe when people were breaking through on, on multiple jobs. Like, Red Mage had been the- uh, like, like, one thing that probably held a lot of people back initially was just that Red Mage was the only one clearing. Heaven on High, Palace of Dead, it was always Red Mage, Red Mage, Red Mage. And certainly, over time, we've- we've definitely seen that lots of people don't like Red Mage. And so you probably had a number of people who tried Red Mage or just didn't like the job and just didn't engage with the content because it's like, well, if you want the title, you have to go Red Mage. But now it's just an open field. It's just, take your favorite job and give it a shot. You know, you're going to have the variance of difficulties, but at least you can do it on all jobs. So it probably opened a wide door for lots of people. Not to mention, you know, back even two years ago, I was still working on the content. I didn't have as many videos as I do now. So now you have so many resources, so many written guides, so many perspectives, so many videos. And I definitely feel like this content will benefit off of just basically seeing it to believe it. You know what I mean? So that's probably why. And even up till now... Um, it's still steadily. I mean, people like you are engaging with it now. So you're new into it. You're learning it. Uh, you're you're trying to go through the process. You're telling your buddies about it. So it's still kind of a word of mouth type of deal. Um, but I do think, you know, getting the stream out four days a week and doing this content over and over and over and people coming in, checking it out on the videos, helping too, just to kind of very slowly spread the word. But this, this game, this MMO, is more on the rating, the Savage, the Ultimates, the party content. This is what it's known for, right? And a lot of the casual stuff, right? A lot of the casual content, too. This, I don't know if you would consider this... I mean, you would consider this hardcore, but you can kind of do this casually. I mean, you can do 10 floors a night. That's pretty casual. You don't have to sit for hours to do this. You can do it, like, you know, 30 minutes a night. Um, but it is certainly in a very unique place where it exists. Uh, of what you do with this content. So that's probably why. Um, and again, it's not. It's also just a really hard challenge. I mean, even like even like some of the best gamers are afraid of this. And some of them who did try it took a while to do it. You know, it took them it took them like a, a good amount of time just to be able to prog and get this done. So and then think about maybe they don't have time for it. Maybe they're just busy with statics. Maybe they're busy with PF. Maybe they have other things to do, so they just don't engage with it. Uh, this this content certainly benefits off of the dead content period, right? Like, b definitely, like, when the last tier of Savage came out almost, like, what, a year plus ago or something like that, you had this dead content period where people were just trying to find a way to play this game. You know, they did all the Savage, they got all the gear, their BIS, they finished all the relics, it's like, what else do you do in this game? And then it's like, you, you get into this, right? So, so it's a slow process. Although I am starting to see, and I mentioned this early in the stream, you started to see people literally joining the game and starting the game and hopping into this content like right out the bat like engaging it as a new player which is just kind of mind-boggling to me but that is what it is um so i think over time i think what will happen too when the next deep dungeon rolls around you probably see that it kind of like go up again and blow up again um it'll kind of get more recognition it'll probably just more people will just know that it's a thing um and also depending on what they decide to do with potential solo stuff with it you know, to put it on blast. So we'll see. Video is what pushed me from that's cool to I want that title if it's the last thing I get. <laughs> yeah, new title. If they, yo, if they put an Omni title, you know, to get, when you get all three, you get an Omni title. That's certainly gonna, like, entice a lot of people as well. So who knows what they decide to do. And is beating his head to grab the Necromancer title ready because he saw me running it? You got a race on your hand. Sounds like fun. Hey, guys. We are thirty floors from uh we were thirty floors from uh, Behemoth. So let's let's get to it, shall we? Also my astron I've only gotten I've only done astronomy in Palace. I have not done experts this week at all, and I'm at two thirty, so let's go. <laughs> I'm farming my tomes in here. Hey, speaking of innocence. Alright, let's go. Hi, right, Catman. Thanks for being here. Have a wonderful night.
As well, I Deep Dungeon is the only piece of content that feels unique to the FF experience. Yeah, absolutely, it is. It is very unique to the experience. Doing all the raids, PF feels the same thing as I've done well before. Yeah, I can I can absolutely see that, yeah. So we definitely want to retain the rule of warrior. This is what I call the rule of warrior when it comes to deep dungeon. Your berserk or IR is up, you better pull something. So that's what we're gonna try to adhere to um, as best as I can. So when I see that thing coming up, I better get something pulled and we just hit it around and berserk comes in. And this will become more and more important as we go into higher levels. I need to see if I can- oh, I see account. Thanks for being here as always. I will get the damn time to put a trophy in the SD Discord. I love it. I love the attitude, man. But I hope you have fun doing the whole process. That's what I hope you- that's what I hope happens, that you have fun doing it. Um, that is not a landmine. Okay. I can explore a little bit here. Hey, it's that corner trap that I always talk about. Where's the silver? Come here with me, Deepai. No explodey chests. This is a run that I'm really excited for. Hey, Cash Money, I'm gonna try my best to make it exciting. Fell out of love with it for some reason. For me, I was in love with Red Mage in Stormblood as the new job, and I, f I definitely swapped out of Red Mage and went into Black Mage. But a lot of the reason was just Red Mage was the same. Like it was just you know it didn't really change that much. So it's like okay, I just kind of wanted a new job to play with. I do still love it in Deep Dungeon though. It's still my favorite in Deep Dungeon. That's for sure. Um, but for like PvE content, I've certainly swapped out of it. Uh, Fraggy, hey, thanks for follow, welcome in. We had no landmines here, that's okay. But I was looking for the I was looking for the traps here. On cast time, scary. Yeah, you find a way. And specifically, deep, deep dungeon and with red mage. Um, I mean, red mage is my most comfortable job. It is it is my favorite job in here. And it's just you just find a way to make it happen, and I've certainly optimized Red Mage so much, and I think like the way I play Red Mage probably, probably comes off like that, that uh, it looks like I'm very comfortable, and I am very comfortable in my job. Am I putting the heart rate on? Yeah. Actually, uh, if I forget to do it, remind me, because I do want to put it on for 171. Um, I really, really want to have it on for Behemoth, at the very least. And that 4 sec, because we're going to be utilizing a lot of landmines too. But yeah, I, I did want to have it on by then. Ah yes, warrior in these floors, I remember it well. The slog it is. Uh, enemies respawn in 5 minutes, so I'm actually going to see a respawn in like 30 seconds. I need to kind of be careful that I'm not in the middle of the room when that happens. I still recommend the Lost Behemoth 21 unload burst. For most jobs, it depends. Uh, actually, for this job in, in specifically, I'm gonna use I'm gonna be utilizing Lust at 19, but it's because I'm doing lower damage, and I also have to time it much differently than a DPS. For most DPSs, I will do 21 20 percent, uh, 21 22 percent, and then start, start micromanaging the uh, the uh, HP after that. Hey quad, made from 191. Palms are meh, but wasn't bad at all. The floors, however, were mega. Ooh, how are the palms? What kind of palms did you get? Yo, but welcome back, Jason. Had to use my remaining rages and mages. Mobs went out of the way to aggro me. Oh, nice. Love it when mobs try to kill you intentionally.
Well, we're not quite there yet, Jason. We still got 34, 29 points to go, but... There is a deep dungeon plugin. You can do exclamation point Loken in chat. Our buddy I am Loken is the one who created the plugin. It is still in beta, so bear that in mind. Although, you know, he is up around available, he might even be listening in. Um, and he is he is certainly welcome to try to make that even better. Hey, Sugar Eve, what's up, dude? How are you doing? It's a very well. It's a. It's it's like a passion project, if you will. He spent so many hard, earn, hard hours on that project. Um, he he had worked on it for like a year and a half before he made it available to the public, and everyone who uses it loves it. Hey, Logan. Yeah, we're just talking about the plugin, dude. Everyone who's used it has loved that 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 plugin. God damn it, dude! They won't explode. All I want is an exploding ship. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That's what. It, that's why it's great. Um, everyone kind of does their own thing, but at the same time, we kind of kind of get back and share all the information. Um, I mean, I mean, on my end, for instance, Prince, like I am certainly not hiding any information at all. I mean, this can get very competitive, but literally every single run you see me do is right in front of you. You know, no tricks, no nothing that are hidden from the from, from you. Like you will just see everything that we do, and that's kind of how I like the. That's kind of how I like it, right? That I find out this cool thing, but I want you guys to try it too. And that's kind of that's why I think a lot of people in the community have adopted as well. You know, they find something, they immediately share it. Like, hey, I found this thing. Um, and there's been so many strategies and stuff that that has been developed because people were very kind to uh, share their results, post it, and then we get to digest it. And even from JP, it's the same thing. You know, they post their clear videos, and then we get to see it, we get to try it, and then it gets translated for like, you know, our, our for like, la la, English four months, and everything. Cha, cha, cha. Word words for text to speech, 77,777. Just kidding, mod me when? Yo, what's up, Night Vision? How you doing? Thanks for the four, I really appreciate that. I'm, I'm, that's actually really funny that, uh, the bot is like, you know, did 77,000. Instead of 777. Very odd. Setting so events on YouTube? Yeah. And that's 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 why I think it's so cool. I mean there is there is one person that I ran into who like I called them the student of the content. Like they were like they were like Man, they're like the well educated to like things I've said, things I've done, like they've seen so many videos. It's like it was weird to listen to, to them talk about it, but at the same time, it's like, wow, like, you really study this content, and... I mean, if you if you want to get this clear, you you know, information is just right in front of you. You just have to, it's just up to you to how you want to digest it. It's pretty damn cool. Finally! Goodness, dude, it took so long just to get one goddamn exploding chest. Um, that's a regular patrol. Okay, so let's just pull. You kind of obsessively over prepare, so I I'm glad. You know, that's why I think also what's been great, Prince, it's the fact that you have that you you have all of the met the form the formats to do it. Like maybe you're someone who likes Meiji's Guide a lot. You can't really watch the videos. It's Meiji's got her comprehensive guides. Like they will help you, as well as some other people in the community. Like Fiers has created some Heaven on High guides that have been very useful, very detailed. But maybe you're the visual type. I'm kind of the visual type, so videos are very helpful to some extent. You know, so we kind of have you covered in all formats, which I think is just awesome. Um, I am gonna aggro you, so I'm just gonna bypass. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get that. I don't want to deal with another fight right now. Cover prepare with Knights and Palace of Death damage-wise? It, it did. It honestly did. In the long run, especially in the higher floors night vision. 
as much as it's a very simplistic job, you know, like you don't really have any OGCDs too much, um, or at all, uh, it, the damage showed up, so it was a nice one. I did, I did actually like the Gunbreaker run more than I, more than I, uh, think I did. Do you traps double attack the melee? Do the traps double attack the melee? Do the traps double attack the melee? Yes, they do. They do melee and then range attack. Don't wanna... Don't mean to brag. Oh my fucking god. Give me... Can you wire your house, your your modem to me, JCN? Fuck, dude. God, so jealous. Berserk so. The original extreme. What I like to do, Quad, for for that, they do do the Konal every so often. So like I'll go in, I'll bait the Konal, and then I'll step back out, do a couple of range attacks, maybe a blood bats up, and then go back in, bait the Konal again. But then like of course like the better the better solution is like you just don't fight them and fight fight anything else. Um, but would you recommend more for Palace of Death? Um, if you really like the job, I mean. One thing that that I need to wait for is Sugar Eve is uh, Behemoth and how we do on Behemoth. Although I, I have some confidence on Behemoth. I mean, doing multi poles raw intuition is really nice. So far, our time management has been pretty pretty great. So I haven't really been concerned too much on time. I mean, I I just find the tank runs overall Sugar Eve just kind of boring. You know, it's very simplistic. I mean, especially with 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 Warrior where you don't have inner release. Kind of does make it a little annoying, but it's it 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 has a fine kit. I mean, it could do it, and we're gonna try to prove it today. So, I mean, if you really like that, if you really like that job, and you're gonna have fun with it, then by all means. I just prefer the DPSs in here. That's all. It's just what I have more fun doing. Um, I can beat this. Really like tanks and teeth dungeons. It might fit you very well. And this is gonna be like my like this is like my first serious attempt at warrior. Like we are gonna do this until we clear. So I, I kind of don't have an impression quite yet. And I might only get that impression once I clear, but I can't wait to see it too. It's pretty exciting. I have a plan for it. I do have a, a setup plan I wanna try to work for. I didn't look up any videos on purpose. I wanted to try to go in with my own game plan. And so I do have one, and we'll see if it works. Yo, Chaos, what's up, man? Good to see you. Uh, I'm gonna move now, because I might go to shop tea. Okay. The plan. Hit a bunch of buttons, hope for the best. That's the plan. Chillin'? Good to hear. Machinist is a good job, man. It's got the most clears. There's a reason. Sorry for the. Don't tell me the thing was the exit. Oh crap, the exit was behind me. Ew, I had to get it back. I might aggro the pudding here. Nope, not anymore. Safe. Oh, I shouldn't already have it up. So I said, when Berserk's up, you pull. Now the only problem with that is I have an orange key, so it might open in the next exit. And I'm I'm almost 99% sure there is a pudding in the way for the exit, so I want to get up there first if I need to only kill one more thing. Wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Well, Quad, you are experienced, my friend. You have experience under your belt, and let me tell you, that is not to be discredited. That is tremendous. Um, it's still, you know, it's still a tough one, but you're also a really good player, so that, that helps out uh, quite a bit. Yeah, it still counts, man. Compared to like, compared to someone who's like doing it for their first time, you know. Who's never seen Godfather? I think I think at least seeing it a handful of times is invaluable, in my opinion. Invaluable.
So, like, it might be terrifying, right? But you probably get through. Probably. Maybe I should have pulled the pudding. The overall is terrifying? True. Well, we're, we're all crazy people, because we think it's alright. It's not that bad. Also, there's safety, right? Yep. Ah, but, but it's not necessarily a setback, right? Yes, you have to go through the floors again, so on paper, it is. But, by dying, and specifically dying, not a disconnect, but specifically dying, I mean, that experience is also invaluable. Like, you will learn something, and more than likely, whatever killed you then will probably not kill you once more, you know? You might learn that lesson, and like, okay, we're not dying to that one thing anymore. So, it's not necessarily a setback, you just had to experience something for the first time. Uh, fortune... I learned not to 1v1 a Shinze. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing you don't do. Oh my god. And I especially, actually, even with the, with the inner release change, that probably doesn't help now. Like, if you had old inner release, I think it might be a different story. Uh, but the new one with the 60 second and the 3D CDs, it doesn't help. Like, it, like you need to delete that thing as fast as possible, and now you, you can't delete it as fast. Yeah, it's RNG. Yeah, RNG. As far as I know, there's no way to manipulate it. <clears throat> what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, what kills you makes you stronger too. Yep. Swasanti ons. Yeah, exactly. Do I see that for Mimic in 180s? As a warrior? Or as a reaper? A melee? If I had three. If I was down to two or one, I would try to not use the steal. And then if it gets bad, if I had the raising up, like I would YOLO until like the raising dies, and then yeah, I probably would. I have defeated 191 Mimics on melee. Without steel. It just takes a really long time, but I have done it. So that definitely gave me a lot of confidence. Um, but it's certainly not something I prefer to do. Yeah, Reaper, there's a lot of kiting potential. So I can risk it. And again, raising really dictates that a lot. Um, because you can at least play some risks and then... But, but, but honestly, like, if I don't have raising on quad, uh, if I get a Mimic, I'm probably just stealing, and just trying to go through as quickly as possible to steal, if, if I don't have a Raising on, you know? Or like, let's say I pop multiple Mimics, I just get tired of it and I start using a Raising, but I try to get through without it if I can. Hey, there's the Strength I need. So let's just mow down some enemies. Let me just get to full gauge here. Oh, never mind. I have a uh, double and three gauge here. How much time on machinists do you have left over for bosses? Oh, I don't remember. That I don't keep track of. You just basically want to get to a boss in like eight minutes, but it kind of varies here and there. I don't, I don't remember that one. I'll just GC this down. Oh, I'm out. I'm gonna go. 
Oh, that's a silver? Let's not open it. Oh, tragedy. Time is, uh, questionable right now. We're, like, on time. So if we don't get a little bit of help, then I need to help myself. Yeah, well, the tank run kind of asks for a lot of precision. Like, you really have to be a little precise with how you do things, otherwise it could get very dicey. Like, one wrong... One wrong use of your cooldowns, man, it's kind of, it's kind of game over. You don't have too much room for error. The warrior one that I'm planning, if I just miss hit a buff, I'm probably screwed. Like, the whole thing is just down the drain. I might be able to audible my damage, but if I mess up using my buffs, or I misuse it, then I could just literally the run's over. Just like on Bard. Like, Bard, I miss hit, uh. I miss hit, um. My Raging Strikes, and it was immediately a loss. Like, it, I just lost. I used it I used it early by accident and we just lost, but I still went through the motion. So Hey Foy, hey Foils, how you doing man? It's been a minute. How you how are things? Good to see you. Alright, it's on. This floor is gonna really suck. This is gonna take a long time to get off this floor. I don't know if I should surrender any of this. I kinda wanna get the chests first. Let me... Pop this. What if Nimix had life train? No thanks. Is it possible to use raw intuition twice? I am planning for it. Uh, when I was doing my math, it looked like I could. And I'm, I'm actually my my whole strategy actually relies on the fact that I'm using it twice. Oh shit! And we have problems. Trolls. Oh god, I'm gonna aggro this one, I think. Shit. I got hit with that. Ah, oh, this is bad. Home gang's on. Okay. I got hit. I got. I ran right back into that uh, AoE. Okay, we're good now, but yeah, this is gonna get too way too dangerous. The patrols were floating, were leaning against the wall, so I had to I kept aggroing them as I, as they were walking by. Might have been for the better that I surrendered this because this was too much. I had raising up actually. I did, actually didn't. I I was like I don't have raising up. I need to keep myself alive. But I actually did have the raising up. Um, usually my eyes would go straight to my character info to see it at raising up, I just... I already was like, okay, we're in danger because I got stunned, I need to like, home gang and serenity now. <laughs> so, but we would have been okay, but I, I probably would have ended up surrendering even if I died. Uh, this is nutty, dude. What the fuck is up with this floor? Holy crap. Okay, we're gonna hold this and I'm gonna pull it back. I gotta pull it back to the entrance. We keep being screwed on this one area. Yeah, we're good now. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't actually know I had one. I forgot. So I was, I was playing like I didn't have it. 
It's, um, okay, so my gauge for time is walking into the 6th floor with over under 30, 30 minutes. So we might get to the 6th floor with over 30, which is gonna be good. Now this sucks because I have to actually fight a fucking pot just to get to the exit. There's so many patrols. I'm pretty sure the exit is over where the pot is because I just don't visually see it here. Um, it is not here, so I need to go this way. The pot is proc, so it has to get pulled, and then this gargoyle's here. And he's facing this way, and he's sight. Jesus, dude. I, okay, I can't see the exit. trying to like see if I can't see it. I don't think it was west on the middle ground. Shit. Oh, it's here. Okay, it's here. Okay. And then the imp's here. That was extra bad because I was focusing on the patrol at the same time. Terrorize and float away. Yeah, he'll use the thing and then move out. That's usually how their pattern works. Time is like interesting. Is there a chest over there? I don't see one. I'm just gonna go. I haven't picked up another strength, which you know would be really helpful. Shit. Oh, that's not good. Sucks out. Yeah. Well, I had to deal with so many patrols. Oh my god. And now I'm gonna like I lost probably three minutes doing this. Ice Spike should be coming in back again very soon. There it is. Okay, so we're like on time, so we'll probably have to use something to speed up. Kaiyuki, thanks for follow, welcome in. Sight is great, that's gonna help. I get a landmine. I still just run away from Void. Oh, no, I won't. Oh my god, he got it off. What the fuck? Got off ice spikes. What a champ. I mean, a uh, boy blizzard.
Most classes would just be dead there. Uh, if I was like not a tank, I probably would have serenitied. <laughs> like even Machinists, I probably would have serenitied that because those dolls are like range attacks, so it's just really bad. Raising again. And I do have a landmine, which is exactly what I was looking for. Strength is here too. I'm gonna check all the chests and then we'll do a big landmine play with uh with witching. We're gonna do it with witching because of the because of the amount of imps in here. So that's why it's gonna suck. I have strength on? No, I didn't put it on. We go, that's a time save, let's go. What is this chest? Oh, raising, right, okay. Easy game. <clears throat> Easy game! That's Warrior. And that's one thing, Sugar Eve, that I love with Warrior. Raw intuition, landmine plays, I just think of a thing of beauty, like you said. Like the only other job that can do that good is like Paladin, because you just ho you just hollowed, but like I don't even need home gang for that one. No home gang needed. And I got my witching back, so that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, same play. And this is even safer because the enemies are just not as strong. Uh, although the witching is certainly gonna be a thing. Are you kidding me? Oh! Ice spikes are giving me the, the slow. It's the ice spikes. It's not the void blizzard. Oh, fuck me. That's just fantastic. That's why I'm getting slow. That makes sense now. Oh, there's two chests here. What's this one? Fortune. That was late. Damn it. Is better to try and kill the key immediately and scout first? No. Scout and kill at the same time. You do not want to open the exit before you scout. Because then you might be forcing yourself into a scenario where you have to you have to kill more because things are blocking you. So you kind of carve a path to the exit. Uh, you carve a path to the exit and kill only what's necessary to get to the different forts. So what you'll watch me do sometimes is I will leave a lot of enemies in the middle of rooms because they're just not bothering me. Like, they're not blocking a chest, they're not blocking me where I'm going. Like, the imp oh, in front of me right here. I'm gonna try not to fight that and check both chests if I can. It's completely unnecessary. He's not blocking anything. There's no exit there, nothing. So I would just skip that one. And you'd rather fight the enemies in the exit room because you can help yourself clear up the exit. So no, you, you, don't, you do not want to kill then scout. You want to scout plus kill. Any kill you do, uh, Prince, any kill that you do when the exit is open is a waste of time. No matter how you look at it, no matter what what logic you try to put into it, it's a waste of time. You know? Yeah, okay, so the exit is blocked. Okay, exit is blocked, so I have to use, I have to kill enemies to open the exit. way you could have thought about it is that you could have gotten there earlier, cleared up the exit first, and then opened, the, and then opened it, you know what I mean? So... You never want to overkill. This is bad. It's 
So right now, I kind of don't want to deal with the doll. I don't want to deal with this imp. I want to get over to this room because the exit is here. Oh, well, I got the doll. But now, like, okay, there's one thing here in the exit. So that's not bad. So, like, okay. Even if I just... Even if I open the exit right now, we should be okay. Because that thing is sight. And I should be able to get the exit clean. I have an arch demon coming behind me, so I actually want to move. But here's here here becomes this dilemma. Think of it think of this scenario. Exit opens right now. Great. But I wanna check these chests. What if they're both mimics? Well, it's a waste of time. So what I would like to do, if the exit does not open here, that's actually not a bad thing, kind of. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check these these chests first. If they're mimics, they contribute to the exit. Well now now, you know, that's not the case here, but if, if the exit was still not open, I'd check these chests first and foremost, fish out the mimic that may exist, and then they contribute to the exit, you know? So it's not a wasted kill. So now we just opened the exit, I just made it to this exit room, boom, we're out. That's time efficient. What if what if your logic's getting points? Yeah, that's a different story though. That's you're going a long time though, yes, Pizza, right? You would kill beyond, you would kill beyond the exit for kills. And you would just adjust to that one. So there is, there is that reasoning. Which exists, but going for the clear, yeah, different stuff. Okay, I'm gonna get this done. I swear. I told you I'd get this done. Wow, haste is a thing of beauty. Holy shit. This is flighted, I believe. So we need to keep the kills to minimum. Also, yes, pizza. Good to see you, my friend. God damn it. Keep the kills to minimum. <laughs> You've heard five dish five you've heard five different versions of Amara. You heard the uh the day theme and the night theme. Are you complaining about Amara? Who complains about Amara the fuck? Yeah, Amara's just that good, yeah man. I'm letting this one bypass because uh, I I wanna get to the exit first. It's proximity. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Purity. Which I checked like 12 times. Oh. Ah, shit. Okay, the exit's... Uh, I don't know where the exit is, but I gotta check chests first. I can't keep pulling right now. I know my Berserk is up, but I could be one out. Slight... Ooh. Yes, please. Give me that time save. Alright, let's go to the exit. Any landmines? Nope. Okay, I'll probably take a... I'll probably take this Arch Demon with me because I know where to go. <laughs> it's pizza. Rip. Okay, well, I apologize. Oh, I'm dumb. Oh my god. I got distracted. I distracted myself. Holy shit. Well, I hope I, I hope I enjoy some Paralyze. Love me some Paralyze. Oh. 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 Okay, exit's not open. Let's check these chests first. I mean, the, yeah, the chests and the traps. Stop. Alteration, I will use that. Our time is respectable, by the way. I'd want to get to the boss for like 12 minutes if I can help it, then I don't have to use anything. Stop. Uh, there's a chest here, and that is a frog trap. Oop, oop, didn't mean to do that. Steal! We'll use it later. So, how was war... how has war felt? I haven't played it since like Stormblood. Um, in Palace it's certainly better. Is it OP? It's pretty OP. Although, you know, tank in Palace is still kind of a slog. Uh, but so far it's been doing great. I mean, I think the power you'll see with Warrior is when we start doing big pulls. And that'll happen about two hours from now. When we do some massive pulls and it's going to be a huge benefit to Warrior. Okay, steal here. Off we go. And time is pretty darn good. You know, we were kind of complaining about time, but we were actually really good. I got eight minutes to get off this next floor, and we should be good to go. Plus, it's altered. <clears throat> oh, although it's blind. That's not good. Alright, let's. that's the exit, which is blocked by sight enemies. Let's pull one of said sight enemies. So I can get to that chest, just in case. 
Blind is bad. Blind is really bad. Good thing I have steel on. Fantastic. I like those emotes, Coil. Nice emotes, dude. I think right now you'll also see kind of Warrior's just ability to keep itself up right now. This is really, really good stuff. How many souls have I done? Or is that what the 20th? Yep, I have done... Uh, well, I've technically done 27 solos. The wording of the title is actually a little bit of a play, because it states that I've been to 228 times, which is very accurate, because one time, I timed out on 200. So I've cleared 27 times solo in Palace, and I have got... and I timed out on 200 once. So 28. For specifically Palace of Dead. Okay, I need to stop Ice Spikes and then... Oh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> dude, stop Ice Spikes, okay? okay? I'm gonna let it go first. Okay, I do not want to slow. Waiting for the Ice Spikes to go. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, absolutely. It did not happen on my Necromancer attempt. Um, it was on a summoner run. And I felt like at that, that period of time, I felt like chat was more devastated than I was. I was just like, whatever. Like, everyone is just like, oh my god. The horror. Like, it's so, it's not bad. I mean, I know, like, if someone was going for the title, it sucks, but hey, it's alright for me. I do not want that slow. Okay. Yep, you have to get to the bottom, and you have to hit the, the thing. Yeah. Something we make is fantastic. The music is just great. Okay, we do have Mimics. Uh, it's kind of sucks, but it's alright. Don't get the free kills. I missed. Nice. I missed again! No exploity chest. I missed the fail cleave. It also takes away a charge. Great. And it's RNG, supposedly 50%, but uh, you know, mimics are st mimics in here are still not that bad. You know, they're not that bad. They're not great, but they're not that bad. Oh my God! Stop missing. Please and thank you. Right, let me see if I can work this treasure room. Oh, I can throw them both. Uh, let me finish the combo. Got a lot of Tursus is here. I don't need that. 
It's actually it's actually one of the better treasure rooms. It's like there's just very easy enemies in there. It's like I can just pick away at so many. Usually you see a lot of imps and soul flares. This one's actually really good, so don't mind it at all. Pretty much have more than enough enemies I can fight. Oscar! Hey man! 12 months! Holy shit! Angelus Mimic Bongo. Hey Angelus, has war been comfy in pot so far? Just joined the stream. Also, yay, one year sub. One year, holy shit. Has it been comfy? I'd say comfy is a good way to put it. Yeah, it's been kind of comfy. It's still slow, because it is tank in here, but... You know, comfy is a good way to put it, yeah. I'm gonna go right to the exit. We should have enough time for the boss with what I have time was. I shouldn't need anything. Might need pots though, but I don't think I need anything else. So let's bring in the in-game music here, and then we'll go up and do the thing. There was a respawn up there. This imp was not there originally, so I'm gonna kind of wait for things to move, and then off we go. Wreck them pants, yeah. Got to wreck them pants. Um, yeah, look how mean that imp was. He just ran right into the soul flare. I'm pretty sure he aggro's in my position. Oh man. I think I can get around the torsos, but the soul flare has to move. Yep, we're good. I'm gonna bust them. This will be a very slow boss, but uh, we'll, we'll be fine. I'd rather have the boss later than now. Um, it's not bad. It's not small, small, but it's not bad. This will be just a uh, tank and spank. I should have enough damage. I think we're gonna have enough damage here. Um, I hope. Also gonna pot here because this is a it's gonna be a lot of damage. Heels. Palace War, POTD. <laughs> I don't know. I'd rather do it on Red Mage because I have way more fun on Red Mage, you know? No. I'd rather we do it on Red Mage again. I think I'm doing about 10% a minute, so we should be fine on time. Not even a concern. Can the knockback be prevented? Yep. I'll show you uh, next time I get knockback. A lot of times I save my knockback in case I can't find an open spot. Uh, well, I can make it a low risk spot. But I'll showcase it to you on the next one so you can see it. Just, you know, just, you can just see it. Arms length. No problem. 
Finally going after my last job zone. Yo, let's go, let's go. I think the slowness of tank would kill me personally. It seems like it's such a slog to climb. Yep. Uh, personally, man, Sai, it's not my cup of tea. It really isn't. Like, like in Heaven on High, it's a much, much different experience. You know? Because... Um, because your damage is better. I mean, with War, you have inner release, so you feel like you're just, you're just a powerful killing machine. You're a powerful killing machine every minute. I mean, for most of the jobs, you're power you're, you have a lot of damage per minute, but in here, it's just it's just tough. At least, again, personally speaking, personally speaking, I just find it a little bit tougher. Halfway there. Yeah, it is pretty wild the uh, the difference in uh, kits that you have from six to seventy. Absolutely. And for all tanks, it's not just it's not just warrior. It's like really all the tanks flesh out better at seventy. I tried Gunbaker a few times because I like the class. I feel it isn't easy as it sounds like, like, like it should be though. Well, I mean, for deep done for, uh, I mean, if you're gonna do Palace of the Dead, I mean, Behemoth has always been the challenge in here, and that is extremely difficult. Like, yeah, like, you know, the climb in itself might be a little bit of a slog. It's slow. I mean, you're still battling time, so that's part of the challenge too. But Behemoth gets you now. In, in Heaven on High, I mean. Heaven on High just takes a lot of practice to get comfortable with how you use palms and how you climb and how you kill fast. So that's just more experience, really. You know, especially nowadays when we've been kind of entering Heaven on High, we've, we've kind of I've kind of just been crushing Heaven on High. But you know, that's after how long we've been doing it. We just figured things out in there, um, and the whole goal is to kind of you know speed everyone back up to to kind of get to that point or get to that knowledge base of uh, trying to clear. So. It takes a while to sort of get to that point and that comfort that that comfort. Um I just want to clear with what works at this point. This point can be secondary. It's fair. I mean in that in that case, I mean, you know, you do have the ones that are the favorites and all that stuff which you can reference for for sure. Do you think that just with the way classes work and general progression of skills that from tanks are we just going to become top class deep dungeon? Um, it's not necessarily the the it's not necessarily the kits itself. Uh, as I mentioned, like speed. Uh, the reason why tanks are very difficult is specifically Behemoth, in my opinion. Like, if Behemoth did not exist, if Behemoth was not a thing, I think tanks would become the favorite for most people in Palace. Even it's just held back because of Behemoth. And people get away with Machinist because, yeah, the Machinist is tough as hell, but you're kind of making it up with the way you climb the floors. Um, but there isn't too much of a difference right now when you're talking about the tank run uh, in Palace and Heaven on High. It's just really Behemoth that holds a lot of people back, and it's very, very hard. It's one of the hardest ways to try to get Behemoth, you know? I think most people would say machinists is way easier than a than a tank to put it in, in relative terms. Um, so 
But with that, with what you just said, in, in the higher, higher levels, well, I'm kind of predicting that Warrior will be top class in the next Deep Dungeon, almost without a doubt. Like, it's almost a non-debate. Warrior will be top class in the next Deep Dungeon. With what it can do? It's ridiculous with what it can do, you know? So... I'm gonna stay on the box here. Hey, Pin. Good morning. Welcome back to the show. Did everyone win? Did you get? Did you get a lot of gill? Did you steal money? We got some gill! Pog. Winners all around. This was like a 10 minute fight or something, but we did it. I'm used to heaven on high. You know what's really funny? When we were doing map solo last week, we were doing the 80 maps, shift, the, shifting, the shifting map from 80s. And every boss we fought in the shifting map took like 10 minutes. But those bosses were like... Boring, right? They were just like, whatever, okay, I might die, blah blah blah. Like, there was this, like, feeling of, like, eh, like, this is just kind of, a, like, this is whatever. But man, like, these bosses in Palace, even though that took 10 minutes, it's still, like, I had to stay on my toes, because, like, just just going, like, a little incorrect with the way I'm, I'm dealing with it, I could just die. And I guess the music also helps, like, the music is epic and everything, so it kind of helps. Um, alright, 161, we are 20 floors from Behemoth, let me catch up and chat for a little bit. Um, uh, machine just runs because we'd be faster too, so I guess you get more attempts in the long run. Yeah, and, uh, and time, I think, doesn't really become too much of a problem where for tank it is, and sometimes experience with how to use your palms and navigate and what the enemies do will help tank runs, but look, people, people out there just prefer tank runs, and you can't force them into another job. I'd wait, Shadowbinger, Warrior, honestly, kind, wait, honestly, kind of same, maybe only in touch harder than Machine would be Behemoths. <clears throat> Fair. I told a friend it would be possible for word solo maps. They didn't believe me in the link to <laughs> the um the the stream that I did, Al's, will be showing up on Saturday. I did that's all set up and that's gonna show up on Saturday. But yeah, and then I had the the, the main video, which was a uh, boom proof right there. <laughs> Damn, Vulcan. All right, let's go. Oh, let's go in, guys. Let's go. One sixty one. <sighs> Getting close to the behemoth. Let's go. We got date with behemoth today. Hear that beat drop though? Do, 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 do. I do not want this one because I can't stop slow. Do, do. What's the plan for Behemoth? A lot of raw intuitions, a lot of equilibrium and thrill battles. A very tight setup. I'll explain when we get there. No, uh, no resolution on my end. I'm not getting resolution on my end. No resolution for me. Witching, huh? Like. Lindworms are like the easiest things in here, so I'm gonna opt to fight all three of them at the same time. Could have probably actually fought like four of them at the same time, but.
And this is where Warrior right now, this is the big difference of Shadowbringer Warrior and and Walker Warrior is that raw intuition. The massive heal submit is just so good. Did someone talk about double the double meteor thing? Yeah, it's just it's a servitic luck if you're gonna try to double meteor and I'm not planning for that. So someone did say, although there's no video proof, at least for as far as I know, that someone did a hollowed ground and ate two meteors in hollowed ground, but you have to talk about like perfect servitics here for that to happen. I'm not gonna be doing that. So like I guess theoretically it's possible. I haven't seen a video of it possible, but I think theoretically it's possible. On paper, I just haven't seen it on the video yet. I need to see the video for that. I'd like to see a video for that. Hey Shinobi, how you doing dude? Welcome in. Yeah, um... Look, Behemoth is... Behemoth is one of the most thrilling fights I've ever done in like really a lot of video games, right? The amount of time it takes to reach him, the the stress and the anxiety of what you have to do to beat him. Nothing like it in like, man, a lot of video games I've played, right? Nothing like it. But that being said, man, I would like it to stay in Palace, you know? Like if it if it if they introduce something in the next deep dungeon, I'm not gonna boycott it, I'm not gonna like, you know quit streaming because of it, like, okay, we'll deal with it. It's just, I would prefer not to see it anymore. Because it, it's tough, well, you know, to be fair, a lot of jobs would probably be way better now. So, like, even if you had a DPS check, I think every job can probably find a way, with the exception of, like, Healer, you know? Healer would still have that massive problem, but... Well, actually, no, forget it, I'm, I'm stupid. No, Healer, of course, won't have the massive problem. No, like, if... A lot of jobs, I think, will have a much better kit to handle uh, a bit, uh... Behemoth like DPS check. Forget it. What am I thinking? Healers don't have a problem. I'm gonna get to the exit first. Pretty consistent though, not gonna lie, it's hard to do. Yeah, and what what uh what Zerum said, it's like, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not about to do like 179 floors to find that out. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, I can hop into you can hop into like uh you can hop into A12 anytime you want, get to that part of the fight, it's like, okay, there we go, let's, let's just see how this works, but yeah. Good update ended up 166! Hey, that's actually pretty damn good though. That's pretty damn good. So we are on the set that you died on. Okay, so hopefully I can probably, you know, Maybe have you see some stuff that you haven't seen yet, but cool. Well done! 166. With a lot of breathing room, says Ken. Alright. I do have a plan. I've not looked at any video, but I did a little bit of paper math, and we're gonna see if it works. Yeah, you, you would gamble it if there is no other way, right? If like you just had to find some like wild strategy, yeah. My playlist is going strong in the Fantasy Star. Goodness. Like, I've heard like almost all of my Fantasy Star tracks so far, it's kinda funny. Not that I'm complaining, it's, I mean, it's on the playlist for a reason, because I like the music. But this song definitely brings me back, holy crap. So you're running back to 100 at the moment. Is very easy to breeze through. Yeah, yeah, a machinist, absolutely. As long as you don't make a bad mistake and like die and then you have to do it all over again, like that would be bad. I mean, people, 
We want people who try to secure I know, yeah, you have to go galaxy brain on those, dude. Absolutely. But, you don't have invuln for them, so, you know, there never was, I guess, a time when tanks required that invuln tech, if you will. Oh, I'm sorry, Shonk is no! Goddamn disconnect. Spoony, Teary. Oh my god, that is almost two years of support. Teary, one of my favorite lurkers, but also a really, really good um, streamer as well. From across the pond. How are you doing, my friend? Hey, Shinobi, thanks for the Prime. I really appreciate that. Oh, you guys are great. Thank you. Can you clear POTD? Well, you, you always could Charmander, so put it out there that you always could. But it is a little bit, uh, presumably easier now uh, than it was before. Mainly because of Ron's tuition, so... I am doing pretty good, thanks for asking. Hanging in there, pretty busy with stuff, but uh, good busy. You know, busy that I have self-inflicted on my upon myself, so it's okay. But yeah, I've been great, thank you. Hope things are good over, over where you are. Ah, uh, no, I don't blame you, man. I see. I was wondering. Hey, we're on 161, 162 right now, Charmander. You know, if you can if you want to take notes now. I got you. Uh, we just started the set, so hopefully it will be helpful to you. Did I flight this? I must have flighted this, right? Feels like I flighted this. Uh, check the chest. Ooh, strength and steel. Pog. I'll use both of them. Aw, that's that's very nice of you. I'm I'm glad they're helpful. That's all I can be. That's all I can be grateful for. That it is helpful. That I just like you know. I literally talk out my ass. Just talk about things that have been working for me, and hopefully it works for you too. <laughs> it's like we've essentially had to make this all up along the way. So, um, but that's kind of the fun of it. That at least how I approach it is we try to just make it as at least I want to try to make it as understandable as possible. And to kind of make the most sense as possible, right? It's not like, I'm just not like, do this! Why? Because I said so. No, no, there's reasons why we do this, you know? And then, and then on top of that, there are reasons why you do it, and if you disagree with it, then disagree with it. I think what's awesome about this content is that there really isn't any, like, there's, there's a couple rules that you follow. But a vast majority of whatever gets talked about and whatever is suggested are guidelines, right? Like, the rules. Is like, you know, don't open a silver chest with low HP. That's like a rule. But like, you know, use a strength on the first floor. That's a guideline. You know, use a flight here. That's a guideline. Like, you don't necessarily have to follow that that word of advice, and you can still win. It's okay, you know? It's not a problem. And I think that's what makes it a lot of fun, that you can kind of carve out your own strategies and your own thought process and still make a victory out of this thing. I'm not the best streamer. I just try my best. Big difference. And so much you can change in your open. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's why this this is such a great content. There is almost like there is like kind of no 100% right answer, which is what makes this great. And not to mention, like I think even better is that you can approach it in your own way. And it, honestly, it's very hard to like just argue that that fact, right? Like, a lot of times, I think even with raiding, perhaps, you know, maybe maybe you want to be like, you know, you want to reinvent the wheel. Someone puts out a strategy, but you're like, no, let's try this one. And sometimes you get, you get kicked, you get, you get, you know, you get yelled at for that. It's like, no, 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 why, why don't we just do this one? This is the one that someone put out. This is what everyone uses, you know? So it's hard to kind of have your own creativity or your own kind of flair into it, unless, you're, of course, you're with friends or ecstatic and stuff like that. But here, this is, this is like, almost like a create your own journey type of thing. It's quite great, and then... Who's to say? Like, if you do this, like, whack-out strategy, but you clear? Who's to argue at that point? Oh, you should have done it this way, no? He cleared. Who cares? <laughs> you know? Who cares, dude? You got the clear. And then it becomes, it potentially becomes a strategy that, like, other people will look at and they're like, I like that, I want to do that one. Give me that strategy. I need to go back and get the strength. Well, let me check some of these chests first. Looks like I have to fight this. Oh. Let me check this one first. Easily best. Well, we're still we're still growing that that 
category for sure. There's actually a lot of people who are doing a lot of deep dungeon streams, and it is so cool to see it. Um, more and more, I think, are showing up, and I love it. And we're talking, like, more... not just the one-timers, right? Uh, not just people who pop into it and just do it for that one run and then like they move on to other things. Like they're actually going back in, going back in, doing other jobs. I think it's so cool. Oh, I overkilled. Oops. Oopsie, doopsie. Uh, is the exit clear? The exit is kind of not clear, so let me pull you. Uh, ooh. Give it. Nice. That right there is a huge benefit of Berserk being a, a charge rather than that just the, the old inner release timer, you know? I had it sitting there for X amount of time, I was able to hit the enemy before I wo it wore off. What is the other chest? Which one? You want 20 more? It already got 20 more! How much more do you want? Let it, let it just do like 1300 so it's just basically Aquamorn at that point. How useful alterations? Tremendously useful. Here's a, here's a scenario I can give you, Shinobi. You walk into uh, 181 plus. You have frost dragons, you have worms, you have scorpions. Use an alteration and you, change, you could potentially change your room. That could have been three worms, three frost dragons, three scorpions. You change them into mimics. And mimics are much easier to handle than than a frost dragon. Like they're hard, but you'd rather deal with a mimic than a frost dragon. So there's some uses for sure, and especially with a with a job like a tank or a job like machinist, uh, you kind of don't shy away from alterations because you can handle mimics no problem because you can interrupt the pox. You don't take the pox. For other jobs like a melee and a, a, a caster, it's a little bit of a debate, you know, whether you want to do it, because if you get mimics, then you probably have to fight them, and that could be a bit of an issue with pox. But with jobs like this, you kind of, I don't question it. You see an alteration, you just burn it, you know? You'd rather just deal with the mimics or just whatever. Oh, well that's not a, that's not good. And Mylodon's like, dude, I'm not staying here. Too much bullshit. Yeah, I agree. Too much bullshit over there. I hope the exit isn't that way. Please, for the love of God, I hope the exit isn't that way. It looks like the exit is that way. <laughs> that's great. Okay, well. It all shoved in there. Alright, I gotta deal with that room. He sub hello! You love aw thanks for loving the content, I really appreciate that. Alright, so this is like here's here's like a tutorial on how to handle a freaking treasure room. What I wanna pull is I wanna pull all the proximity enemies out. So we're gonna pull all the wyvers out of here. Because the wyvers are the ones where I can't get past them. Um so top priority, all the wyvers, and then we'll figure something out after that. We're gonna let that patrol go too. Use our raising and run like hell. Well, it depends how many kills we got. I mean, you know, we didn't start the four yet, so at least we'll probably get a couple kills out of here. Nice hype song for this four, though. So, Hiso, how are you doing with Deep Dungeon? Have you have you done some runs? Are you doing pallets or have it on high? If you just want to relax, all good too, but yeah, welcome in. I am, it's nice to hear that you enjoy watching or engaging in the content. You've come to the right place for sure. I'd like to think so, anyone? Okay, so there are three wires in here. Oh god damn it. Okay, that's okay. We'll deal with it. 
So this one will do back Kono, and as long as I keep going in the back, he will keep doing it. Okay, now we do it. And then he'll eventually turn around and do a front tonal. And then he'll just repeat the whole process all over again. Easiest enemy in all of Deep Dungeon. Literally the easiest enemy in all of Deep Dungeon. I just started running QTD two days ago. Gave Heaven High. Haven't given Heaven a High touch yet, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, Mylodon is stuck, so what I want to do is I want to carve a path over- actually he's not. What I want to do is I want to carve a path through one side. So what it looks like right now is the right side might be the best, because I'd have to fight this one, this one, and this one. These three on the left, and it looks like I might only have to fight two on the right. The Mylodon is questionable, I might have to fight the Mylodon. So let's see how we do here. Chest bombs are percentage of health, right? Yes. So it is based on max HP for the chest bombs, and it is 70%. Uh, so if you're at 69% and below, uh, you will die. That Mylodon just moved in a really bad spot. I'm gonna pull the vinegar dude. Also, I see mimics in front of me, so that's also really bad. Everything is starting to move now because I've dislodged them. We're gonna be observing this room to see if I can make my way through. Mylodon is not moving at all, what the hell? I'm gonna have to pull him. Oh my god, there's a respawn! Fantastic! Great, like I needed more enemies in there. Holy shit. God, everything is moving so slow in that room. Mimics are shoved in the corner over here, so that's fine. By the way, I did YOLO a trap, so like I could have stepped on a trap in that room, but... Who cares? I'll just zigzag through that room and hope for the best. Okay. Half once. I didn't- I didn't have to kill extra, so that was really good. Oh, I'm dumb. I didn't do the- I didn't do the thing. Okay. I forgot who I was fighting for a second. Okay, <laughs> it's just called YOLO, hope for the best, and then get ready to use the Serenity when shit hits the fan, basically. Flight. Ah, oh, that's a good speed up. Like right on, kind of right on time right now, so it's a really good palm right there. How would you feel if the number of traps set in foresight would be influenced by your speed or what, or even what class you bring as a dial, as a dial for deep dungeon to tune deep dungeon? Uh... Speed sounds interesting. Her job, though, I'm not sure, because the thing that the problem with the problem with adjusting something per job can get dicey. Because then you have to ask, what's the gauge? And that just becomes like, you know, whoever is whoever is designing it 
feels that this is what's appropriate. But then of course, you know, really when it comes to a lot of things in here, the community has certainly pushed the envelope in lots and lots of things. But speed, doing something where uh, it's based off of like like that, like, like speed would be kind of an interesting method of trying to do it. That would be something. I want to use that lust, but I need to check other things first. Raising, hey, insurance. I love insurance. Alright, so I'm gonna use the lust on these two enemies. I should have mitigated though. Mabayada. I should have potted too. Are you kidding me? Oh boy! Okay, we're good. God Necromancer says Luke. Yay! Congratulations, welcome to the club. Watch you was to a moment straight. Yo. Congratulations, welcome to the club. Enjoy that title. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's go, ma'am. <laughs> uh, is that a silver? Sweet. I'm happy to hear it, man. Yo, what's up, Todd? Good to see you, man. I didn't want you, I wanted the other one. Okay, at least I did not overkill. So I forgot a month on Red Mage. Doing a machinist is so much easier, even if you never played machinist before. That's what most people say. <laughs> that's the that's why machinist is the kind of the favorite. Hard to deny it, but how's the run been? Pretty smooth so far. I mean, really, this is just let's just get to Behemoth and hope for the best. Like you know, everything's been going good so far. I haven't really been pressured that much, but it's all about Behemoth today. Uh, I do have a plan for Behemoth, and I'm gonna hope that it uh, it works out. That's just all I can tell you. Yeah, as long as I don't mess it up. I hope I don't mess it up. Never know. I might I might just botch it. I might be like Bard and just uh, you know Bat Finger Raging Strikes. You know the one thing I actually need to clear. I feel like a lot of times you're just sustaining potion, wait for OGC on Red Mage. Red Mage really takes a particular playstyle, um, Liu, it really does, and it, it is just not for everyone. I love the Red Mage run, it is one of my favorites in here, and you don't you don't gotta twist my arm to go back on Red Mage, I, I love the Red Mage run. Um, but it is just not, it's not meant for everyone, it just is not. Um, and that's okay, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. We all will have our preferences of, uh, jobs. Oh, I'm, I got the vinegar dude over there. So, yeah, so like, I did put out a safe strategy, he sub, when I did Paladin. And pretty much what you want to do with the quote unquote safe strategy is you just do two, you just basically hit the boss two, two, two. It's like two times, two times, two times, two times. And then when the ads come up, you just kill off the ads immediately and then go back to the boss. Your resolution might drop, and you might have to like normal GCD to kill the boss, but it's a much safer strategy. You don't have to worry about the uptime. Uh, there's a lot of breathing room in it, so something to consider. Next floor is flighted, so we are gonna get a time save. Which is really nice. 
Uh, we'll see where we're at. So three minutes into... We actually are walking into the sixth floor with more time than I did on the previous set. Have I done... I have, but I... But I... The, the, the crappy part, Amber, is I disconnected on 181. I walked into 181, we killed a couple enemies, and then my modem just was like... Yeah, you know, today's a good time to reset myself. So my modem did, it just reset itself. So I haven't gone back since. Uh, not that I don't want to, it's just... You know, just like other jobs I want to kind of accomplish. Um, but yeah. He kicked my butt last time. It was super fun. Good. As long as you have fun, that's what I like to hear. Yo, this affluence is sick. I found the exit also. The one sick affluence. A lot of stuff in here. Okay, I don't need to go there, but I'm gonna reveal. Points. Let's go over here. Two flights. Steal. I'll get that later. So we'll go from the exit room, go to the the rage, the to the rage, and lost. Okay. So let's do rage here. Actually, let me walk to the intuition. So if we step on a trap, I'll die aggro. So. Thanks for gifting us up to Fenir. Hey, oh, thank you for that. Necromancer. Oh, that's really nice of you. Oh, I gotta kill something else. Hey, I'm just glad that you got that ridiculously hard title, the super challenge in here. You're joining one of just maybe like 700 people in in a game with millions of subscribers. Feels good. Okay, we'll go get the steel and off we go. This is a fast ass floor. I love it. I love it. Love fast ass floors. That's the flight which we already have. This is the steel, I believe. Yep, and then the other one is a lust. <laughs> there is a good amount of them. Um, and there are just more and more people. I think someone said using Lala achievements, which is not 100% accurate, but they said since like in the first like four weeks, there was like 60 new necromancers. Something like that. So I mean, that's a solid number. Okay, this is flighted. Pterodactyl. Great. I guess I'll just fight you. Alteration, I'll use it. Might aggro the other one, I'm not sure. Come here, let me use my overpowered tomahawk to kill you. While I navigate this floor! I might aggro that. It's hold. I did push past 65, 65, either full quickly so I can get started in Necromancer. I've been really unlucky. You can honestly try, try to see if you can get further. Like, you can do like a. You can try to do. 61 plus, like keep going to 100 in a match party. Um, like that's a, that's an idea. But you can also start running at like 79-ish. You know, you just get it to 79, you can actually start doing solos if you want to try that. Like you'll, like assuming you're gonna check uh, chests on, on your way up. Uh, you get to 99 solo by the time things get really hard. 61 parties don't exist. I, yeah, you know. The Qs probably do suck, but that's true, but... 
But honestly, you could even just start soloing now if you want to start soloing and just uh, make sure you check all the silvers. Hey, Loken, thanks for being here. Alright, sounds good, man. Thanks for being here. Have a wonderful night. I shall catch you next time. Okay, let's go to the exit in case I found a landmine. Oh, or we're just gonna have to do a pterodactyl. Although I can check the chest? Question mark? Okay, it was like right on the edge for the aggro. Oh, that's a landmine! Oh, that's a landmine. Okay, um... I was looking for a landmine. Easy game. That's a learning trap. Rage, alright, well I don't need to use it, so I'm out. As warrior, do you want to start from well for the title you gotta start from one. So if you want the title, you start from one. Now if you're progging, starting at 51 is not a terrible idea. Safely I will use it. Making really, really good time right now. Hotcher. Sights. I regret using the safety now, but whatever. Alteration, which will use again. Two DCs for the last months. Two DCs doesn't sound that bad. Like, I've, I've had like more, I think, recently, if anything, but okay. DCs always suck though. DCs are so bad. I gotta respect the pterodactyl. Alright, Chonkis, have a good one. Thanks for being here as long as you have been. Looks like the early the early crew are all uh, passing out, which is all fine. We're gonna have like another we're gonna have like a like the, the early morning crew showing up soon, which is gonna be great. Oh I have no abilities, right? Okay, so I have to actually heal. Imagine healing. This is the strength, right? Yeah. Well, I'm surprised they didn't aggro. Obi Kick, hey, thanks for following. Welcome in. What's up, Luna? Now I get to feel- this actually, like, oddly enough, now I get to feel like a 70 warrior. Because I have to make sure I hold my gauge for Berserk and all that stuff, now it's just let loose. Because I, I, I have no- I have no Berserk. Okay. Left. Don't aggro. Good boy. Can I get to the exit clean? This is gonna aggro. I'm gonna try to see if I can get to the chest in the east coast. I gotta wait for that one to move. Okay, he did. The Triceratops should be far enough away from the chest so I can check it. Okay, I'm gonna go out. And now everything is looking towards the left. This one is a uh, proc, so this works out nicely done. Oh, nope. Just kidding. And what sucks is that the exit is blocked by two proximity enemies, so that's just awesome. One of which did move away, but, you know, still kinda sucks. Just one now before sleep? Hey, Luna. Sounds good, dude. Thanks, I'm gonna... Well, Behemoth won't take luck. Behemoth will be... keeping my composure. And making sure I don't F up, you know?
171A wasn't bad on Machinist, I guess part of it has something to do with him watching so many. Hey, look, Liu, like, everyone is gonna absorb information differently, you know? Some people will just religiously study the videos, some people will, like, memorize me these text guides. Uh, everyone is just going to prog it literally differently, you know? But all that's important is we, that, at least how I view it, is that we just try to provide as many resources as possible so that every single person can get there, you know? So like, what's great is when someone asks the question of like, Hey, can you do this thing? You know? And it's like, sure, but then what's best is that sometimes I can just show it to you. I can just be like, yeah, look at this, watch this thing. And I think that's extremely valuable to that individual at that point in time, right? It may not be valuable to someone else, it may be something that, you know, maybe makes no sense or it's something very simple, but it might have been very complicated for the other person, but just to be able to showcase it or explain it in a way that, that the person gets it is what's important, you know? So, having just, like, this has been what's been great. Like, yeah, like, I have a lot of videos and, and honestly, like, you know, yeah, like, ad revenue and view counts and all that stuff is great, but never once have I ever been like... Like, if someone else had a video that just did it better than what I showed, I'm like, look, check this video out. I mean, you know, Pinned was an example for the for the Bard one. I, I used his video for Bard and, you know, I wanted to make sure that... It was like, hey, I used this video, so you guys should use this video too. Um, in reality, it's like, I can only do so much on my end at one point. Having more people, more and more people try it out just gets more information out there and helps more people. There's another one coming. That's why I really love it when people start talking and having conversations about specific scenarios, because it honestly gives me ideas. Like, uh, on Bard, last week. Uh, someone had talked about in Discord, hey, I had a problem on 160 because uh, I couldn't find an open spot and I died. In terms of the puddles and the circle AoEs and stuff. And I was just like, hey, well, there's actually a small spot in between that you can shoot yourself into. You just have to be a little bit careful. And then, and not only could you shoot yourself there, you had time to adjust if you were to like, you know, land into the AoE. But then that became this like idea of like, well, why don't I just do the entire attempt where I'm just shooting myself in between these AoEs? So now that's on video, you know? So that's why I love it when people just ask questions. And that's why like, I, I just totally have no problem people asking the same questions. Because sometimes, you know, it might be actually a question that had not been asked at all. And then you just gave like an idea to everyone. I mean, one of the biggest ones we had was one of the, one of the community members. One of, our, one of the Chinese runners uh, just goes into Discord one day and he's like, Hey guys, did you know about uh, the target HPP thing? And I'm like, no, what is that? And it's like, oh, well, it shows the decimal places for uh, HPs. And we're like, oh, does it really? And that now is like literally the main method we use to handle behemoths because this one guy this one person just, just like randomly just says it in Discord. And then we all check it out and we're like, yeah, that's just like the best thing ever. So, and that's not something I probably would have ever run into myself. You know, I wouldn't have thought about that. I did actually think about it, but I never found like the proper code for it. Like I just never looked in the right places. So something that is just where it's just fantastic to see that other people are able to just figure out just the mind just thinks differently and you just think of things like that. Oh I forgot about the oops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? I'm sure. I wish our leaderboards would be- I wish, I wish their leaderboards would be better accessible, because sometimes you do have to kind of include what they've done too. But... I know that- I know they check out our videos and our content too, and... <clears throat> Korea too! Don't just- don't- don't discount Korea. The Korean servers are also, you know, looking for it as well. They got their own scoreboard and everything, too. Alright, we're just going on cruise control right now. Oh god, I gotta pull both of these. Okay. Mimix, I am not getting past them. Uh, I guess I'll just pull this. 
We have a lot of time to spare, so I can just kind of chill right now. Since after you get IR, you don't want to be doing that, yeah. Oh, I just did it again. I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it's okay, it's not a big deal. It's just stone skin, I can't break. I just wait 8 seconds, we're good to go. No exploity chest. Indeed, Pellegringo. Hope you're not hungry. I should be able to handle the boss without anything. No strength, no steel. It'll be a long fight again, but it's not a big deal. It's got a lot of time. I'll get off this floor though. to bring in the in-game music. 15 minutes, I I am getting to this boss faster than I did on uh, 160. We got to 160 I think with 13, so we're now getting to this in 15. Alright, let's get through this boss and then it's the behemoth set. How exciting. I will be putting it on. Uh, I just don't have it on right now, but I do want to have it on for Behemoth, for sure. Hey, you want to relax there, dude? Sprinting? Alright. Look at the climb, I can't wait for the Endwalker. Uh, did some doing today and seeing the tower made me wonder if it'll be located. Yeah, there's a lot of speculation for sure. Uh, really gonna be I think end of February is when we're gonna hear something, man. End of February. So definitely look forward to the end of February. No, it's gonna be good to play the full kit, you know? Oh, it's gonna be great. I can't wait, man. It's just gonna be the best time ever. <laughs> been playing this con- been playing Heaven on High Palace for how long, dude? This is like four-year-old content. Six-year-old content. But we're still making the most of it. Just imagine the next deep dungeon. How much- how many years are gonna get out of that thing, right? And then you gotta think of the new job of like the next expansion, do all- oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be a great time for sure.
Is there any clue about what the night, what the deep dungeon might be? My guess is something related to Nelsus. No, not clue. Not a single clue. The only thing I can tell you, yes, Pizza, and this is something that Happy has said, Mr. Happy, that they know where they're putting it. Like they've already decided where it's going to be. So it's just a matter of essentially implementing it, from my understanding. Um, but we have no hint at what that place is. Um, I mean, I've tried to look around. You know, trying to see any landmarks or whatever. You know, trying to see if we could find something like, you know, the Tower of Heaven on High just like sitting there, but... I don't know, I couldn't really find anything personally. Uh, so you never know, I don't know. I'm thinking it's the moon. I would love it to be an Elphys though. Elphys would be my first choice. But it's probably going to be the moon. Unless they throw a wild card and it's basically nowhere on Endwalker areas and it's just in the old areas. We'll see. End of February, guys. Look for the end of February. End of February is going to be such a such a hell of a time. Well done! Was there a chance that you would actually not make it or something? Because that would seem terrible. Hahaha. <laughs> I'm sure there's things planned for the moon, but you're probably going to have, like, I think guaranteed you're going to have Beast Tribe, right? We're probably going to get a Beast Tribe up there. Um, just what else are we going to get in the moon is the question. We just we just found more floors and palace. Uh, hey, I wouldn't argue that either. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue that one. Super behemoth. You just like two behemoths at the same time. Oh my god. I would, I would love, I've been saying this a, a couple times, I would love if one of the bosses in the next deep dungeon or something like that is two bosses. He had two bosses he had to take care of solo. Oh my god, that would be sick. You know, like, like a light party mechanic, it's like, okay, the tank takes one, everyone else takes the other, but like, imagine trying to do that solo. Oh my god, it'd be so great. Alright, almost there, 41%, almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. Almost there, almost there. by POT location since it's used for leveling does not force new one to be in starter zones. <laughs> ah. So here's what was interesting, Pellegringo, that someone that, that some of chat had pointed out. That's why the moon is possible. And you can even make an, a case for Gardamon, because Gardamon is like 83-ish. Um oh, I, I think I spent it too early. Um and the moon is like 84 so that's why it kind of can work out. But this was something that people made a huge point on, and this is why it could really be anywhere. Boja. Think of Boja. Boja was the replacement, in essence, for a deep dungeon, right? You go to Boja to level your jobs. Level like 71 to 80, although now you can probably do like 81 to 90. The thing with Boja 
is that Boja, you need it to be on 5.1. You need to beat Shadowbringers and even be into 5.1 to have access to Boja. So like, especially with the way Endwalker's story was, and how just like a lot of things kind of culminated into the way the story is post the end of Endwalker, it almost feels like it would make sense that whatever other- whatever else gets released, especially a deep dungeon in like, what, 6.3 or something, would require you to be like done with Endwalker, which means it could be anywhere. If you, if you had to finish Endwalker to do deep dungeon, then yeah, it could be like literally anywhere. Um, and of course, you know, I don't have any anything to back to say that that would be true or not true, but it's a thought, you know. It's a thought. Vavarinthos would still be an area because not just for that lower level, but you could use it for a space travel with this with the spaceship that's sitting there. Could be a thing. Yeah, you could, yeah. You could do that. None of the none of the jobs really required anymore. Um, like they used to. That was kind of the initial strategy people tried to use, because they they people didn't develop uh kind of like just burst strategies. So that was like the fallback way of clearing it, but now that people have really developed a lot of the better strategies, it's just not really something that is necessary to do, or rather required to do. You can still do it, um, it's just, yeah, not necessary. Dancer, I don't know, maybe, but everything else not really, none at all. Especially not Bard anymore, like Bard for sure, not Bard. Dark Knight, no. Warrior, definitely no. And those are the only jobs that kind of people initially looked at for that kind of clear. Oh, she has way over to the point. <laughs> yeah. Oops. I love it to be different worlds than me and I have seen. Yeah. That's where the, the idea of the space travel could come into play. That would be kind of wicked. This took 8 minutes? No, 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 no. I got here with 15. This took 10 minutes again. This is like about as long as the 60, 160 boss took. It's about as long as 160 boss. 10 minutes. So Behemoth probably takes 11, so if I wanted to double dip Behemoth, I need to be like... I need to be like 24 minutes into Behemoth to double dip Behemoth potentially. Alright, guys, it's it's time. It's time to uh, potentially handle Behemoth. Potentially handle Behemoth. You ready? I think I'm ready. I have a plan. And I'll talk about that plan when I get back. I'm gonna take a restroom break. Just to kind of stand up, stretch the legs a little bit. And then we'll talk about the plan. And then we'll see what happens. How's War so far? I mean, Warrior is great. Actually, Seraph, uh, you're gonna see the Warrior changes in action. Like, five minutes, probably five minutes into into when we walk into the next floor. You'll see it in action. Um, yeah. Hopefully they get inspired from 11. Oh my god, Nizla would be sick. Um, Alright, so let me BRB, guys. Let me just hit the restroom. I'm also gonna play an ad, which will, which by the way, will help pre-roll. So like, if you if we do the ad now, anyone walking into stream for like the next hour will not get hit with it. So hopefully people can just hop in and watch Behemoth. We'll do a quick ad ad break and then uh, we'll talk about Behemoth. So, hey Giggles, thanks for being here. Alright, yeah, I hope I can give you an exciting one to watch tomorrow. So, alright, BRB guys, enjoy some OG Palace of Dead music while I'm out.
Alrighty. I installed the heart. The heart should be installed. I had it uninstalled for like two weeks. Let me see. Let's make sure that it shows up. Uh, I think I'm... No, let me, let me do more water. There we go. Do, 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 do. See, the hearts, the hearts hasn't been moving too much. That's why it's at like an 80 or something. Alright, so... We're gonna be dealing with the early floors fast. So the first three, we're gonna be hunting down landmines. So you're gonna see potentially Warrior at its best right now. For Behemoth... Uh, I know exactly where I need to do my lusts, and I'm actually I actually utilize my old paladin video to know my timing on the lusts. After we do the lust, I'm gonna have 20 seconds to set up the HP, which is very tight, and then I'm gonna start on the burst. We're gonna start with a fail cleave, and then we're gonna GCD. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna set up the third combo. So we're gonna fail cleave, and I'm gonna do Sturging Tempest because I'll set that up beforehand, and then we're gonna berserk. And then we'll triple fail cleave. I'm gonna raw intuition the first meteor. After the first meteor drops, we raw intuition. And then we're going to equilibrium thrill of the battle for this for the second meteor. As this wait, so I eat the first meteor, we raw intuition. I eat the second meteor, we equilibrium thrill of the battle. I eat the third meteor. I home gang. I eat the fourth meteor. Then I will do uh Potion, and I think my raw intuition would be back up for the fifth meteor casting. I think. Did I do that right? I think so. So first meteor drops. We do raw intuition. Second meteor cast second meteor. Yeah. Second meteor drops. Equal thrill. Third meteor drops. As the fourth one's casting, I home gang. Fourth meteor drops. I eat it with home gang. As the fifth one is drop. As the fifth one is casting, I do the potion, the raw intuition. We get all the HP back. Six meteors dropping this casting, I have to kill it by then. That's the plan. So we're gonna see six meteors, and it's gonna be very similar to uh, Paladin. I do have my food well fed buff here, which will take off my food, and I'm gonna probably play that as an audible. I don't think I'll need it, but we'll have it just in case I need just a little bit of extra HP. That's the plan. No, I'm actually not gonna rely on food buff uh, because the heals are just better now. So I'm gonna see if I don't need it, but we're gonna keep it there just in case. I'm planning not to not to remove food. But I can have an idea of uh, if I need to or not. On the fly. Okay, let's do this. I wasn't ready. Ooh, that's a treasure room? That's a landmine. I guess we'll do this fast. I'm gonna do a strength and steal here. Check the chest and off we go. Well, I have to travel all the way over to the uh, to the other chest to get there. Safety. Right, come here, mimic. Let's go for a ride. I gotta dodge everything going there, so I'm actually gonna we're actually gonna abuse the the tomahawk buff right now. No one let Yoshi P see this because we're gonna be like we're gonna use tomahawk like it's unintended, you know. Like, you shouldn't be doing this at all. That Dummel's a problem. Uh, Dummel's a big problem. Uh... I take it- I, I'm actually gonna wait. Let's kill the minute. Oh, whoops. He whoops! I'm so focused on the Dummel. It's okay, I'll deal with the purity later.
So what I'm hoping for is a Dommel to move, like, to my right. That's what I'm hoping for. Otherwise, I'll just take him with me. Perfect. I can't get the chest though, but that- oh, come on! I'm gonna appear to here. Um, I am actually stuck right now, so I'll wait. So I actually have to wait anyway, so this is not a bad thing. That polar bear moves. I could get around that polar bear. Have to wait for the other one to move. I move now because I have a chance right now. Exit is free. Plus, so I'll just leave it there. That's a landmine if I need it, but I shouldn't. Oh. It's okay. I use. Alright, off we go. First floor done in three and a half. Good. We'll do it again. Do it again! Oof, this is a... This would be a good floor to take care of this, but I'm gonna miss a lot. That's a problem. That's a uh, frog. Flight. That's good. There's my landmine right there. I'm gonna go for it. Actually, where's the Cyclops going? He's going this way, so I'll go, I'll go this way. Shit. Damn it, I wasn't ready for you. I want to get a polar bear. I have two landmines that I can utilize, so I do want to try to do a semi-big pull on at least one of the landmines first. Uh, polar bears would be pretty good. Actually, there's three here. I don't even need the home gang. I'll just do a triple pull here. We'll take care of three here. Die from vengeance. <laughs> Shout out to vengeance. Uh, that's another one. Oh, there's two here. Damn it! I didn't see the one. So I still have like two more landmines to use, so it's not a big deal. <clears throat> so 171, 173 just has higher landmines. This is why you're seeing me do this. Um, why it has higher landmines? Honestly, I couldn't tell you other than it just does and we're taking advantage of it. So, the going strategy for tanks and healers is just literally Site 171, 172, 173, just abuse all the landmines and then deal with the rest of it normally. Do I know it's a gloom floor? No, I haven't noticed. Must be my G shaders, can't, can't tell. Seven minutes off the first two. We do one more flight. Uh, one more. Oh, actually, no. I don't do a sight because the next one is flighted, so it's unnecessary for me to do something like this. Yes, it is kind of secret tech that I've 
I try to say as much as possible, um, because it certainly isn't something that, you know, it, I don't even think Meiji's Guide mentions it. It probably should by now, but we do utilize it. Hey, Luna Bell, how you doing? Good to see you. If I can get a shout-out for my buddy Luna Bell, I'd love it! She's an amazing streamer and a good buddy of ours, and also does some deep dungeon, but she does a lot of variety as well, but she's uh, a good friend of ours. Thank you. Definitely check around when you get a chance. I'm good, pretty good here! Thank you for asking. Having a little bit of fun on Warrior. Just getting my mind set up for the incoming the incoming uh, Behemoth fight, which is always going to be the fun one, but hey, thanks, Finn. How much, how much for you to fight Livia if I find her? How much? It depends on the situation. I mean, if we have a lot of time, I mean, I could probably just whip it out, but... You know, I don't want to. I don't want to wreck a run because we we just want to fight her. So it just kind of depends on the scenario. I mean, if she's in the way, I have to deal with her. Like if she's like on the exit, then I have to fight her no matter what. Um, so it just depends. Just lost on summoner and oh no, what happened? Was it the was it the LOSing that got you? Sorry to hear, Genju. You did get here in a good time. So it is a good morning for you, right, Luna? Luna Bell, good morning to you, I believe, right? Good morning to you. My Berserk is down. You watch streams of Seek Attack? Yeah, and, and... It's... It's something I did mention with the Paladin video, but honestly, like... You know, sometimes people won't check all the jobs. Um, so I always have to think of it... I always have to think of this as, like, the blank slate. Some of you might be here for the first time. So I gotta repeat all the, all the fun stuff that we do. And by the way, this is what's going. This is something I did mention one other time, and we'll mention it again. There are definitely some interesting parallels when it comes to Heaven on High and Palace. For example, uh, if some of you have been avid runners, you would know. If you're avid runners of Heaven on High, you would know that 51 to 60 tends to have some ridiculous amounts of debuffs. It just gets a lot of debuffs. It's just like triple debuff here, double debuff here. It's just kind of over the top. 51 to 60. Well. For the ones that are avid in Palace of Dead, you would know that 151 to 160 has kind of the same thing. The, the, the debuffs tend to be a little over the top. There's the parallel. 50, 51 to 60, 151 to 60. Parallel right there. And so this thing about the landmines, where you just see a lot of landmines 71 to 7, uh, 171 to 173, well there's a parallel parallel too to that. That in Heaven on High, we, we exploit, if you want to call it, the landmines that are in 71 to 73, which I do almost all the time on tanks, and we do that certainly on Warrior. Parallel. So the further the further point I want to make to that conversation is when the next deep dungeon rolls around, that's what's going to be on my mind. When we step into the 51st floor, well, am I going to get really bad debuffs? When I step into the 71st floor, am I going to see landmines? You know, I might start forcing some of the habits I've done in the old deep dungeons and see if they apply and fly over there. So stuff like that is just like kind of rather fascinating. Uh, and this is all like community discovered by the way. Like this is just people doing like literally hundreds and hundreds of runs and we just see that as a sample size and boom. Pull the monk. Oh, I don't have stun. Oops. Okay, we're fine. Pull the monk while fighting another warrior and got- oh goodness. Use witching but it didn't reach the monk. Oh no. And then pull the monk and oh no. Damn. You know, when it rains, it pours, Genju. Um, it is really... It, it is very fascinating how things deteriorate so fast, right? You made it through like 7 hours. Not necessarily flawless, but you made it through 7 hours of prog of, of climbing and stuff without making any critical error. Then literally it looks like, what, within 120 seconds, the run is over. <laughs> 2 minutes, boom, done. Ugh. It really amazes me how fast you can just end things in here. But you know what? Um, your brain wasn't that fast. First, first attempt solo heaven on high. That is incredible as your first attempt, dude. Like, like you are certainly someone that might be built for this type of content, and you're gonna probably do really good things if that was your first run. Holy crap! Yeah, I hope you have. I hope you you probably get the clear next time. Hey, yeah. I mean, also like I would say the lack of just you know seeing that situation probably contributed to it, right? Like, I'd say I have a lot of instincts here that if something happens, I immediately know what I need to do without really giving too much thought about it. Um, and that's just because I've seen it so many times. It's just, you know, just practice, repetition, blah, blah, blah. So that's something that you 
obviously don't have. But man, once that will start to develop and you're already at that stage of, of like getting that high with just your first run, it's gonna be pretty impressive, you know? <laughs> yeah, that also happens too. I think I'm supposed to run away from Ram's voice. Oh, right. Ram's voice. Do, do. Do, do, do. Polar Bear wants that chest, dude. He smells something in that chest. It's a razor. Uh, I heard a for gloom worm. Oh, yeah. That can happen. Um, hey, Garlic Tree. Hope I'm gonna run. Just wondering how many fours do you think next to. Uh, I would prefer to have a hundred. I have no idea, though. I honestly have no clue. 100 was really the sweet spot of the runs, um, so 100 would be perfect for me. I have no idea, man. Hey, 7 Wish, how you doing? Uh, there is nothing in that room, so I'm not even gonna go- I'm gonna go over here for the reveal, but I'm not gonna deal with this room. This is flighted. Lions galore. Safety certainly will be useful. It's okay if I aggro a lion here. I'm I'm fine with this. Strength, I would love that. Oh, oh crap. Yeah, that's okay. I have to deal with probably both of them. What does it look like? Yeah, I have to deal with both of them. I'm gonna stay here. You've been doing a lot last week or so? Ooh. Alright. Like IRL or Deep Dungeon? Oh, whoops, that's actually a mistake on my part. Oh my god, and I hit the combo randomly. Nice. Kill me. Hey, Ira. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ira in this case? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I hope everything is okay. Wait, why did I... Okay, it's not a big deal. Who steal? Okay, I'll use that later. In Deep Dungeon, I had to take a break for the farm. Oh no, the potters! Gotcha. There is a chest over there, I didn't want to get to it. Oh, I'm actually just gonna kill it. Okay. I'll just hold my damage. Domel, stop. Good boy. Resolution, don't need it. Polar Bear, I feel like my- ooh. Good job. Cutie came back, love it. It's exactly what I wanted. To the steel here. And let's go. Um, I'm gonna wait for the polar bear to move because this Kono might get me. So I'm actually gonna wait here for a second. I feel Necromancer title is so because the grind wouldn't mind a 200 personally. I'm gonna take whatever they give us. My preference is a hundred, and it's honestly like a streamer thing because I can do a hundred in a day. Palace always takes two days. So sometimes it gets a little rough, but look, if they make it 300, I'll make it work. I do have a run in progress, 47 postures later. Nice! Is true payday food buffs the attack of the in- Uh... How much? I don't think I've ever heard about that. I don't think I've heard about that. That's like the first time I heard someone mention that. Treasure rooms on top of exits, a palace of the dead special. Love it. Good thing I have, uh... Good thing I have, uh, Strength and Seal on right now. Yeah, it's a lot of content, that's for sure. I mean, for you guys, hopefully it will be entertaining. Like I said, I'm gonna make it work no matter what happens. These Sasquatches need to go. They are proximity and they are jerks.
I think I've heard you guys in Discord somewhere you got mobs three times to die with Hater who's only two hits. Interesting, I'd have to see that for myself. Like a like if someone has a video that would make more sense. I've had four ones get to 180 and just kinda of choked them each time. Some of the Reaper have been my preferred class for the attempts. 80 is hard. 80 is going to be very hard. I mean to to quote unquote choke on them is uh what ev like literally everyone has to deal with. You know, so you know, welcome to the club on that one. You chop something? I got a Wisson coming. Wisson to our sights. Uh, maybe there's a checkpoint. I'm sure they're gonna actually give a checkpoint. Let me get this, let me get this, give me this. Oh, I can get him. Oh, and I aggro the one in front of me? That sucks. Okay, it's alright. Watching the Wissens. Get that tape. Okay, got him. Once I get this exit, I'm probably just gonna try to leave because it's gonna be too much, too much of a, too much of a problem trying to get to other chests here. As much as they would be great, it's just, you know, it's just, yeah, it's just too complicated. Red Chocobo boss, good. He's easy. He's an easy boss. I don't mind him. I'm gonna hold my gauge here. And we're out. I'm just gonna go. It'd be nice to check those chests, but I'm just taking the time and leaving. Complicated room. Oh, Anzu, love him. My favorite. Yeah, Soul Environment, Retroga would be back because it's less souls to be sung. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, I have soloed the Chocobo fight a couple times in uh, Southern Front. Not too bad. I have no sprint. Okay. Back here, just in case some of the control coming in. I'm losing strength. And there goes strength. With damage down, so it kinda sucks, but uh, whatever. I'll deal with it. No 
Toe Drop. Feels bad. What's in Think Coming? Let's check what's up here. Wolf, Lion, and Chests. Anzu. Excuse me, Anzu. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna check this chest real fast. I'm just gonna pick up the strength real fast. Don't mind me, don't mind me. I'm out of here, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Good boy. Yeah, I want more mechanics. Hands down, I want more mechanics. I want way more mechanics. I want Boja dual mechanics. Losing my steel soon. Watching the Anzu. Right now, I, I technically cannot get through the Anzu because they're blocking my left and right. So I need to kind of wait for them to move. There's the one that moves. Uh, but I still can't go left or right. Well, I still can't go left or right. They need to move again. Or I can YOLO down the middle and hope for the best and not step on the trap. But I feel like I've already done that one time and it's gonna probably burn me. So we can try it again. Everyone cross your fingers right now. Hey! GG! We did it. Uh, okay, that's there. Easy. Can't be the... Well, here's the thing. And this is definitely something that I definitely want to try to make sure that I can reiterate. It's not that I can't kill an Anzu. I can likely kill an Anzu, but the problem with an Anzu is that it essentially just spams stun, and it's a it's a it's a non-diminishing return stun. So what that means is that it can just stun me forever, and I'm never going to get like a resistance on stun. So like every like literally every ten seconds, it's just going to keep stunning me, and that's like a three second stun, two second stun. I could pull anything else on this map except the wolves and I will kill it faster than an Anzu. The lions will be faster killed than an Anzu. So, it's just a irritating fight, and it's like an unnecessary fight. And that's why you'd prefer not to fight them. Um, if that makes sense. Just because the fight is just, it's just organically longer than everything else. The wolves are bad because they do Sanguine Bite, and Sanguine Bite heals themselves. So that's again another fight where it just takes organically longer just because they're just in their rotation they're healing themselves so that's why you don't want to deal with them but in terms of a tank it's it's you can fight them you can kill them i i can manage fighting them you just would rather not to you'd rather fight anything else hope that makes sense I want to pull out the uh, the line here before I move on. Yeah, life steal wolf. Are you kidding me? I'm in range for that. What? Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. My interject is down. I'm actually not going to pull that. Um, I do not want to spawn a, a mimic when my interject is not ready. Right now, we are in a spot where I can totally get to Behemoth with 20 minutes. I need to have 24 minutes on Behemoth. Minimum 22 minutes, but 24 minutes up to Behemoth would be ideal. Uh, if I can make that happen, then I have a double bit. We're already on the 7th floor, so we'll see. I'm, I might flight next one just to keep the time going. Um, shit, 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 shit. I'm paying attention. 
So I might flight to keep the time going, and then we'll see what happens after there. Apes without a- oh, there's potential chest here. Okay, I'm gonna pull. I'll take a narrator. I don't mind. Someone can talk over me. Uh, Berta, Deep Berta Palace coming in. Ooh, I might have to fight it because the Anzu just blocked me. Let me just see if the exit potentially might be here. Can't tell. I can't tell. And there's another room on the other side too. Also, I don't think there's a chest here. I can't tell. Oh, there's more rooms. Shit. see if I can get to this area, because if the exit's done, then I'd rather just go to the exit right now. Um, I can't see it though. Okay, we can proceed. Um, it is not here, but I'm going to check this chest because I think I can get it before without aggro. And I know where the exit is. Oh, that is a time save. If anything, that this this does get me to the exit. So let me clear up the uh, the cat here, because the cat was kind of giving me a problem getting to the side wall. I do want to kill these. I want to kill at least this Anzu, because he's kind of near the path that I have to walk back to get the rage. And then we definitely kill up the ape, and I'll kill up to the exit. That's it. Yeah, mind players also heal, so they're bad too. That is the exit. So let's clear up this room. Uh, I don't see a chest where the ape is doing his thing, so we're gonna kill this, kill this, uh, and I'm gonna wa- no, let's go, let's go, let's go. I will flight the next, I gotta, dude, I gotta get to the boss in five minutes. Whew. Two flights, are they gonna be enough? If I get to the boss in five minutes, I can do double dip, which would be, man, that would be just huge. I would really like that to happen. And do flight. Of course, you can question, like, would it be faster for me to kill one ape versus run all the way back, do the rage, and, and all that stuff? But who knows what would have been there? Who knows what I would have run into? So I think it still was an advantageous play to go for that. Angela's hey! Yo, Wobsley, thanks for the 10 months of tier 3. I really appreciate that, dude. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well. Incoming floor of answers? It's fine, I'll kill them all. Every single one of them. I got blinded or ability down. Hey, bye. Hey, thanks for the thanks for thanks for the host. I really appreciate that. I right, hate. Let's go. I miss my OP tomahawk. Uh, there's a chest there. I do want to check that chest. Hey, I know. They're tough. I mean, on Red Mage, a lot of these you might even like consider steals for, you know? But that's part of the challenge. Red Mage can do it. Red Mage is the OG. I love Red Mage.
nice re up on steel. I'm pretty sure I can get this chest without a problem. Actually, I'm I'm not very sure. I'm a little unsure. I'm now very un I'm very uh very lack of confidence that I can get this chest without getting aggro. Like come stop. Stop. Boys, please. It's a very media. Fail cleave on these apes. Got it to 90 in order to practice it, and I fell in love with the class. Fell in love with the class. Usually play war only. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I see a bird in my windshield. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna bypass this be only because um, I could potentially find something else that I need to fight, so we're gonna skip it. I saved it, right? I need to find the exit. Where's the exit? That's the exit. So let's clear up the exit. Which I have to kill this ape for this exit anyway, so let's do that. It's a good thing my, my camera was angled in a really good way that I just visually saw it. I don't miss fail please, don't miss fail please. Oh, that's really nice of you to say. We'll see, man. I mean, I'm certainly going to be busy with the content, but we'll definitely see what happens to that. I just, you know, whatever happens, happens. That's it. Gloom enemy killed me on 87 Heaven on High today. Does Gloom call for a Serenity 81 Plus? It kind of depends. I mean, a lot of times I'll actually would end up nuking it myself, and I'm sure I, I know Seven kind of gave you a little bit of a, a tip there, which is certainly good. Um, but like, Gloom alone isn't usually enough, but I'm gonna flight this. I know I said 24 is what I want to get to the boss on, but we'll try to do this right now. To the Edge, what a perfect song. Oh, perfect! <gasps> we got exactly what I- okay, so we're gonna get to the boss in time. Let me try to get to other chests, though. I don't want to fuck this up. But time is uh, a little bit crucial here. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna do that then. Anyone need rages? Rages anyone? Rages? I have one more for insurance. I can't use that. So I do want to check... Ugh, man, do I want to check chests? Like, why am I checking chests right now? I have strength steel going into the next floor, which would be perfect. Another steel. Okay. At least I get the fresh steel. Probably have to re-up the steel anyway. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, but it's gonna be Behemoth, guys. Shall we do Behemoth? Shall we do Behemoth? I don't need any other chests. We're just gonna go right now so I can buy this time. This time is tremendous on Behemoth and I haven't lost too much here. I did lose the flight, but that's not bad. Okay, Behemoth. Behemoth, 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 Behemoth. I have a plan. And we'll talk about the plan. I'm 
and do melee shot. Valley, 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 thanks for follow up, man. So, burst point is gonna be somewhere here. Uh, I'll let you know. Like, so he does the chance down here, south side. He does a trip this here. I wait here. And right as he finishes this animation, right about here is where I'll initiate my burst. What I'm gonna go with is I'm gonna start with a fail cleave into one of my combos, probably Surging Tempest. And then we'll do a uh, Berserk, and then we'll do the triple fail cleave, and then we're gonna run tuition, so on and so forth. So that's kind of the harder part of it. The setup is what's going to be tricky. So if you guys have been watching my DPS setup, the setup for this one is very different. Very, very different. Uh, so like what I'd have to do on tank is I actually have to start my lusts Like right about now So I would be starting lust maybe about actually probably as the tonal comes out here is where I want to start lust Because what I actually want to do is I need and this is very precise I need my last hit of vulnerability Like the fifth stack of vulnerability to hit right about now. That's when the last hit needs to hit. And then I will have about 20-25 seconds from here until it runs up to the south side. It runs down the south side. And then that point of burst to set up the HP and everything else. Uh, I actually am going to delete decimation off my hotbar so I do not accidentally use it. <laughs> So yeah, good thing I saw that one. I looked at my hotbar. Let me tell you, that has happened to me before, and that's not a that's not a great thing to happen when you're just like, oh, AOE. Sorry, didn't mean to AOE all of a sudden. Um, so I took that off the bar. I'll put it back in later. Gonna re up strength right now because it's good enough. So what I'm going to be looking for is we're going to try to push Behemoth to about 23%. I want to actually lust at about 9, at about 20. I want to lust at about 20 or 19. Actually 19 is kind of where I want to do the lust. But the thing that's going to make this a little interesting is I need to get my Surging Tempest going very early. So that's why 23 is important. Because at 23, I'm going to start managing uh, my Surging Tempest. So this is just kind of pre-game right now. Halfway there. Gotta get it to 23, 23. No. Oh, god damn it. Oh, come on. Cancelled my GCD like so many times.
got a stop. 39. I'm gonna re up my steel for safety. Like, I honestly should be fine without the steel, but I don't want to just go off of this. Should be. It's my first time here, so I'm gonna go with that with, with it on right now. Alright, getting close to the point in which I need to start chilling on damage with 30 now. I need a 23 when it's running back here. So once it's gonna do trounce at the south side, it's when I want it a 23. And I start managing my Surging Tempest. So we're looking pretty good in terms of timing that I might get it to that spot around the HP I wanted to. So it's gonna keep doing damage. I think I'm gonna start holding gauge now. Uh, because... Um, we're getting down to 27, it'll be like 25 probably by the time we get up there, so it'll be good. I'm just gonna be doing Surging Tempest right now. That's it. Twenty-four. I'm gonna hold. Okay, I think this is good. I'm gonna wait for the Thunderbolt to go off, and my potion's coming in perfect. One... Two... Three... Four... Five. He's a little scary right now with That was easy. <laughs> I had to use a potion too. That was easy. Damn, that was comfy. The potion was the spooky one because my HP was actually very bad towards the third meteor. Damn, that was good. Oh, uh, Warrior's nice. So like, I had intentions of going to six, uh, but I was gonna rely on Thrill and Equilibrium to get me through the meteor after that. So like, we ate the first Meteor, and then I was gonna rely on Raw Intuition and Sustaining Potion to get me up. It just made it, which was a little spooky, because I was actually guessing I'd full up my HP, and I didn't full up. And so we got hit with the second Meteor, and my HP was at a slither. So then I did equal, I did Thrill, and I had Sustaining Rolling, but it wasn't enough HP. I had to use the Super Potion, because I wasn't gonna tick back up. I saw my HP, like, I had, I had two, le like, 
I just had less HP than I was gonna like die to the meteor, so I popped the super potion because it's like, okay, we're getting a little spooky there. But that kills the strategy later because what I was gonna do in the latter bit of this fight was to run tuition, super potion, and try to pull all my HP back after the home game. But I did not know how much damage I was gonna do, so. You need to get two storm paths up in each section there, I'm pretty sure, to avoid to avoid the super. That would probably make sense. <clears throat> um, no, I did not drop food. And I did it did cross my mind that I'm like, okay, do I do a food drop here or do I do a super? But I kept the food on, I decided the super. Um Oh yeah, no, you're right, Lena. Oh my god. That was the mistake. No, Lena pinpointed it. I'm supposed to drop Thrill, I forgot to drop Thrill. I do have it actually on my macro. The macro I use for transformation, this macro I use for transformation, I actually have Thrill the battle to take it off. So actually that was the mistake. Yep. If I took off Thrill, it would have been safer. No, you're you're like, you're right, because I should have done that. I forgot about Thrill. Um, yep. So I didn't drop it and I forgot about that. I just completely blanked on that one. So the super could have not happened. So I actually probably would have went as planned if I had remembered to drop Thrill and I didn't. Um, but with that being said, the amount of damage we did was really impressive, right? Like, we, I killed it. I was planning to go to the 6th Meteor. We killed it by the time the 5th was dropping, so that was really nice. Um, equal Thrill is gross. It's awesome. <laughs> it's okay, the bot will be there. should be clipped. I'm gonna clip this out and all that fun stuff, so... That's exactly why I want to finish so I can do Warrior. Dude, there's Warrior, man. Really comfy. I mean, people have been saying it's comfy. Um, like I said, I did not watch a video. Um, I didn't watch a video. I really wanted to not look at a video this time because I felt like this one I can probably figure out a strategy for. And then now I'm kind of interested to see what other people did. Um, was the invong good for two? No, it was. I was just planning for one. It, to do two for the Meteor would be really, really just way too tricky to pull that off. So it was just going to be one. All right, guys, we got to run. Let's go. Behemoth Pass, first time. No, it's just a straight run. Honestly, like, damn, dude. I want to review the VOD. Like, when I get a chance, I want to take a look at how that went. Because, I'm not going to lie, this felt easier than Gunbreaker now. Gunbreaker, well, although I haven't tried new Gunbreaker. And new Gunbreaker, you can set up a whole bunch of things to actually make it a lot. Like, Super Bowl at 10 seconds is tremendous for, for, for Gunbreaker. Being able to set up your third combo like I did in Warrior for Gunbreaker is super good too. So I, I'm curious to see how it feels because I felt Paladin was the easiest, relatively speaking, and then it was Gunbreaker and then Warrior then Dark Knight. I would put Warrior like close to Paladin right now. Paladin I'd still think would be pretty good. Um, it, it, it like I mean again it's relative. It's still really hard, but it's relative. But I'd probably put Warrior maybe above uh, maybe above. Um, uh, Gunbreaker, man. That was not bad. I see the human fight went well. Gonna check. Yeah. Hey, Agni. Yeah, it went really well. I actually made one screw up that uh, Lena pointed out, but um, it's okay because we actually, I was able to react. Honestly, like, it didn't even cross my mind, Lena. Like, I'm like looking at my HP. I'm like, I'm like, in my brain, I'm like, I mapped this out. I should, I should be like close to cap right now. What's going on? I didn't, I didn't remember. It didn't even cross my mind to drop throw at all. So that, that would have been a big difference to drop throw. It, it really would have been a big difference. Um, I'm sure you technically could get two meters in home game knowing that, yeah. <laughs> they look easier than Palliage since it's shorter. Yeah, it, it did. That's why I'm really curious to see um, how the damage went. You know, like I was just trying to make sure I rolled my, my GCDs and like make sure nothing got sweet, like got weird. And it's just like, okay, it's dead. I looked up I looked up at the HP of Behemoth because I was so focused in on getting all of my buttons hidden. I'm like, oh, he's almost dead. Oh, okay, well, okay, we'll just kill him now. Hey, Bearded Shummer, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Um, okay, Aiden, Big Squirrel, thank you for the Prime. I really appreciate that. That's a first time sub. And um, uh, Starry, Starry G Genie, Starry Jenny, Genie, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. And also Ragnall, thanks for the gifted sub to the community really appreciate that all right shall we continue boys and girls we shall continue let's go uh we made quick work of behemoth and now it's just let's just try to get to the bench shall we uh it's updated titles updated let go with the twinning the twinning i start love it 
What better story to decipher the mimics? So Pin, how would so on your attempt, Pin, would you say that that was more or less how you did it? Like, did you do it any differently uh, in terms of the execution? Was it was it similar? Oh no, I mean, um, I'm sorry. I should have specified. Uh, your warrior attempt on Behemoth. Your warrior attempt on Behemoth. That's what I meant. I apologize. Uh, Eminent Rising. Hey, for the floor, 90 boss, I have a high. Try to keep to the wall and move the boss along the wall, but I usually get clipped by slow. Um, if you have a video, it would help a lot. But one thing that I try to do, Eminent, is once he... Once Quake Aga goes off, I take one auto attack from him and I move immediately. Because if you don't move immediately, there's a chance of getting the slow ball. So, oh my god, this took forever. What the fuck? Great! I didn't want to fight anything else anyway. Nah, way tighter than before, but I had a couple DC players who did it. Who did it really gotcha. Thanks for before, you just survived the full gotcha. Oh, you haven't done it- oh, you haven't done it EW. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. Okay, I'm on the same page with you. Can we not mimic? Dude, I, I was fighting this thing for like a whole minute, my Berserk came back up on cooldown, holy crap. Boss mode activated. I'm paying right now for the- hey, you know what? I don't mind these mimics, these mimics are fine to me. I mean, I know they're mean, but you know what? I haven't opened the exit yet, so it's okay with me. No problems here. They didn't want to give me another one. I was ready for it. That's the exit. Come here and go for a ride. Two chests here, I'm gonna check them both. Yeah, I mean, hey, they contributed to the exit, so I can't complain. Okay, I do wanna check those chests, and then after this, I check the chests, I go to the exit. And we gotta start clearing out before it's the exit. My, my flight back? Can I get another flight back? Security, I right, don't need that. Uh, we want to pull something very soon because my Berserk is about to come off cooldown. One more Acampa is sound, so that's why I'm RP walking right now. My run to Nido looks similar, I think. If I count right, you use home game, fourth meaning, yeah, that's same. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, fourth. It, it, I wanted it on fourth because my raw intuition would come back off cooldown, and it did come off tag off cooldown, but I didn't need to go that far. So, yeah. Plan was to go sixth. Like, I mapped it out to go, like, six meteors, although because I used that super potion, it, it really would have screwed it all up because I, I didn't have that heal. And I needed that heal post home gang, but it's okay. I didn't need to go six. Thank God. Got my steel back. Fuck. Died on. Oh no! Got super fired up from a song on my playlist and started spread shotting a treasure. <laughs> well, you know what? You died in a blaze of glory. Sorry, right, man. Shit happens. But at least he had a laugh about it. Mm. 
worth it, you know, you won't forget that one. Let's go. What a memory. That's a pretty fast board. I have affluence for this one. Ooh, 13 music. Love it. So I'm just getting a quick snack. Yeah. Okay, this is affluence. My berserk is about to come off cooldown, so I want to pull something soon. Also, I want to check the chest first in case it's a mimic. Oh, we get chimeras. Great. Oops. Uh, I guess I'm not pulling for 30 seconds. I'll just navigate then. Okay, well. Don't mind me, everyone. There's a worm! Didn't I affluence this floor? Look at all the chests that uh, the game has given me on this on this, on this this room. Oops, I killed my... Uh, I think... Uh, that is a bronze chest, so I'm backing out. So many chests to be had. Can't believe it. I was tracking earlier. He's coming this way. He's still coming this way. Wow, there's like literally no chest. That's fantastic. And that sprite just moved into the bronze chest, so I can't get that chest right now. Grenade. I'm gonna get this chest while I have a chance. Worth it. Chimera, Valmora, Bomb looking this way. I do want to check the room to the beasts. Oh, there's no trap here. So there's a gold up here. Uh, sprite, Sprite. If you want to see where sprites are looking, they are sight by the way. Just target their radial and you'll see the arrow. So that one's facing towards me. That's how I know it is facing. I'll, I'll full go. I think I'll go full gauge here. Chimera is coming back with the Bob Mora, buddy. Hope they don't both come here because that's a problem. Uh, they did not, so I'm gonna deal with the Chimera. Bedtime. Alright, Todd. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for hanging in as long as you did. Glad you hopefully did see the Behemoth. So, uh, you know, it gives you inspiration. You can do it yourself. Easy game. Hey, we're past Behemoth, man. 
dude. That's all uh, one could ask for right now. I'm master human. We got equilibrium crit, dude. Hell yeah, Todd. I'm gonna see Necromancer in your name soon. On Warrior. I, it does. I honestly, it does. It's it's pretty tough for that IR. It really is. Uh, but you know what? The challenge is the same for everyone. That's how I view it. Oops. Button guard. Alright, man. You got it. I believe. What's up, with you? Alright, Charmander. It's all good, dude. That's why it's great. That's why this content is great. You can stop at any floor. No, oh, any, you know, 10th floor. And then continue with another day. At your own pace. I have a little... Little spot there. Putting voice in. Okay, water uh, sprite is facing that way. Uh, I'll deal with sprite, why not? Who cares? It's just a sprite. Hey, Mr. Yo, Mr. X, what's up, dude? Necromancer, Mr. Re Mr. X, Rain. how you doing? We got next to Mancer recently. It's alright, the VOD's there. It's a VOD. Hold on, sorry. I should do this in between too. What am I doing now? I might blanket on me, it's actually really warm. Wow, okay. These are pretty fast floors right now. Not complaining. Check it out. Ah, the high anxiety song. Oh, we have a treasure room. But I have a strength. Everything here except the sprites are... So everything except the sprites are sound, so I can get around- actually, as, as spooky as this floor actually looks, it's not that bad, because I can get around basically a vast majority of this room. Doing fine, kind of run around my home- oh, nice! Trying to figure out what to do now that I got down. Take another job, man! Try another job! Go for a high score, you know? Or, you know, go on vacation! Come back uh, on the next patch. Oh, sh I did not mean to aggro that? That's not good. I mean, this is fine, I can fight this, it's just I didn't mean to aggro it. I'm gonna hook down this like you are, so I'll probably try other jobs. Hell yeah, dude. Prep for the next deep dungeon, you know? Get on ready for that next one. Like me. This is pretty much me prepping for the next one, if you will. I have an opening on the left side. chest here. There is a chest here. I'm gonna check it. I predict that too, man. I think Warrior will be top dog in the next deep dungeon. Without a doubt. Without a doubt, dude. Unless they do some, like, healing prevention type of debuff, where, like, he just literally can't heal off of abilities, then yeah, maybe not, but outside of that little, you know, little reason, uh... Well, I guess no abilities is what that is, right? No abilities, you just get no abilities, but... Right, I think is looking this way. This one right here, I think he's looking this way. So I gotta either I pull him or I wait for him to move. 
I'm not gonna wait that long though. Alright, move. Alteration, I'm using that. RP walking here to check the chests. Witching came back solid. Uh, up a little more campa. There's a gold chest here. Right, it's fine. Hey Iro, I'm attempting to use Reaper over Machinist for my Necker run, alright. Uh, what things to consider as melee for, for... Um, well, you have kiting. You know, like, Reaper's teleport is really good. It can buy you time, so bear this in mind. Granted, when you run away from an enemy, you don't do damage. But what does running away from an enemy do if you're running a, a sustaining potion? Well, it buys you ticks on a sustaining potion, right? So there is some benefit to that, uh, that you can buy yourself some time to get some heals. Not to mention, anytime you teleport, you get an instant, uh, you get an instant harpy, so you can use that too. Um, wow, that's a fast four. Holy shit, dude. So that's, you know, benefits of doing that, to keep in mind. Um, so think of it that way, if you can. But there are times when you might have to inevitably, uh, oh crap. When you have to inevitably, um, Kite just to literally stay alive. It's either you kite or you die, you know? So it is what it is, but... How do I toggle walk so quickly? I have it on a keybind, uh, which is like backspace. No, not backspace, it's like backslash or something like that. If you're a controller user, it's tough, because I don't think you can bind it on a controller. But for a keyboard, you can bind walking. You can toggle it with a, with a keybind. I do want to get to this chest, by the way, that's why I'm kind of fighting for it. Over there too. Yeah, on a controller... Well, here's the thing though. Something that I did learn about controller. You can hit uh, the circle button to walk. However, what becomes a problem is that if you get hit by something, you actually get kicked out of walk. If you're holding circle. Something to that effect. If you're doing joy joystick, uh, like if you're, if you're using the joystick, uh, that doesn't happen. Now, one thing I also did learn, someone someone taught this to me, although I didn't use it, utilize it when I played controller, is that you can do walking by hitting the circle button and then auto run. So like you would initiate the walk and then you initiate auto run so that you're walking with auto run and therefore if you get hit by something, it doesn't kick you out of walk. Um, so because of that little detail about getting kicked out of walk when you got hit by something, I opted for joystick walking on a controller. Um, so that's what I opted for when I did it myself. Setsu! It's okay, man. Godsu. Were I avoiding the trap right there? I was. Yep. Potential trap on that right side. Fortune. Yeah, it's alright, man. The bot's there, but it's all good. What's up, dude? Uh, we have Nimix, three of them. Live's the best moment, yeah. It's fair, that's fair. Live is, there's nothing like live. Cause like, you know the result, right? You know the result when it's not live, but now... When you watch the live, you don't know what's gonna happen. I do not have payday food, so I can't test this. I'll have to leave it to whoever decided to do that to, uh, to, uh, to test it. I'm not gonna test it. 
Because I have to fumble so many things. I don't have the food on me. Uh, let's... <laughs> then I nail every clear. Well, with Palace of the Dead, I will definitely say, when it comes to Palace of the Dead, um, anytime I lose, it's in my hands. Like, I did something bad, and then that's why I lost. I always, like, that's been the feeling for me with Palace of the Dead for, like, months, almost like a year now. I don't, Palace of the Dead doesn't beat me, I beat myself in Palace. Heaven on High has beaten me. You know, like, just a bad chain of RNG, you don't pick up mad decides, you know, like, that's happened, but... Palace of Dead, you, in my opinion, you have way more control on, um, just way more control of Palace of Dead. I'm going war right now, this spot will be useful. Yes, war is pretty good, I mean, aside from, you know, the lack of the Unga and the Bunga, Oh, it's gonna be good. It, it has its uh, it has its upsides for sure. Can you not mimic? You're making me use potions, dude. Why would you make me use potions? Okay, my interject is ready. Oh, steal. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pull this right now, because my my interject is ready. I'll steal up later. How tight was it? Not tight. Well, I, I made a mistake. I actually made a little bit of a critical mistake, but our damage was really good and very, very impressive. So I did kill it like sooner than I thought I would, if anything. Uh, I didn't make one mistake that Lena pointed out and I will probably remember for next time, but it's okay. We were still, we still had enough damage to pull it through. Everything else pretty much got executed the way I wanted to. Um, so, pretty good. I don't, want to, I don't want to go so far as to say comfy, I have to look at it myself, because I actually, when I was doing the whole Behemoth thing, I was not even looking at Behemoth's uh, bar. Like, I, le I legit was just focusing on my hot bar and like, making sure I hit all the buttons correctly. I wasn't even looking at Behemoth's health. And then like, the moment I looked up, I'm like, oh, it said like, 2%, okay, well, I guess we just do one more and we're done. Um, so I wasn't even paying attention to the pacing of the damage. And so when I look at the bar, that's what I want to look for, how the damage is pacing out, so... My interject is up soon. Oh, we got yet another steal, that's good. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna aggro the Mimic when I uh, try to get this chest, so I'll pull it right now. So like, like, these Mimics are not bad, man. Yeah, I got Mimics and the Alterations, but honestly, like, they're better than pulling a damn Crawler. You know, I'd rather fight this over a Crawler, who's gonna cast Poison and Slow constantly. So the Mimics up here are gonna be beneficial for you to try to deal with them. That's why Alterations, it's like, don't hold back on the Alterations, especially in a tank hub. Have I tried? I not since Endwalker, no. We had uh, someone come in here uh, and get a clear on Dark Knight recently. And our buddy Chayla is working on it as well herself. Um, I'm probably gonna get to it at some point, but it's not on my highest priority. Hey Pacha, what is the glam I'm wearing? Where do I get that chest? This glam is Eureka. This is actually something you get from the Baldessian Arsenal. So you have to get all the way to the end of Eureka to reach this gear. This is the elemental gear um, from Bal from Baldus and Arsenal. So I mean, if you have Boja unlocked, then that's where you get it. If not, then Godspeed with well, I'm sorry, not Boja, Eureka. If you don't have it unlocked, man, Godspeed with Eureka. Eureka is quite the. Can you not? Eureka is quite the grind. And then you fill up my gauge first. Hey, Potters, bribing and so many Potters. Okay. Let me fill up my gauge here. I started with 6 Mimics before, like, 1 to 120 we had 6 Mimics, so now we've picked up like 24 of them. Oh, just need Hydra Dust? Okay, thank, thank you for the clarification there, let's see. Okay, just need Hydra Dust, there you go. Look at that sick heal. So you get you oh, that's true, yeah, 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 you know, that's right, I forgot. Because I always did BA to get the plus two. Actually, this one isn't isn't uh, plus two. I got the BA two. Yeah, it's true. But there you go. The, the last area. I feel like uh, him on high attempts have been more grindy than Eureka, but I might more grindy than Eureka. It's grindy. It is grindy, but 
Um, I mean, at least like you know, it's a it's a maximum ten hour run. Eureka, I think, can take quite a while and a lot of time. Um, but this it's like a different kind of grind, right? Uh, steel. There was actually another bronze chest there, and I don't even see it. Okay, so um. Time is actually respectable, so I'm just gonna go to the next floor as is. Um, we're gonna fall behind in time a little bit, but... It's not bad at all, like, we're moving at a really... Like, honestly, we're moving at a very respectable pace right now. That's a good first attempt. That's a really good first attempt. Ah uh, yes, scorpions. I love scorpions. At least I can deal with no problem. My Berserk is with- oh. 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 Uh, these are all proximity, so let's take care of them. Can't see a chest in that room. Uh, trap, I mean. I can't see a trap in that room. I see a chest, of course. Can't see a trap. Was the comfy on tanks? Oh, it was very comfy. It's just the time that you have to battle. Uh, but we're moving at a really decent pace. Like, this is actually a really good pace right now. Like, Chimera is very confused. Okay, there's another patrol coming in, so I might want to take care of him first. Uh, can I grab him? No. Let's do the Chimera. I don't see a trap here. I kind of want to look for a trap, but I'm not seeing it. Keep my eye peeled on this one. We have Ram's voice coming in. I'm actually gonna stay here because all the crawlers just fucking moved in that location. Dying voice in. Ram's voice out. Back left. I see it. Oh, I see it. I see it. Good eye. I see it. I see a little glimmer of light. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I see it. Damn, good eye. Wow, good catch. I, I had to like. Did I strain my eye blood. Landmines would be common here, but like once I step into 87, I might see landmines there, so I might take advantage of that. Hmm. Don't think I'll aggro this. It is a luring trap up there, another steel. I don't want to re up it yet, but it's gonna be really complicated to get it. Uh, incoming patrol, which I'll fight. Strength, yes, please. Uh, that is a Luring Trap as well. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see... No Trap... Oh, that is a... Wow, they're all Luring Traps, okay, well... Hey, Osu, What's up, dude? Good morning. For range DPS, asks Bro Move. Uh, do you want a Kai Chimera and Silent Dragon Breaths, or still Rams? Uh, neither. Well, neither actually. Like, I kinda just like, let it go. You could, if you kind of- like, I would save it for just like, in case like, shit really hits the fan. But I just- I, I don't really save it, I just- I just let it- let the abilities go- go off. That's a landmine. That's a landmine. I have a Witching. Hmm. Oh, guess I'm gonna do that. I, okay, hold on. Ah, uh, scorpions. I don't want a scorpion. 
Let's pull a couple. I'm gonna pull about a couple here. Let's pull you, you. Okay, and uh, we'll do. I forgot to put decimation in my hotbar. Too bad. I guess I'll do it later. I took decimation off so I wouldn't accidentally hit it. That's why it's out there. Uh, decimate, okay. Let's go pick up the steel. Hey, Nona. I love doing it every time. <laughs> Okay, this is, uh, what? I don't know what this is. Oh, f oh wow, I never checked chess! And this is steel. Excuse me, word, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. Yo, palms are sexy. Actually, I'm gonna use that flight right now. Let's use that flight right now. How did I recover? Wrong tuition. Wrong tuition is broken. Well, it's not broken, but it's ridiculous. That's a huge time save. Ooh, Raver Default. Let's go. Oh, I need to check. Okay, this is flighted, so we have minimal kills here. I'm just getting potsherds like crazy, holy crap. There's a Frost Dragon that we don't want to fight ever. Come here, come here. I wanna play. Can't switch up. Uh, with steel on, maybe. It's just an annoying fight, you know? It's just. You just would rather not have to do it. If you really had to, but... Oh, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. God, I still wouldn't want to pull that. Come here, come here. Um, no, it's not a one shot. It's just the dot essentially negates your sustaining potion. Like it probably does a little bit more than your sustaining potion. Um, in in reality, like warrior can probably heal it all back up without a problem and mitigate it through. But that's really why it's bad. It's more the frostbite dot than anything that wrecks you and it does damage and it constantly uses it so essentially you're having like a full-time dot on you while fighting a frost dragon because he just kind of uses it every 10 seconds what is up here oh scorpion and a dinosaur okay i want to check chest first though i don't like this dragon's position right now Oh, that's nothing. Okay, I gotta go find the... Uh, I gotta fight the dragon and the scorpion. Okay, there's like nothing here. Well, let's find out about the dragon. Uh, 
that's gonna be so bad. Well, with steel on, it's not so bad. Oh, there you go. So now you know how that dragon is. I also mitigated like crazy. Stop. Yeah, 20 second dot? Okay, whatever. Get on my back, dude. Fuck you. I wonder, that's so odd. Well, on a DPS, you never want to fight them on a DPS. Well, this thing is actually sort of tough because of the dot. Yeah, that was actually a pretty comfy pull. There you go. Cool. Do a sight in the next floor. I use one alteration. The impossible pull on tank. If I can do frost strike against, not much. I, there's not much else I couldn't pull at that point. Sight here. So two minutes of steel. Walking. Checking. Check. Ah, the next again. Do, do, do. There's no gold chest here, but there is a landmine, and there is a ki there's two chimeras. One, two, three, four. Oh god. Okay. Well. Enough guys, you gotta do it again. Huh. But I mean two worms? I have I have oh. It's like it's asking me to do it, that's what that's what kinda sucks. Um hmm. okay, they both shot at me at the same time. My berserk is back up. And my sprint is about I mean my my uh Wait for the other one to shoot at me. Get a fresh potion here. Did the thing, guys. There you go. No, you don't. No, no enrage on me. Hold on. Um. Okay, let's just go. Go do another sight. Ooh, but I'm blinded. Blind is pretty bad. Ew. The fuck? Okay, hold on. That's the exit. Uh, I mean, a double rage doesn't even work too well here. 
Yeah, I can do a double rage. Let's just do a double rage here. Uh, potion. I can't check anything, though. Does this work? No, it doesn't. I would to go to the exit. If I do not open the exit in time here, uh, then I will just kill the rest of this. Oh shit. Yeah, okay, so if I, I don't actually open the exit, then I'm just gonna clear up the chest room. Oh, I did! Okay, ah, let's go. Don't worry about it! It's fine. I'm out of this floor. Twelve seconds. Move these legs faster, I beg you. Shit, I only get like one kill. Maybe two? Got it. Okay, good enough. Uh, uh well, that doesn't do me anything. You like how I expected to not open the exit there? I mean, I wasn't expecting it at all, I just... I got lucky too, because it's like, you know, I tried to just guess how many kills I would have needed to go there, and I was expecting two enemies at the exit. That's why I lost faith. Because I was, I thought I would have two. I didn't think I'd have one. I, I didn't look earlier, so... But we got lucky. Oh, there's a lot of chimeras here, guys. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, we're good. I saw that late, because I, I saw the chimera approaching me, so my eyes were on the chimera. It's like not a great spot right now. Uh, no, I didn't flight. I don't think I. I have not flighted this entire set. <laughs> not a single flight. I use a rage alteration. That's like it. it just, we just kind of just moved along the floors very quickly. Oh, shit. That's such an awkward fight, holy crap. Uh, let's pull this one. I flighted once. Oh yes, I did flight once. Yeah, because I had- Oh, because I got to 3. So I flighted, I think, 86 or, 80, or 85. That's right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I did flight at this one. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. And that's actually- that was a high kill floor. That was like 4 or 5, so... Ironically, that was a high kill floor. We're gonna switch out. Holding my gauge for Berserk. Grand Squares out. I gotta move though, like the time isn't fantastic here. Um, if the key does not turn orange after this kill, I'm gonna sight. Because this would be four kills. Oh! Well done. Cheers. We'll just step out in four kills, I guess, or whatever. Uh, Frost Dragon... Ooh. Good. Strength the boss, fantastic. Uh, that Chimera though. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait, forget it. Like I can beat him walking. No, that's not gonna happen. So 
Watch the Chimera very closely, guys. Sometimes he will lean one direction or the other direction, and that's important. Because if you go into the direction he's leaning, you're screwed. So he's actually leaning towards kind of his left. Oh fuck, why did I go to- oh great. Oh, this is bad. Shit, there's a real bad one. Got too close to the sun. Now I gotta- I gotta hope that he does not, uh, aggro me. I have no more witchings left, so... Oh, that's not that bad. Only half my HP. Enjoy my chains. Oh no, but the frost dragon just moved in a bad spot. Oh, I just- I created a really bad problem here. Um, I'm probably gonna aggro the Frost Dragon. Shit. Worm, please. Oh god, I can't stun. Damn. <laughs> I couldn't do anything about that. <clears throat> Not without steel. Okay. At least I got through the goddamn, the goddamn uh, frost dragon. I do have a, sh I do have a chest here. Yeah, well the dragon wasn't a joke, and I was impatient. All right, let's go into the boss floor. Twelve minutes is a lot of time. We should do this in twelve minutes. Although I have to wait for weakness a little bit. I'm gonna pop open uh, our super ha handy dandy uh, bomb chart, which I'll definitely want to have. I think I want to try to save a fail cleave every time an ad shows up. I'm also going to wait for my weakness to come out of here, so we're going to wait a second. I want to re-up food while I have a chance. The blue bomb at the top is what I need to kill, the red bomb is what I need to park underneath the boss. Alright, I need more water while I'm waiting. Let's get more water. <laughs> Which order do you read this diagram? Uh, top to bottom, top to bottom. So left left to right, top to bottom. So the first one you'll see is the left bomb, blue bomb, and then the next one you'll see is the one below it to the east. Left to right. Alright, let's not fuck this up. Not gonna re-raise, because if I die in this fight, I probably lose time anyway, so we're not gonna re-raise. I'll patiently wait for this for this uh for this uh Oh, I should have done the lust thing. I didn't do lust thing. But I can do a lust and hit, uh, hit the bot, hit the ad and the bomb, which I should do. We'll do that later. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring him to the spot, which is about here. Build my gauge here. Can I invuln the rage? No. The the invuln it's not really enraged. I mean you cannot invuln the massive burst, but how you actually want to handle it if you were to take massive burst is you wanna eat massive burst and then invuln after. Because massive burst will bring you down to one HP-ish. You wanna do the invuln after, not before. Next bomb is going to be south here. Uh, 
Oh. Okay, that's good. It's a lot better with Berserk on, let me tell you that much. Next bomb is going to be over here. No, uh, Master Burst does not freeze you, it does 99% of your HP. It doesn't freeze you. Now, if that blue bomb that I had to kill, if that goes off, that will deep freeze you. But I can home gang that, I believe. I could invulnerable that. But I would still take a deep freeze if I remember correctly. Okay, good position here. What I'm gonna wanna do now is I want to do a lust with the ad. So the ad's gonna be middle. So I wanna park this boss in the middle. And we'll do add plus lust. Oh my god, I didn't get off. Full gauge here. Next bomb is gonna be south and northeast, rather. You can invuln it, but only. Ooh, thanks, Seto, for that little bit. Okay, gotcha. Good to see you, Zeto. Next ad is going to be to the south. I'm gonna hold on page on this one. Holding my GCD. Okay, let me get full gauge here. And then next add will be to the west. Right over here. There's the lava bomb. Next bomb is going to be to the southeast. Next bomb is going to be to the south, over here. Should make this in a strength steal, hopefully. Gauge for a little bit here. Five percent. Oh yeah, we're we're definitely getting this. Oh, 
holding my stuff here for a second. Alright, easy on that one. No problem with that boss. Pretty painless, and we did it in like seven minutes flat, so that's good. Yep, palms are uh, good. We took that unfortunate death, but that's not a big deal. Palms are very, very good. So let's just proceed. I will be here, but I'm gonna BRB for a second. I just need to take a bite out of my snack. But yeah, we're looking pretty good, guys. Uh, I'm liking the way this run is going. War has proved to be rather, uh, rather good. Good. I'm liking this run. Was Behemoth comfortable? Behemoth was... I have to look back. I made a mistake on Behemoth. But, um... It didn't matter, because I killed it, like... I was planning to go six meteors. I killed it, I think, as the fourth one was shopping, or the fifth one was casting. So we had some room to spare with my burst. So it worked out kind of nice. No tincture. I was relying on a super potion. But I actually misused it. I didn't use it where I wanted to. Because I forgot to take off Thrill of, thrill of the Battle. Which I was supposed to. I have a macro to take Thrill off and I forgot to use it. That kind of sucked. But it didn't matter. We had some space. We had some 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 leeway. Kind of nice. Alright team. Let me update the title. Finale time. 191. First run on Warrior. For the expansion. And we are up here already. Let's do this. Had a tiny bit of a snack. I'm ready to go. Let's get right in, boys and girls. Nice, thank you. Thank you for welcoming me to a treasure room. Really appreciate it. And I have to go through that room because the treasure, the exit is not here. I had to steal them. There's a lot of bullshit there. Alright, let me just try to get this chest first. <clears throat> have I cleared on Warrior before? I have not. This was actually a job that I kind of avoided in, in Shadowbing because it was really hard. So I have not cleared it on, on uh, I have not cleared it yet. So this will be my first clear on Warrior for Palace. I want this chest to see what I want to do with this for. Like, I'm considering a resolution right now. Like, I'm really considering a resolution, but I need to see what this chest is. Let me see what it is right now. Safety, that's actually good. I'm gonna do a fresh, uh, fresh pot here, and we're gonna resolution. Three hits. Two. 
reason I'm doing the Rezos is there's so many undead here that I can take care of. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna try to take care of them. Not to mention there's a lot of patrol. Don't hit the hippo, I'm gonna hit the hippo. Not a big deal. Uh, let me get this one at least. Gotta deal with the Hippogaff first. It's the most dangerous one here. I still have to clear up some things though, I still gotta kill some. Like the mummy is, is blocking me still. Good morning Mia, welcome back. Where's Shrink? Now. Later. We'll Shrink later. Like, this song is like, well fitting this right now. That mummy definitely has to go, but I'm watching the Hippograph because it's in a spot that will aggro if I try to go to the left side. So I need to kind of hope that it just moves at some point. Like that. Not like that, oh my fucking god. <laughs> Not what I was asking for. You dog. Morning! Uh, good luck. Hey, yo! Liu, congratulations again. Thanks for popping in. And I hope to catch you next time. And you're welcome. I'm glad uh, you enjoyed the stream. I can do this. Of course, uh, of course it's an intuition. Why wouldn't it be anything but an intuition? I cannot get that chest. I probably can't even get across the room yet. Oh! Wasn't looking. Okay, you're moving. And I can get the chest. I'm gonna do an affluence into an alteration for the next floor. Let go. RP walk. Alright, first floor down. Six minutes is not bad, but I did use a resolution. So this was kind of, you know, we did boost this up with it with, with some help. I think I got blinded or something. Yeah. Up! Well. Well, team, that sucks. Uh, I guess I'm gonna fortune and fuck that up. Let me see what else we got. I'm gonna do a safety... Bro, I don't even know how many that is. God damn it, dude. Alright, so that's, that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, and six. That's seven. That's eight. Shit. Oh shit. That's nine. That's ten. Okay. Oh fuck. Oh god. That's eleven. That's twelve. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. That's thirteen mimics. Sweet. Thirteen mimics. Wonderful. Uh. Okay. Uh, so I guess that was, I don't know, oh, let me see, plus one, so Mimic is 44, great.
I think uh, the name of this song, if I remember correctly, is Time of Insanity, so it worked out very well. Hotchards. Bro, you didn't give me anything good. Affluence, Fortune. You gave me nothing good? Let me see if I can sneak some of these other chests. Um, no, that's a bronze. That's... I'm, I'm just gonna go. I'm a glutton for punishment, so we'll do the same thing again. So, let me just check this again. This was a fortune, this was a serenity, and then this was a... something I didn't care about, intuition. Wait, oh, I guess it's in How good you had it in head Well, once you get to the higher floors in Palace, it kind of balances out. Because you don't, you don't, even though you don't have a farmable place for it, it balances out. Okay, no auto healing, more mimics, fantastic. But they're not in my way. So I'm out of here. That's another treasure room, however. But is it in my way to the exit? No, it's not. I'm gonna strike. Do you have any Mimic Count statistic? No, I haven't really kept them in like a... a thing. And I could always like, like look back at my VODs and stuff, but... No, I haven't done that. Yeah, they do. It, it's, it doesn't surprise me it's there. Like, it just doesn't surprise me I'm encountering it at one bit. Um, it's fun to see it. I mean, I'm lucky it's not in a, you know, it's not a, it's not a goddamn exit again, but yeah. Oh, I was not ready. It's all good, it's all good. I should actually use more fortune. Let's see if I can do anything in that room before I proceed. Um, actually, I could. Uh, I can't now. I can do the dragon, which would open me up to the right chest. I might be able to sneak the left chest after. I gotta wait for the hippogaps to move down. The right chest is still kind of free. I think I get both of them, but it's whatever. I'll deal. Warrior healing. <laughs> yeah. 
It's like like one hippograph without steel should destined like just like obliterate a lot of DPS. And war is like two of them no steel, whatever. Hey, Mr. June Clancy? Oh my god. What's up, June? What's up, June? How you doing, man? What's a raid? Holy shit, you're up late. What the fuck? Yo, we are in the good floors, man. We missed Behemoth, but it's alright. It's all good. We'll get steel. Oh, we'll get steel back. What's up? How was your stream? How many steps did you take today in game? I think last time I watched your stream, you took like, three steps in the game, and you streamed for like five hours, which was impressive. You didn't even log in. Damn. That's a uh, that's hardcore. Did you still stream the category though? Yeah, by the way, guys, it's June. He might have he might have led you to victory in uh, in the current raid tier. So that is him. Him and his guides are legendary. So you should check him out. He's got good streams though too. Very it's actually really good streams to kinda of sit in and just you know, just to talk with him and that and stuff. They're, they're, they're great. Um very entertaining stuff. Welcome in guys, hello, my name is Andrew Leonis. I do Deep Dungeon solo all the time. Uh, if I were to remember correctly, this is June's main job, and we are doing it on Warrior. Uh, this is actually my first time on Warrior. We handled Behemoth pretty well, and we are up here on the final floors. I have not cleared on Warrior yet, so I am seeking my first cleared palace for Warrior. And things are going pretty well. You actually just missed a Mimic Treasure Room that we had to handle, so you know, that's, 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 that's that what that happened. You're toxic and maybe drunk usually. I'm a worse than hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I really appreciate the uh, the raid. Really nice of you. Thank you for that. I'm hoping to carry the folks to the to a good sleep today, and myself included. He was the guy that ignores that everyone ignores on P1 as Pog. <laughs> Do you, you ever go into a, a PF June and you're like, Hey, you're the guy that writes the guide, and then you're like, No, I'm not. You must be thinking of someone else. Oh, god damn it, dude. Really? I don't know if you dragons. But yeah, please guys, check them out. Uh, Ryu, hello. JX, hello. Uh, Senka, hello. Welcome to the this will be- this is my finale for the stream, so we either get to the bench or I die horribly. Uh, whichever happens first. Hopefully the- the, the bench thing happens first. We shall see. I just told them enough to- <laughs> Mind games, I like it. Uh, love it. Love the intuition, be getting a lot of intuition here. Okay. Check this chest, y'all. Chain! Ooh, that's good. And, uh, there's a gold chest there. I can get out. Oh, I might aggro the- No, I'm probably going to aggro the dragon getting this chest. Let's just pull the dragon. May as well save myself the trouble. Uh, probably- I'm gonna re-up the strength when I leave the floor. Because, uh, we might be out of here soon. So I don't wanna up the strength and then just gonna run around, like, walk around a lot. I'll up the giant after we get the exit uh, into the next floor. Potion. Nothing behind me, huh? Nope, we're clear. Here, I'll pull the Hippogon. I'm gonna do an affluence. Cool. I'm gonna do a flight for the next floor. Let's see how this goes. Uh, Sir Nunos. Sir Nunos, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Uh, Berserk's coming up in a second, so I'm just gonna hold my gauge for that. Because it's pretty rough to build gauge without uh, inner relief. 
least. I have Berserk. Berserk sucks. But it is what the kit it is what the game gave me. Oh, cool. Fast finger that one, nice. Open, open sesame. Good. Next floor we go. Um, I'm gonna strength as I'm on the exit. So what happens here is that if I get a no items, it's okay because I have the strength on. So the corner is that June join while this song is playing. Save my ass back when. <laughs> Damn, June's a hero, man. June's a hero. Also, my playlist wants to play the songs that he likes, apparently. Um, let's pull this one. I think the last time June was here, this song played as well. <laughs> like, oh, June's here, let's just play this song. Pog, oh, got it. Let's go. Free kill. Ooh, get the strength back, which is great. Okay, there's more courses. Get the strength and steel back, yo. Awesome. Uh, Eremon. Come here. This casts L5 Death. Oh, yeah, L5 Death. It casts L5 Death. Uh, spoiler alert, don't stand in it. Oh, I gotta get this chest now. These guys just moved out of the way. I'm gonna check it even if it's a mimic, it's fine. Safety. Okay, cool. Sweet. I'm about to reach the floor where I can do sights and safeties all the way through. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I make it out of this floor, then I can do just a mixture of safeties and sights, no more traps for the rest of this for the rest of this duty. You're not dead yet. Okay. Check this chest, and check that chest. So I want to fish out Mimics here, so I'm checking. Wow, shanks and steals galore. I'm gonna re-up the steel right now, because why not? Pop this out. Affluence, alright. Let's do another Affluence. Let's do another Flight. Let's do another Flight. And let's pull a hip -hop. That was the first guy to piss you watch. Nice. You can double flight. Well, this floor is flighted. And so I flighted for the next floor. So when you use the flight now, it applies to the floor after. But no, like, you can't use a flight and a flight and then a double effects. No, that doesn't work. So if I, if I said it incorrectly, I meant I, I use the flight for this one and I'll use the flight for the next one. So like, back to back. Oh, is that also what I said? Oh, there's another treasure room. Hello, treasure room, but are you the exit? Survey says. You are not the exit. I'll take care of you. Oh, no, I didn't. I just... I tried to use one. I think it just didn't activate. Eh, a handful. Oh, I got another eye flying in my direction. Gotta hate those flying eyes. Oh, safety. If there is a landmine... But I don't wanna do it. L5. Sounds like a cat when it dies, though. Jesus. Okay. Looks like 
I probably want to get to the exit. Oh, no, we want to go here because I want chests. We gotta pull the Wraith. I'm gonna open this one. Let me pop the Wraith. Steel came back again. I'll do this to YOLO. <laughs> Good, I'm not the one- Okay, so you guys heard it sounded like a cat too. Uh, Nai press why not fortune raid chest room? Ah! So first and foremost, this is flighted. So in a flighted floor, Lena, I'm out of here at about in between 2 to 5 kills. So the rage would be unnecessary because I've already sped up this floor. Does that make sense? So by flighting, this floor is gonna go faster than if I didn't flight. One thing that we kind of attribute a flight to is a flight is kind of like it cuts the amount of enemies you need to kill in half. So if like originally you needed 10, now you need 5. If originally you needed 4, now you need uh, 2, so on and so forth. So, to rage that floor in particular, to rage that room in particular, it's overkill, because I've already sped up this room. Now, it's a different story if there is an exit on top of that. If there's an exit on top of that, well, it's debatable, because how many do I have to kill to get to the exit? But since it's completely out of the way, and I'm not really struggling for chests right now, and I don't really need items right now, the gamble is not necessary. That's why I wouldn't choose to, to rage there. If it, even if it was a full floor, if this was not flighted, because that treasure room is just not in my way, I opted to, I will not do a rage. Now, the previous, that, that floor we had the treasure room of Mimics. That was a guaranteed rage in my eyes, because how long would it take me to kill literally 12 Mimics? Because I'd have to almost kill every single one of them, because of their higher aggro range, and they're right on top of the exit. So there, a rage was extremely important because of the situation. So... Do you really need steel for anything on these floors? I missed when you popped it. Um, not really, but I'm overcapping. So what happens when we're on this set, because we're getting closer to the end, it doesn't really benefit me to sit at 3 strengths and steals. Uh, because I'm probably gonna pick up more and I just waste them at that point. So I just kind of use them. Now right now I'm, I have a strength open, so I don't have to pop one. <laughs> um, unless I see another one, but that's basically what it is. Like I just I'm just using it because I want to keep it at two or one, uh, just to make the most use out of it. Oh, this floor is actually kind of good. It didn't explode. And if this wasn't flooded, it's usually more worth to say rage. Yep. And also, um, Lena, one strategy that we utilize big time is what we call double dip or double rage. And so what we do with a double rage, uh, and if you were here for, I think when I was here at 188, earlier before the boss over there, you would take the rage, you would use one rage on one floor, you kill a couple enemies, and you try to take it into the second floor to try to see if you can get either as many kills as possible or even get the exit, which is which is possible, which is sometimes doable. And so sometimes we'll utilize the rage that way. Now the downside of that, there's two downsides. One, you're essentially sacrificing the chests on the current floor, because you can't check chests in a rage in a rage format. So whatever is left, you're just leaving it on the on the table. And then second, if you go to the next floor it's no knockback, then it's GG because uh, you you can't do anything about that either. So there's risk and reward, but I mean using one rage to eliminate two floors is kind of like a Really, really good strategy. You call it double dip too. I don't know what else you call it. You know, you just oh fuck. I don't like you. Just, that's what it is. You just double dipping. So, so the follow up note on your question, like, honestly, there's not much on Warrior. I think on specifically this job, there's I don't think there's too much that will threaten me. Like maybe a gravekeeper, but I have so much mitigation and heals. Like it's just whatever. I can probably manage if I really need to. But I have so much. I have so much steel right now. Uh, Sir Lock, hello. Ah, Miss Darian. <gasps> the rare Miss Darian raid. Oh my god. Am I late? Am I that late that that Darian gets to raid me? Holy shit. Wait, actually, I'm gonna re up the steel just in case the next floor is. Uh, just in case the next floor is. No items. Miss Darian! Oh my god. What a rare sight for you to raid me. Hello, how are you doing? How is stream? How are things? Oh, motherfucker. Okay, well, we're gonna go this way first. Okay, that's not anything. So let's do... 
see. I have these though. And I don't want to do this. Just... Did you send me? What did you send me? Is that illegal? Did you send me a virus? Your pe you got the clear! Congratulations! Let's go! Congrats on P4S clear, let's go. Hell yeah, dude. Is that where you ended the stream? You got the clear, then you ended the stream? Send off to victory? Oh, I'm so proud of you guys, let's go. Congratulations. Darian just got P4S clear with her team. Hell yeah, dude. You wanna be charged for the night? Yeah, I imagine all that stress is done. Hey, right back at you, and thank you for bringing your crew over. Guys, I'm Angelus Demonus. I am on Team Drifter with Ms. Darian, who is our master and commander. I do Deep Dungeon Solo, and actually, we are on Warrior today. Uh, this is my first time on this job in Endwalker. I have not cleared Warrior in Palace of the Dead yet. Uh, and so we're just hunting down the first Warrior clear for myself. And things are going very well, like really well, so I'm just pretty much just making sure I don't die and then we're kind of good to go. <laughs> That's pretty much what it comes down to. Just don't die. Easy, easy game. Oh, you're the best, dude. Pretty like treasure rooms? Yeah, I think we've gotten a treasure room every single floor up to now, I think. Maybe one floor can have a treasure room, but... So I think I have to pull the Goo Goo because the Goo Goo seems to be close to the exit. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just basically trying to carve a, carve a free area around the exit. So whatever is surrounding the exit and I and, and priority any proximity enemies, we're trying to kill away. So the Knight had to go, the Goo Goo had to go, this one had to go because he was kind of next to the right side so I'm gonna aggro walk to the exit. That Knight in front of me has to go, potentially the course over there has to go. So we're just kind of mow down enemies and we'll see what happens. So luck. I've been going for Lone Hero but have been getting really, really luck, luck on luring traps. Make sure how it goes walls, man. <clears throat> um, there's only one pattern on the floors where you could potentially hit a trap. But you gotta just hug those walls nice and tight because you can avoid traps 95% of the time by putting your tongue to the wall and licking it very, very good. Stay, stick to the wall. You will avoid most traps. Mad Cats, thanks for the follow-up. Yeah, 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 hug those walls, man. And you're gonna hug those walls so much that you're gonna walk into, like, you know, dead ends and Smilington, and you're gonna hug those walls too. <laughs> Party's gonna be like, the fuck you doing, dude? Why are you hugging a wall? It's like, don't worry about it, right? Just, just don't ask questions. Been working alone here too, but can't decide between... Oh, they're both great jobs, man. Uh, tanks are the favorite. Tanks are the favorite in, in Heaven on High, I'll tell you that much. Uh, they are- their kits are way better in Heaven on High than they are in Palace of Death. Now, I did enjoy Reaper, and Reaper is hard. Reaper, initially when I was playing Reaper, my, uh, my definition of Reaper was glass cannon. It felt like a glass cannon. Like, your defense felt a little weak, but bruh, as long as you killed something before it killed you, you're good to go. That's how I kind of define Reaper. Yo, Koodle, Koodle Tricks, thanks for 10 months, I appreciate it. Thank you for the continued support. What's up? I started hugging walls and loving, and loving dungeons because I've been in Heaven High so much, quite a problem. Can't, gotta avoid those traps, man, you don't know what's on the ground, you know? Can't see it. Don't have that home under your sight. Uh, I'll just burn it. There's your attack bonus. Oop. Yeah, that's an attack bonus, alright. Okay. Uh, the exit is now clear. I can get this chest really fast. Intuition? I don't know how many times I need to get intuition, but whatever. Strength! Like, I need more strength? Okay, whatever. I don't have Witching, which actually is a thing, because I could have done a big strategy for this job if I had Witching. I don't have Witching, so I do want to mark that down. They managed to zoom out- wait. Did you manage to zoom out more than usual? Um, this is max distance for zoom out. I like to play max distance away from my character. Uh, I mean, also depends on like sometimes, you know, the angles of the walls. 
but I do like to always try to be as zoomed out as possible. Um, this is whatever the game gives me, maximum. Um, so I didn't admit I didn't do any more than that. Uh, I'll pull. Okay, I'll pull. Do you have any plans of going, of doing a clear using few, few pumps as possible? Not really, because, I mean, I don't see, there's no real benefit of doing so other than maybe a challenge. If there was some type of maybe like community challenge or something like that, perhaps, but uh, not really, no. You lost. Oh man. Oh man. Creamy Alyssa. Damn, dude. Yeah, that's rough. Absolutely. Trying to conserve those palms are tough. It's part of the. It's part of the. It's part of the game to try to manage this. Uh, to maximize those palms and to not use them and all that stuff and to yeah. Damn, you're gonna get it. You're so close. Hold on, I'm gonna re-up the strength. Actually, this is unnecessary because um I have Serenity all the way up. So we can remove debuffs permanently. Which is nice. There's a lot of debuffs I heard. Do 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 Okay, Serenity. Do, do, do. Uh, let's do a uh, safety. We'll do a sight for the last two. Alright, let's rezzo these things up. Go. I didn't get a single steal. Dang, you sound like you got Chela's file. Chela had a Reaper file, but she didn't see steal for literally like 30 something floors and she died in like 180 something. Goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, really? Oh my god! Stop! <laughs> trying to trying to definitely like optimize your steel usage. You know, figuring out things that you can fight without steel is really important. Like, I would say that was one of the most important things that I learned on Red Mage when I did Red Mage in the early days. Was trying to see how far I can push that job without using steals. Um, and trying to convert to conserve that way. Huge prog on that one. Drop the chest. Knight has to go. I have to be careful because there's a Gravekeeper, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you, yeah, mm -hmm. you gotta use it for the boss fight, yeah. But trying to get through enemies without steel is tough, but I mean, if you're not picking any up, that's also pretty rough too, for sure. I gotta be careful for the donut. Please don't use it right there. That'd be good. Gravekeeper is sound, so I can RP walk here. I do kind of want to get through this chest. Alright, Gravekeeper, I'm gonna go at your pace. I'm just gonna follow you, you're not even gonna notice me, man. No idea I'm here, not even a clue. Oop, I gotta- oh, goddamn, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I think I probably would've aggroed anyway, that's good. Okay. Oh my god, so many intuitions. Good lord. To be bad luck? Alright, I'll take it, man. We gotta make this interesting, huh? But you give me this intuition, so I guess that's already bad luck. Uh, I was gonna say that's a treasure down there, but it doesn't look like it. I'm out. Two more, guys. I got two serenades, two sights. We got the rage finale, so we have essentially one more floor to do, and then we are gone. Peace. Yeah, I get this intuition. Hold on, we'll get the intuition. Close enough. 
What the fuck? Damn, they wanted me dead. Uh, sights. Uh, I'll hold on. I mean, I could Serenity, but we have HP up, so... Is that a landmine? No, it's a frog shot. Okay. Um, actually, I'm gonna Serenity because I need to, uh... There's a lot of enemies here. Hot. I can do this. Okay. My cast is faster than yours. I hope I only get one here. Oh, you moved! I got him. Two hits. Oh, oh my god, I almost stepped on the landmine. I mean, the, uh... I almost stepped on the, uh... The thing. I'll just kill this grave creeper. I only have one more shot anyway. Got my steel back again. Uh, let's clear this up. One more floor, let's go! And we have 20 minutes left. Good amount of time for this. Yeah, thanks and seals all the way. Got the sight, the serenity, the rage. Right there. I always like my rage finisher. Hey, extra code. Should be. Never know. Last time the bard run. You know, the bard run was like, oh yeah, we got this, no problem. And then that got very spicy towards the end. And we finished bard with one minute on the clock. Never take this for granted. You never know, man. So on my bard run, you know what happened with bard? We were down to like 5 minutes on like 199, and I had a rage. And I started the rage at the beginning of the room. And I I actually missed one kill, and I killed everything going forward. I needed one more kill. And that's why I only had a minute left on the clock. It was insane. Alright, let's finish this out. Oh, that's a classic. Nice. No items. Who cares? Sights. I'm gonna re-up the strength and seal here. I'll do... Uh, fortune. We'll do strength, although I don't need it. And let's get to the exit. Yeah, I mean I walked in here with two flights and two rages, so that really helped out a lot. Um, huge help with that. Even then, like, some of the kills were just, you know, well done well. Like, some of the, some of the floors were good numbers. Um, didn't even do any landmine plays here. We did a landmine play in the 80s, though. So, loading trap. Let's clear these two up. Is smooth. Smooth sailing on warrior. Yo, not Razim. Thanks for the first time Prime Gaming sub. Appreciate it. Alright, that's uh, number 20, uh, 29 in the bank, guys.
Yep. Damn, Warrior is... Dude, Warrior is just OP, man. Warrior is ridiculous when it comes to just the game right now. <laughs> we did really fun stuff on Warrior. We've just been like rocking on Warrior. Thank god it's a Glass Pumpkin again. Glass Pumpkin twice in a row. Good. The BIS reward. Who wants the... Who wants the... That Lord of the Rings eye? And the Glass Pumpkin, man. Da -da, be done. Hell yeah. Ah, uh, Warrior is good! Man, Warrior, like, wa honestly, Warrior right now could contest for, uh, could certainly contest as one of the better tanks. I'd probably play this over Paladin. Whether I play this over Gunbreaker is the question, because Gunbreaker does really well, honestly, in my opinion, uh, in Palace. But, damn, the Warrior run, man. <sighs> that Warrior run's really good. It's for... <clears throat> We'll see this on the board, not tonight, but tomorrow. Yeah. There we go. Is a glass pumpkin? It can be. It can be a housing item. It could be accessories. You can get accessories for it too, so... Hey guys! I really appreciate you guys witnessing that, as always. Uh, this was a fun run. Thank you for being here and watching that. Uh, we had some wonderful strats that we did, and Behemoth went smooth, and... The rest of the climb was just clean. It was just, it was just a very clean run. Aside from the death on 189, but that's okay. Warrior's good. I mean, you know, I wanted to hold back and, and just witness Warrior. People were talking about how Warrior was great. And, uh... Yeah, it is. It's it's great in Palace. It's fantastic in Heaven on High. And shit, dude. If you want to do Warrior, it's really in a good spot right now for Necromancer. Like, I would put it... I would really propel it up. Like, Warrior was one of the hardest jobs back in Shadowbringers. And I would really definitely put it, like, much, much higher now in Endwalkers. It's a really good job. Um, main thanks to follow. So thank you guys for being here. Um, I do want to do a quick plug. We, we are uh, collabing with, a, with a, a desk mat company that makes custom desk mats. Check them out if you're looking for a desk mat. Uh, I'm going to make it a, a little bit of an announcement because I got something special for them. So I'm going to be working on doing some posts about that so we can... Uh, so you can see the kind of things that they do, but definitely check them out. If you guys have social, uh, if you guys want to stay with me and stay in touch with, with what we're doing, Discord, Twitter, YouTube. YouTube is very busy. Uh, I'm basically posting almost a video every day on YouTube. So if, I know a lot of you came from YouTube, but if you haven't already, check it out. You're definitely going to see this run sometime next week on YouTube. So it'll be here in the VODs, but sometime next week this will show up. Um... And definitely check that out. And Twitter is when I announce it go live. So tomorrow, we are back in stream. Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to be in Heaven on High. But let me tell you, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, guaranteed it's Heaven on High. I just don't know what job I'm doing. I'm going to see what I feel like doing tomorrow. But certainly look forward to that. To see whatever job it might be. Um, that'll be Friday. And then also Sunday, we'll be back in Heaven on High. Although Heaven on High, I'm thinking of doing a time management video on Warriors. So once again, we return to Warrior. And I've made these videos that I've labeled as time management. And what we talk about is basically how to move quickly and how to manage your time. Specifically that. Like we have the live tutorial ones that kind of go over like what you're fighting and how to get through. These ones are very specific, like having your previous knowledge and trying to apply that to kind of go fast. So a lot of people have found that useful and I kind of want to do one for this expansion. So that might be Sunday, but tomorrow is a little bit of a wild card, so check that out. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for being here. Appreciate you all. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I replaced my old score. 2019? Yeah, that's when I died on that on that thing. Alright, let's see who I can say hello to today. Um, oh. There's one that I would love to send you guys to. Um, uh, but let me see... If there's someone maybe new I can say hello to? Ooh. Um... Uh, last time we sent you guys off to a a promising uh, deep dungeon runner, which was great. That was really good. Um, but you know what? I want to go to, you know, my buddy, Miss Darian Hart, rated us Team Drifter, represents. I want to send you over to another Team Drifter teammate. Now, she's not playing uh, 14, okay? 
But what she is playing, she is playing the new Pokemon game. And in, in her stream, Miss Steph of Anime, she splits Pokemon and 14. And let's give her some hype, because she's not usually live this late. But she's going to probably play that game for a little bit. So let's go raid her. Hopefully she'll keep streaming, or if not, she'll send you guys off to a really lovely person. Um, so if you want to check out the new Pokemon game, no spoilers. Well, maybe it's spoilers, but anyway. You can check it out. Let's go to her. Let's go to her stream. If you have my animated emotes, please spam that over or spam whatever other emotes you got. Uh, and uh, yeah, guys, again, thank you. I hope to catch you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching. This was great. This was an awesome run. Highly recommend Warrior. Definitely check it out if you want Necromancer. Okay, let's go raid. Good night, Raiden up.